Taza, Taza. It's you. I, I haven't have... seen you out for ages. We've been like ships passing we in have. the night, haven't we? Yeah. It goes like that sometimes. Mark was only saying to me um, yesterday, he was like, oh, it's my first show with Carol in so, so long. And that's how I feel like with you. I haven't mm. seen you in ages. No. It's been a while. Well, you got me most of the month. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's going to be wonderful. How are you, darling? You okay? I'm all right, yeah. How are and you? you've got some beautiful jewellery, <gasps> oh, I see. Yeah, I've had great fun. Amazing kits. Two of my favourites, spinel and oh, no. malachite. Remind me, ask me when we do the spinel yeah. about my drive down here. Okay. Ooh, relevant. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm intrigued. I do it's know relevant. I do I know nothing about this no. story. So you say that. Yeah. I'm is that gonna it. be at nine o'clock or is it gonna be at twelve? That's the nine o'clock and the malachite um and the bezels are all at twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Oh well you have you have Jedi red spinel in your nine o'clock kit. No. Which is pretty I epic, know. isn't it? It is gorgeous. Just see how just think for a second how far we've come as a as, as a yeah, panel, yeah. you know. We'd have never in our wildest dreams have entertained any colour of Spillel, no. let alone the rarest of all. Then, then we'd get black. Yeah. And that would be it. That's that would be all it. we had for years, wasn't yeah. it? Black Spinel. Yeah. But now we're talking about the rarest colour yeah. of all. I mean, amazing. Beautiful kits, stunning components, mm. and just an all round gorgeous day. It is. And I hear Dickie Bird tells me oh. that the sun is going to shine today. Oh. Woohoo! I'd given up all hope on summer, to be honest. <laughs> and apparently we're going to have a late summer. Are we? Yeah, hope so, because we're going on holiday in September. <laughs> Are you? I'll believe it when I see it, I've got to be honest. Who knows? Uh, there was this heat wave that was meant to happen. Yeah, it's it's going to happen. It's, oh, it's it's saving itself. Yeah. End of September, you know. That's... Is that when it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just, just <laughs> in time for me to leave the country. <laughs> Amazing, because that's probably when I'm going to be on holiday. Oh, is it? Yeah, probably. Oh, well, like, we're staying in the country. Oh, so. there we are. We want good weather then. Um, yes, your, what day is it? Thursday. Your Thursday is completely jam-packed. Mm. I'm in love with your deal of the day. It's absolutely yes. gorgeous. Stunning, isn't it? Oh, uh, well... <sighs> For me, and I get some people aren't, like Fleur, for example, was never a fan of butterflies, no, was she? she doesn't like butterflies. No, um, but I've always loved them. I think I they're do. so, so, so delicate, pretty, yeah. symbolic, of course. And I went down that rabbit hole last night doing my sort of research on butter butterflies. I had to kind of streamline it because butterflies mean so much in yeah. lots of different cultures and lots of different religions and things like that. So I kind of streamlined it um, somewhat, but you should see the carving that you have That's coming amazing. up. At 10 o'clock today is your dealer day. It's that beautiful type A jadeite butterfly. So pretty. I found one on first dibs that yeah. went to auction. Not first dibs. I think it was Chris, uh, Christie's. Um, that sold at auction for, of course, four figures. Um, and genuinely, I can't tell them apart. Mm. It might have history. It might be from some dynasty. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. But genuinely, in terms of the carving, I can't tell them apart. So that is going to, as well, one of the most affordable jadeite deals that wow. I have seen. Genuinely. And it's double carved, so the butterfly's on the front and also on the oh. reverse. Because it looks... You could make a pair of earrings. I was going to say that. that. Oh, They'd be no, 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 no. I was thinking yeah. exactly the same. They'd be lovely in earrings. Yeah. Um, because they're not too heavy. So I think you could with a nice, mm. with a decent shepherd hook. So this is coming up at 10 o'clock today. Plus we have some, um, oh, yeah, we go. Floating flower donuts. Wow. You've got your high goo. You've got your, that pendant with the leather cord, which I yeah. absolutely love. And the closest thing I've ever seen to Imperial Green Jade Eye ever. Yes. I mean, how amazing are they? So those are wow. coming up at 10 o'clock as well. Um, your early bird today, in keeping with the butterflies, we haven't seen many butterflies this year, have we? Have you noticed oh, that? Oh, do you know what? We've had loads on the mountain. Have you? Yeah. Oh, that's good to hear. We've had a lot of different varieties. So we haven't, because they came back out in, in lockdown, didn't they? They yeah. recovered a bit in lockdown. Yeah. yeah, we've got a load on the scrub brand. Um, Mark was saying that it's because we had such a cold winter. Hmm, some be. of the what are they larvae? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, the larvae. Is it larvae? Yeah, so they they struggled over winter. That's why so few are summer. We've hardly had any, to be honest. Little caterpillars, that's it. Um, well, in keeping with that, your early bird today. Are these absolutely beautiful pendants. Wow. I love these. I love the bale. Um, they're gem set. <coughs> Can you see? 
They are not going to hang around, though. No, they're not. Um, and on that note, actually, Alison, perhaps I should say, there's 50 of the gold, 50 of the rose gold, <gasps> oh, no. and 100 of the silver. I mean, how perfect are they? Oh, that's When funny. you think of all the meaning behind the butterfly yeah. symbol as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so they're coming up as your early bird. You can shop ahead and pre-order on these right <laughs> now. And I would encourage doing that. It's items number one, two, and three. Um, I think they look very Astley Clark. With yeah, their yeah, yeah. Very, very Astley Clark, which of course they would not be a jewelry maker. Um, well, Astley Clark jewelry maker prices are worlds apart. Oh aren't gosh, they? Yeah, yeah. Worlds yeah. apart, and it's still the same luxury precious metal, you know. Absolutely. Um, so you can shop ahead on those. We've got lots of last of stock items. If you go onto the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, uh, click watch live in the top right hand side of the screen and scroll down ever so slightly, you'll see those pendants. Um, yeah, ignore that. That's where we're starting. I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? Wow. I know. We're not stopping there. You've got some of your essential chains as well if you want to get hold of those. Yeah. Um, we've got some jadeite. Ooh. We've got some amazing pearls. We've got some sterling silver components. Ooh. Larimar, yes, yeah, some of the finest Larimar. Oh, um, multi-strand clasps. Oh. I need some of those. Oh, we launched them the other day. They absolutely flew. Yeah. Um, you've got some silver bales in there. You've got some findings in there. Type A red jadeite, one of the last strands we have in the business. Um, peacock angelite, anyone? If you missed Ooh, out on that yes. launch. It's beautiful. One of the most popular gemstones of the year, the launch of Peacock Angelite. I love those display racks as well. Yeah, yeah. fabulous. Oh, we've got them in coins. Yeah, we've got putty cats. We've oh, got some of the displays. Cat. The displays are fab. My putty cats, I'm, I'm, not, they're, they're, I'm not friends with them at the moment. Oh. We're not on speaking terms at the moment, my putty cats. They're Why? naughty. Oh. They're kittens, they're very, aren't they? No. Oh. Not anymore. You should see the size on Dave. He's massive. You can't, he doesn't pass. As a kitten, he doesn't pass as a kitten anymore. He's huge, um, but they've ripped up the carpet. Oh, <laughs> naughty, 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 putty cats. How old are they? One. Oh, they're babies. They're not small cats. Anymore. Yeah, but they're still babies. Uh are they? When do cats yeah. stop being kittens? I don't know. They're a baby. Okay, if they are, then I'll give them a pass, but still, I'm not that pleased. Baby. Not that it's pleased. A teaching experience. They, they haven't just lift, ripped it or scagged it, they've completely <laughs> shredded it. It's a learning opportunity. <laughs> I still love them. <laughs> They'll love them. Right then, get your messages in, everybody. We'd love to say hi to you. And shall we get cracking? I think we need to say hello to our lovely crew first. Oh, what absolutely. Do what do you reckon? Oh, is easy miss it? That's okay. We've got... we. <laughs> no, because we've got a lovely... Uh, I mean, you, you, you're substituting temporarily, aren't you? But just, uh, first of all, start off in the studio, of course. I've introduced Alison. We've got Michael on. Woo! Good morning, Michael. Doing a bit of cheeky overtime. Oh, no moves this morning. You're moonlighting across the two shift sides. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we have as well. Oh, the floor's not here just yet. Um, but in the gallery, we've got the man with the deals. It's Roscoe. Woo! Hello, Roscoe. There he is. Do you know I notice, Ross? I meant to ask you. Six apples. Oh, he's got six apples. <laughs> I was like, is that how many apples you eat? A oh, one for everyone. Are you sharing? Oh, okay. That's very nice. The shop you went to don't sell individual apples, so you have to buy six, right? I was like, gosh, is he going to eat all of those during the break, uh, during the show? Apple a day and all that. Um, and directing today, <laughs> directing today, we've got gorgeous Adam. Hello, Yay! Adam. Chris is in there too. Where's lovely Chris? There he oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. <laughs> Stay, Chris. You don't need to go. Stay with us. And you're going to be directing tomorrow, aren't you, Chris? There we go. So Carol's going to be causing chaos yeah. with, our, with our Chris. Um, OK, yeah, let's get cracking, shall we? Because we've got a beautiful lineup of amazing gemstones. The website is already looking busy. So well done for those of you that have taken the initiative to shop ahead, especially on your early bird. When you think on the on the website, it's 14 99 And it That's is going crazy. Yeah going even lower than that. So um, we like an interactive show though as well. So come and say hello. Tell us what you're up to on this glorious Wednesday. Um, go on. Tell us what's the worst thing your cat's ever destroyed or your pet. Pet, it's not, pet. not cat actually. Sorry, um, were they not cats? No, it was my, what, a dog I had. 
Oh, uh, not the carpet. No, 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 that wasn't the worst thing. Although that's probably more expensive. But um, yeah, I, I I saved and saved for a particular t a pair of shoes once upon a time. Uh -oh. but this is pre-kids, so when I could... When I, when, you're allowed even when you've got kids to I, buy yourself something. Yeah, but you don't. You just buy, you spend your money on the kids, don't you? But um, yeah, I'd saved and saved for a pair of shoes that I really, really wanted. Yeah. And I'd order them. And they were like off eBay. So um, they didn't come in a box or anything like that. They put it in one of those jiffy bags. Anyway, it got delivered, put through the letterbox. You know what's coming. And my old dog called Leonard, well, he was a chewer. He was a chewer. <laughs> And I got home and <laughs> I got home and this pair of shoes that I had ordered and was very excited about uh, um, receiving were literally in pieces, literally in pieces. Yeah. Leonard chewed my new shoes. Yeah. What about you? The worst thing, um, my first Labrador at the doors, oh. they weren't solid wood doors and he ate. Oh, hello. oh no. I've got a picture of him looking through the door going, hello. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I had two uh, Sharpe puppies and Lil, the little, um, who was the younger of the two, she was the adventurous one. And I used to have a cat and two Sharpe's. Anyway, um, while Lil was still a puppy, she managed to find this cat flap and she was like, oh, I can get out there. Which, when they're tiny, is not a good thing. So we had to uh, uh, block it in. Anyway, as she growed, it was okay. She's not going to fit through that cat flap. Yes, she could. Anyway, so she used, to, she, used to, she used to kind of shimmy herself through and her little legs would be vertical, or horizontal rather, <laughs> kind of like shimmy herself through to get out. And I was like, it's fairly... I'm quite impressed with that, to be fair. So I used to just let her do it and until she grew a bit her more. waist grew a little bit more and she got, <laughs> she got stuck. Um, I, I popped out for whatever reason, came back and she'd, she got out, but with cat flap around her waist <laughs> as well. So she just had this belt of a cat flap. And the flap was so funny, was just sat on her head. <laughs> As well, so bless her. Yeah. Fashion accessory. A fashion accessory, indeed. <laughs> so she learned that time, though, not to get, not to do it again. <laughs> um, okay, should we get cracking? Send your funny messages in there. That's a good topic of conversation because animals are the best, aren't oh, they? Oh, they're the best. They are the best. They they, they keep us entertained. <laughs> they're just do. daft. Is there anything funnier than than animals that watch telly? <laughs> I love it when animals are, just sit and watch the telly. It's, it's, it's the ones because because my last collie was ball obsessed. Uh -huh. And he would actually chase the ball around the yeah. alley. Brilliant. That was brilliant. Brilliant. They're ace, aren't they? There they go. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we're deserving of um, no. cats and dogs, to no. be honest. Um, they are the best species on the planet, and I say that multiple times. Right, Roscoe, are we ready? Are we good to go? Let's start with the cat. That's a good idea. Where is it? Uh, there it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking of cats, no, it's not. That's not it. I can't find a cat. Hang on. It's coming. It's name, coming. Tell me what your cat names are if anybody's got a cat. I had one called Ziggy. Ziggy. Named after Ziggy Stardust. Ah, yeah. She yeah. was a puffball. She was a real, you know, the chocolate box picture. Yeah. She was gorgeous. But she thought she was a dog. She grew up with dogs. Ah. She thought she was a dog. She'd go for walks with you. She'd go into the outdoor kennel with them. Ah. She'd get in the car with them. She just thought she was a dog. I love that. We rescued a cat called Jazz. Jazz. Um, and she ah. couldn't meow. Oh, she couldn't meow. She used to just go. Eh. It was ever so cute. But she was a she was a she was a little old deer when I got her, and she uh, um, basically her owners had moved away and left her. Oh, it's happened so often. It's just tragic. So I went, oh, come on, Jazz, and she knew me anyway. So she came and lived with me for the rest Aww. of her days. Bless her. Well done. Jill. Um. Oh well, she was you're an old lady. Mm. Can't leave her under a tree, can we? Speaking of putty cats, I want these to go with my kits for next Monday. Oh, why, what's on Monday? Have you got a bit of chatoyancy, a bit of cat's eye yeah. or something like that? I want them. Oh, to go with leather. To go with leather. Oh, that's a good idea. That's I a great idea. I think that idea. would fit. You might have to sort of rearrange the circle a bit to pull it through. A bit of jiggery that would pokery. Look amazing on there. Yes, oh. yeah. Or Mark had launched his own cord yesterday. So oh, did he? So you could actually do um, macrame from this directly. Now, yes, we know we could. are a channel of putty cat lovers. We are. 
Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I forgive them. I do forgive them. I'm not sure my husband does, but I forgive them. Um, 3 99 gold plated. Let's see how many of you are watching. I think loads of us. Yeah, loads of us are yeah. cat lovers. They're so Ooh. fabulously aloof, aren't they? They are. Very aloof yeah, and that. I like the fact that they think they're, they're you know, we're beneath them. <laughs> I like that. One ninety nine. How many have we got, Roscoe, of these available what? within the vault? Yep. One ninety nine. Twenty available, so you will need to be super quick checking out your baskets. Yeah. Claire and Warwickshire, Elaine and Cheryl and Susan oh and Debbie. Gosh. Well done, everybody. Don't you think that, that, that the cats think they, they own the house? Oh, you, yeah. You know, you live there. Yeah. Whereas it's the other way around for dogs, isn't it? We got adopted by... by a big, big ginger Tom. Yeah. Garfield in the flesh called yep. Thomas. Oh. And he thought he ruled the place. Yeah. Well, he probably did. He taught my friend's cat, he was when he was university, he taught her cat to chase mice. He literally caught a mouse and he was patting it between his paws, getting oh. her to catch it. Oh, poor little mouse. What? Well, poor little mouse. I know it's life, I know. Um, well done. Sorry. Let's do... Oh, that was very posh there, Ross. Ross, so let's do the four <gasps> strand cards. Oh. Need Come these. Off. Yeah, we do. Need um, more of these. Yeah, we do. This is 925 sterling silver. Um, obviously, you've got your four strand connection. So, if you're thinking about multi rows, you don't have to use all four, of course, but no. um, it gives you the perfect positioning, yep. doesn't it? Multi, multi rows of gemstones, um, chokers, bracelets, mm. macrame. If you're doing any beading, if you do loom beading and make a cuff, these are perfect to use. It stops with. them all bunching together. Yes. Which, if you were to put them Hold onto a traditional, um, a traditional clasp, um, then they'd all bunch together and yeah. they wouldn't lay. Whereas with these, they space them out. Um, that's a big amount um, um, of, of, of. Well, let me have a little look there. Yeah, nine two five sterling silver. Um, and I need to point out that these are probably one of the safest clasps that you can get because obviously the. The actual pull will be in that direction, won't it, with yes. the beads? Um, whereas these open and close in that direction, if that makes sense. So incredibly, incredibly yeah. secure and strong. Um, these always fly out and they are doing exactly the same today. We've got another delay on our core screens. Okay. It's like it needs to wake up. 7.99. Seven yeah, I know. Big gram weight for this as well. Is this, is this a lounge hour, Ross? Yes. You need to get oh. your iPad out now if you need these. Yeah. Yeah. Um, by the way, the butterfly charm pendants, they're at fourteen ninety nine, and of course we are going lower, but yeah, that's, that's, that's could be where we actually finish. Um, well done, seven ninety nine, everybody, Elaine wow. and Eileen and East Sussex and Olivia and Yorkshire and yeah, another East Sussex and Chantal. Lovely to be with you all this morning. How many we got, Roscoe? 24. Oh, it was unnerving then. There was a very silent yeah, but, pause. Yeah. But he had a cig oh. sip of tea, yeah. But then someone buys three, I'm not surprised, and two. Yeah. Because yeah. we've so rarely see these. Yeah. You know, if you do a, a pearl choker. Yeah. Oh, could you, you imagine that? A four strand pearl oh, choker. Beautiful. Look sensational. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. And it will be this kind of class that yeah. you go for as opposed to just a lobster claw or a oh, toggle because yeah. they're bunched yeah. together. Um, hey, Susan saying, get them a scratching post. They've got one. <laughs> um, made a natural, what's that? Um, Sisal one. Oh yeah, it, it, isn't that like the the natural core? Like a hessian. Yeah, yeah. sort of. I can't remember uh, what Scrooge plant it's from. Give them lots of attraction. Susan, they've got two. <laughs> <laughs> they've got two. They've got one of those uh, a big cat tree, and they've just got the post with a little ball. Yeah. They've got countless toys, Susan. They have. I don't know why all of a sudden they've started doing this. Yeah. A bit naughty. Do you like put them? Have you caught them at it? Yeah, no. Oh, that's no. the problem. Yeah, I know. So, no, they have got those and they've got plenty of toys and scratching posts and a tree. They've got a cat tree. That's my point. You don't need to be doing it to the carpet. <laughs> um, anyway, it's fine. Uh, Seven ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Make sure you are checking out your baskets. Um, heads up as well. You could. It doesn't just pearls. You could use these with all of your gemstones. Yes. Hi, Rachel. Saying my neighbour's boxer ate an armchair. <laughs> She wasn't impressed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boxes are really naughty, aren't they? They are quite naughty breeds. Um, hello, Julie. Hi, ladies. Pickle. Oh, I like that name. Yeah. Um, tore up the kitchen <gasps> lino. Needless to say, I got the floor tiled. Yes. 
Yeah, <coughs> yeah. Pickle's a cute name. Yeah, pickle's I like that one. What's pickle though? Is he's, I clearly I think pickle's a dog. Is pickle a dog? Oh, I, I feel know. like pickle would yeah. be a dog. I might be wrong. Text in naughty pickle. <laughs> I call Tiggy pickle sometimes. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, now you had your eye on this, Alison. I did. This is a beautiful class that we launched not so long ago. It's double sided yeah. as well. So even if it does flip over, you've still got gem setting and beautiful wow. texture to your precious metal. Um, so you have genuine zircon, not zirconia, set within these. And it's kind of like it gives me Cartier love bangle vibes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. In a sense of that, and screws. Yeah. Um, you can use it for a lariat. You can use it maybe to reposition your necklace. Yeah. Um, you could connect two together if you wanted. Absolutely. Oh, and have a pendant dangling down. Yeah, I think like there's a lot it. of potential. I like the yeah. fact that these are quite versatile. There's a big investment of sterling silver in here. Mm. Um, and at 29.99, that seems incredible, considering you've got zircon set here and also on the inside as well. Nice. Um, yeah, lovely texturing. Let me just show you all the way around it. Flip it over. You can see all that detailing on the reverse as well. Um, we can't have many of these left, though. 30 left. Wow. I didn't think yeah, not so. I many. Didn't think there was many. Um, we had over 200 originally on the launch, which was not that long ago. Um, so today might see. I like the I like the idea of having doing it the other way round. Mm. Like that. Yeah. So you've got um, using that almost as a pendant slash clasp. You have chain coming up and then something in the middle that dangles nice. down into that into that sort of horseshoe. I think it was Ross that actually mentioned horseshoes. Was it you, Ross? Good luck, and yeah. you always have an upturned horseshoe, you not do, a downturn. You do, to catch your luck. To catch the luck. I never knew that. Never knew that. What's funny about that? The person that told you that, that fact, was Chris Parker, who's just gone. Yeah. I never heard that. Never heard that. So that and that's why you always have uh, horseshoes at um, weddings. Ah, and they're always up. And up they're down. always up to catch them. There we go. Well, in 19 seconds, we're taking it even lower. Yeah, it is quite ho uh, quite horseshoe-like, yeah. a little bit equestrian. Um, we're at 14.99 again, a big amount of sterling silver. You've got two and a quarter grams of precious metal. Wow. Plus, you have your round, brilliant cut. Um, genuine zircon uh, set within. Good luck, everybody. Make sure you're checking out. We've only got 30 of them left, and that's from over 200 that sold on the original launch. And I think this is a, only the second time they've been on air. Is that right? Yes, second time wow. they've been on air, so they've Quite absolutely blinding. flown. Yeah, that's why wow. over 200 went on the launch. I love the versatility of these because you mm. could, look, if I show you, let me take it off the tweezers for a second. So these actually just unscrew just here, righty tighty, lefty loosey, I'll come on. Um, so they just unscrew like so. Hang on, I'm doing it at arm's distance. Um, and then you on your fingers, I haven't have you? I've cream on my hands, yeah. Um, and then you uh, can connect them together. Loop them together, kind of like that. Oh, make a make a either a, a clasp or, or a bangle. Yeah. Oh, that would be nice. That would be lovely. Um, yeah, just connect them together. Oh, imagine like a full. That's easier. If I show you now with the pliers, I'm yeah, just holding of you, it yeah. instead of my slippy fingers. Um, but look, they just unscrew. There's a big amount of silver in here. Wow. And you've got a nice strong burr. There you go. There you go. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. So connect them together. That's fabulous, isn't it? Really good. Yeah. Very, definitely. very secure. Very you know secure. You know, if you've got that, you know, if you've got one of the um, statement mm -hmm. um, carvings you want to wear, then that's oh, a cracking, yeah, that's you know, it's a really, it's it's a bale that will go with that. You yeah. know, you don't want to put a tiny little spinel strand with that. No, no, you need something a bit more substantial. Yeah. Um, these are wonderful. You oh. get you've got your bales, but not you would normally we would have the peg, peg bales, don't we? Whereas these are with the loop. Yeah. So if you want to um, if you want to do chainmail from it, for yeah. example, or bit wrap looping. Yeah. But you could also make your own loop if you wanted to. Yeah. Make your own peg. Just yep. have a loop with the post coming down. Oh yeah, because you could cut that. Sterling silver. It, yeah. Wouldn't you? Oh, that's yeah. a good point. And then just rough up that that silver. Rough it up. Yeah, rough it up. Yeah. Just to give the, the glue somewhere to purchase. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you want it to be a peg, just you can, slip the you one, can make slip it the one side and 
roll it down. Absolutely. It's a nice texture to it as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, lovely. And it, again, it is, if I turn it round, double-sided. Yeah. So you've got that detail front and reverse. Beautiful. You get both of them for £9.99. I mean, that's amazing. Brilliant. Now, we're going to go again. Um, <laughs> way. Um, it's your early bird hour. Really Anything nice. can happen. Mm. Mm. Anything can happen. I like how spontaneous we are here at Jewelry Maker. You heard it yesterday. We had Dave just spontaneously turn up with some amazing Ooh, carvings that all turned out. Yeah. I missed those. Oh, they were incredible. I'm sorry. Oh, today. don't say that. Sorry, Alison. <laughs> Tell me they're the worst you've ever seen. I mean, absolutely <laughs> hideous. They, no, they weren't. Oh. They were lovely. Sorry. I can't even joke. I can't even wish list them because I don't know what the codes were. I think. Yeah, we might be able to dig out a pole sheet somewhere okay. and see if there's any available. I don't think so, though. Sorry. There'll be more, Alison. There'll there be more. Be. In 14 seconds, we are taking these already even lower than what is an already amazing price tag. How many have we got of these? You know, we have 30. We have bales, peg bales. We have mm -hmm. them quite frequently these days. We do. But um, don't often actually nice have the bale with the loop. Yeah, because you can just attach a jump ring to yeah. it. Um, you can actually use it in reverse as well. Oh, how about having it in reverse and putting a, a shepherd hook on it and having a pair of earrings? Oh, that yeah, very nice. Actually, turn quite like that. A pendant. Pop a gemstone in the middle. Yeah. Ah, oh, like a cradle. Yeah. That's very nice. Oh, yeah. Have a little crane nice. above it. Yeah. Do you remember that one with the stalk with the the stalk? Sorry, not crane. Yeah. Stalk. Yeah, very nice. Six ninety nine. Well wow. done. Make sure you're checking out. And do shop ahead on your early birds. They're absolutely flying on pre-order. So your beautiful butterfly coin pendants. I'm loving those. If you wanted to turn the um, masterclass kit yeah. into um, a pendant instead of earring. Yes, that would work. Got a bail. Here we go. What are these? Bits? The stone's loose. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Just so, so you Just, know. There we go. So something like that, you mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that would be fabulous. Fa fabulous. Yeah, and then put Perfect. some chain or gemstones yeah, yeah, either, um, yeah. underneath it. Fabulous. Make sure you're checking out. So we're talking about what? Uh, £3.50 each. It's crazy. Pretty amazing, isn't it? £3.50. Stock up while you get the opportunities. Hello, Linda and Olivia and Wendy and Sheila and Chantal and Judith and Patricia and new customer and Gillian. We're talking about naughty pets. What's the naughtiest thing a pet has ever done? Our Bert's a chewer. Oh, uh, Bert. I love the name Bert. Bert. Um, same dog as before, Leonard. Yeah. Leonard ate an entire birthday cake. And I do <gasps> mean oh, an no. entire birthday cake. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, Lindsay next door. Yeah. Lindsay Carr. When she, she we were, it was Tom's birthday, so he was having a barbecue. And it, it, thankfully, it wasn't one of the massive ones. It was one about this big, but still big still enough. Still big enough. Yeah. And he got up on the counter, opened the box. The only, the only evidence of this cake existed was a bit of sugar, a star, sugared star icing that was on the floor. Anyway, he opened that, and we'd gone up for a nap, pre-kids, when you could have afternoon naps. And... Uh, yeah, came downstairs and he was there. Ah, rah. Anyway, that evening when we had friends around, including Lindsay from uh, Gems, <laughs> who was heavily pregnant at the time, it's like he waited for her to arrive at our house, <laughs> sit down heavily <laughs> pregnant. He hopped next to her, and she's not really a dog person at the best of times, <laughs> and then just <laughs> barfed <laughs> all over her. It's, just, it's like, wait for the pregnant lady <laughs> to do it. Naughty, Leonard. Naughty. Oh. Anyway, let's talk about Jadeite here. <laughs> now, this is um, one of the last opportunities to purchase red Jadeite with us here at Jewelry Maker. Um, this has been on the web since the uh, beginning of this hour. And I've got one left. Well done to those of you that have already checked out. Um, you've checked out here at 499, but don't worry, that is not your price tag. There is only one left. We had three. Um, yeah, well, I don't, I, I don't blame you because, look, we've been very open, very honest and said, look, Red Jade Eye, it's the end of the road for us. We're priced out of it. It's too expensive now. We can get heat treated or fissure filled or, or, or pollen impregnated, but it's still costing more than what type A grade is. And type A is the one which has an inherent yeah. value. What? We're at 149 pounds only wow. for that cherry tomato red, the most desirable color. And it's not just a, you know, a, a, a 
proportion that's red. It's a solid red yeah. bead. You only have to look at Mason and Kay and see how rare red yeah. jade light is, or you know, uh, Roland Schlüssel, any of those places. Hi, Julie. My parents' cat and dogs are two are, are two tears. Sorry, I think it's meant oh. to be eight. Eight two tears of my wedding cake. <gasps> The day after. Oh, oh thank at you. least it was the day oh. after. <laughs> oh, it's not just my dog then. Well oh. done. Well done on the red jade. Yeah. My mum's cat, uh, my mum's dog, <laughs> back in the day when she was a little girl, they had a little terrier and they, Gran had laid the table while, and then they all went out for to church back in the day when you did. Yeah. And they'd laid out salads and he'd gone and taken the ham off each plate, not took anything else. Not not made a mess, not moved everything, just took the ham off his plate. Precision. Little toe rag. Precision. Clever, aren't they? Bruce, I think he was called. Bruce. I love these names. Um, is this Omphocyte? Wow. Omphocyte, you've got black jadeite. Rare. Very, very rare. Omphocyte is that one, if I was had a source of light next to me, this would turn imperial green, green. colour with a light source. Omphocyte jadeite is wow. one of the rarest, in fact, I'm fairly sure Dave has said the rarest of all. Um, yeah, from first appearances, it looks black, then you take a light source, um, and it doesn't have to be a physical torch. In fact, there's one over there. Can you pass me... Um, um, if we can reach it, I don't know if Dave will allow me to use his torch. Um, but yeah, if you take a light source, this will turn a vivid, oh. beautiful, beautiful That's green. That's not what I thought it was. No, yeah. yeah, it does look a bit like that, but hang on, I don't know if I can work it. One second. It looks a bit like one of those vapey machines, doesn't it? Have I got this right? Hang on. It is. Hang on, oh, I've done something. Have I changed it? What have I done? Oh, I don't want to break No, that's it. orange. Let's just turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to break Dave's jade torch. Sorry, bad idea. Anyway, so yeah, it turns this beautiful imperial green. Um, one of the red, look at how stunning it is. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Totally and utterly natural. No enhancement whatsoever. How on earth are we at 99 pounds? <gasps> considering this is one of the rarest formations. How many do we have, Roscoe? There are 11 in existence out of the 111 um, that we actually launched for the very first time. And I love, I love in it in the rondelle. We yeah. don't often see jade yeah. out in the rondelles, no, well, do we? because it's wasteful. That's yeah. why, very wasteful. Because they have to basically make a round and then and cut, the top, cut and bottom, the top and bottom off. Basically, yeah. So um, very wasteful. So it's a rare shape to actually see. Again, speaking of Mason and Kay, you will find it on there. Mm. I don't know how much um, how much on site jade Mason and Kay has, actually. Probably um, not. Probably not a great deal, which, by the way, neither do we. Um, it is totally and utterly natural. Get your certificate of authenticity. This is definitely one for the collectors and connoisseurs. Um, there are only 11 in existence now. Once they're gone, they're gone. The window of opportunity with colours like this, rare collectible colours like this, are closing very, very, very quickly. Not just for us here at Jewelry Maker Ultimately Gemporia, they are closing um, sort of around the, around the Western countries really as they are being sort of stockpiled and, mm. and kept uh, solely in China. Um, at 99 pounds, that was already an absolutely unbelievable deal. Congratulations. Um, to those of you that have already secured it, don't worry. Everybody pays that final low price tag, £79. 79. Pounds. If you used Omphocyte with some of your red jade, I, how I was going to say with be? the red jade, I, that would oh, look lovely. It. It's one of the rarest of all black gemstones. Mm. You know, that's the thing. Black jadeite is rare, incredibly, incredibly rare. And it, it's rarer than many of the other colours of type A jadeite because it forms, through, it takes three times longer to form, but it also forms in much smaller sizes. This is another level on top of that. Um, amazing. Truly, truly amazing. Oh, you're visualising it alongside Yeah. Tonight. Yeah, lovely. Lovely with that. Yeah, beautiful. I love black and green. Me too. Very love regal, it. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Love that. Well done, everybody. Congratulations to those of you multi-buying. £39.50 on split payment. That's crazy. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, moving on to... <gasps> I'm glad you said that, because I've been, they've been looking at me saying, <laughs> pick me. I'm so beautiful. Look at my metallic luster. I'm not 
natural. <laughs> you didn't know, you see, we get a lot of we get a lot of chatter back from the gemstone. Oh, we were all saying the same, mind. <laughs> we were all in agreement. That's we what were. these pearls are saying. They are. L seriously. Seriously, that's natural. They are not coated. They are not dyed. That is how they're formed in the mollusk. Look at those two where, where you've got the purple going into that deep, gold. rich gold. Yeah. It's wow. like they've been dipped in 24 karat gold, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Now, remember, I say it all the time, oh. but from a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will be naturally metallic. You have a full strand of metallic. Wow. Now, when we first launched this amazing strand, we had 101. I've got three. I love that one. I know. It's, these are <gasps> insane. And again, different lighting conditions yeah. in the light box. Here, you're, you're under floodlights, which is great for Alice and I, not so great for your gemstones. No. <laughs> but Trust me, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Um, unbelievable. Oh, wow. I, I would not these, and I would personally invest in, mm. a, um, say, a vintage clasp or something like that off your um, auction houses. I love these shapes. You've got your sort of Baroque shapes. Um, and then every single one of those natural colors. So natural lavenders, natural golds, natural papayas. Um, and we, we, I know we've discussed it lots of times, but for the benefit of those people that are maybe new to jewelry maker, you know, the rarity of a natural color pill is um, basically when they have such strong colors, they've formed outside of the center of the shell. They've kind of uh, um, navigated themselves to the circumference. That's where, if you think about an oyster, it has the most sort of condensed color. So um, very rare. And also then you start thinking about the proportions of these pearls mm. um, and just the anatomy, if you like, of, the, uh, of a mollusk itself. You know, they tend to taper down towards the end, don't they? So that would have been a big mollusk itself. Now for the final three opportunities that we have in this absolutely beautiful Strand, naturally metallic, literally like they've been dipped in 24 karat gold, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're, there's one really grabbing the attention, isn't it? Ready? This one. Uh, yeah. 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 The two the two I the like. Two, the two actually. One's got gold and one's like almost a bronze. I mean, I would pay 249 for that one pearl. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not just that one that's beautiful. They're all lovely. They're all you've got silver metallic, you've got gold metallic. £249 wow. only or just £62.25 on your split payment. Personally, not it with silk, add it to an 18 karat gold clasp. Yeah. I've got five of you with it in your baskets. Hello, Sue. I have these pearls. Spectacular. Yeah. Exactly. Totally, totally agree with you. And the kind of pearls, Sue, that at some point we should maybe look at getting, uh, getting valued for insurance purposes. Oh, gosh, yes. Because we, we can't replace them at 249. Nope. So imagine what they'd be if you buy them sort of in the usual sort of uh, uh, jewellery shop way. These are going to be four oh, figures four and figures. then some. Um, wh why is there a clock on screen? Are you? What are you taking me to? What? I remember doing pearls at Jewellery Maker, which weren't metallic, but still beautiful, don't get me wrong. Shorter strands... Pre-pandemic, mm -hmm. so pre, obviously, the current situation with the pearl market, for what price you've just told me? Half, the, half the length, Ross, and when pearls were more abundant because, you know, they hadn't been decimated by, not been tended to, basically, over, yeah. the, over the pandemic. We're about to match a price. Personally, in my humble opinion, it is only my opinion, from about, I don't know, five years ago. Oh, yeah, easy. Yeah. Easy. I can't believe that. I don't know that. I, in fact, I don't know that I remember seeing them under 200. I remember doing some 149, yeah. but they were much shorter strands. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, were about, yeah. They were that, that kind of length. Yeah. I do remember doing those, but they weren't anywhere near 38 centimetres. Yeah, because they just fit in the box yeah. singly. It, yeah, not it was in a black folded box. Open. I totally remember those as well. Yeah. Um, but these are naturally metallic pearls. So in, 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 this is in my head anyway. Oh, my goodness. That's a price from like pre-pandemic mm. um, when pearls were more affordable. One. Look at the split payment. One. 
37 pounds oh, and 25 pence pounds. only samantha amazing wow. well done you've got yours northamptonshire i've got christine there and i've got janet there and i've got people on the phone lines and on the web that i can't see because alice and i've got a delay here in the studio um did you say there was three available I only got two left. I'm over allocated on this one. Like they have literally been formed beautifully within the mollusk, coating with the most amazing uh, uh, nacre over, you know, the period of time that it takes to create mm. these beautiful gemstones of Mother Nature. And it's almost like Mother Nature has just taken one and gone, here you go, 24 karat gold, dip. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It does look like it. Um, amazing. Uh, Ross is like, oh, I think I've gone too low on this one. Are you, are, are you kind of, you're regretting? Can't take it oh, back. You can't take it back now, can you? Roscoe, Roscoe, it's one of those, you know, when you, you know, as a child, you used to do something naughty and then you'd realise the consequences. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. We should be, we should be actually raising the price because there's only three of them, not lowering. Um, <laughs> um, there's only one left, so well done. Oh, wow. I'll leave that one with you. Congratulations. It could be you, Northamptonshire. It could be you, Christine. Uh, Janet, I can see you've got yours. Absolutely amazing. I've got people um, on the phone lines as well. So good luck, everyone. If you do miss out, then always wish list it. Oh, definitely. Don't forget your early bird as well coming up. These are absolutely mm. beautiful, very much Astley Clark inspired butterfly pennants. I'm obsessed with these. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. If you were to see that on Astley Clark, there is no way on earth it would be anywhere near the price tag. Um, there's one left of that pearl, so I'll leave that one with you. Let's dive into a collector's bundle. So, oh, I like this. Let me show you a few. Ready? I need my white piece of paper. Stunning. Oh, Tanzanite. Colour. I'm just going to lay that down there for a second. Beautiful with that Tanzanite. Pink tourmaline. No. Yep. Grandidurite. Ooh. And the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. Stunning. Peridot. Oh, the size of those. Yeah, I know they're huge. Wow. And honey Ethiopian opal. Oh, wow. Look, I'm holding it against a white background and you can yeah. still see that play of colour. If you have never purchased from us here at Jewelry Maker wow. and you've been thinking about it, this is the one because immediately you are an instant gem collector and it's not just you know ah oh, your jaspers your quartzes yeah. and things like that it's grand digerite one of the world's top 10 rarest it's fine quality peridot totally and utterly natural um in fact they're all natural tanzanite's obviously got some heat treatment because it always does um beautiful and you've got that vanadium blue but other than the tanzanite they are all totally and utterly natural wow you know, to, again, you know, I said earlier on, uh, um, Alison, like, if you think about how far we've, we've come, not just jewellery maker <clears throat> as a business, mm. but uh, collectively as a family, you know, yes. the gemstones that we now all own, thanks to the progression of jewellery yeah. maker. I'd have never dreamed of entertaining of owning Ethiopian opal. Nope. I'd have never entertained owning Grand right or Tanzanite even. And here we are bringing you five of those, well, five gemstones, Tanzanite, Tourmaline, Grand right Peridot, and Ethiopian opal. When I started, yeah, so 10 years ago now, I reckon the only one Maybe we just started. When did we start getting Tanzanite? Certainly right at the beginning. I reckon Peridot was the only one we used probably, to do. Probably, yeah. Yeah, probably. And even then it was nuggets. Mm. It, wasn't, it wasn't faceted no. sizes like this. You are an immediate collector. Oh, look now, at I only have 18 available. I just want to hide those tassels just so you can appreciate the gemstones. How beautiful is that? Stunning, isn't it? How beautiful. Now, we only have 18, so good luck, everybody. You do get all five. You haven't got to choose between. Um, you haven't got to go, oh, I like, the, I like the opal the best, or maybe I like the grand digerite the best while I have that one. No, so far, five strands, 99 pounds and 99 pence. That's yeah. 20 pounds each. On what planet are we when we think 
20 pounds for grand digirite mm. or 20 pounds for tanzanite or any of the gemstones to be honest but in particular grand digirite as one of the world's most expensive gemstones twenty thousand dollars per carat for grand digirite yeah. you know um not 20 quid <laughs> how about then this is insane an orange note per gemstone strand wow are you happy? Yeah. I'm more than happy. How about if you are brand new or you're one of our existing customers, but if you wanted to give us a try for the very first time, how yeah, it is the perfect auction because you have got a multitude of gemstones here, high end gemstones too. And also we're going to give you the entire bundle for less than 20 pounds today. 20 pounds for Woo! any of those strands. A close out deal for sure. Make sure you are checking out your baskets. It's the final few opportunities. I mean, that's a suite of jewelry if ever I saw it. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Every single one of these strands can be turned into that full suite. I mean, the size of that. That grand, did you right? Yeah. I mean, I, I'd turn those into individual rings. Yeah, lovely. You know? What, the individual stones? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Amazing. Truly amazing. Wow. I only have 18, though, so you will need to be quick checking out your baskets, everybody. It is happening. I've said it out loud. Well done to those of you that have taken the initiative to say, that's good enough for me. I'll set it out, uh, you know, set it, set it loud. So that means it's got to happen. Yeah. I love that as an archway yeah it's beautiful isn't, isn't that it? stunning amazing you want a little bride and groom that, underneath it that that opal would have been yeah. 49.99 in fact totally. it would have probably be more than that yeah. when we were part of the immediate family oh, it's happening though that. 18 available good luck folks 19 pounds and 99 pence only to guarantee your beautiful five yeah five hugely collectible no. gemstones it's only four pound. I would say five pound each. It's only four. One. Yeah. There's five of them. So that's what? Four, four pound, pound for each. the tanzanite. Four pounds for the tourmaline. Four pounds Whoa. for the grand digirite. Four pounds for the peridot. And four pounds for the Ethiopian opal as well. Um, they're on the verge of selling out. Okay, let's give you another mega deal. Wow. Sticking with your beautiful tanzanite. What an introduction that would be. Yeah, amazing. <gasps> Um, here we go. So, tanzanite, with little to no gemstone knowledge, I think most people have heard of tanzanite. It's the only gemstone, really, that in its very short uh, um, sort of period of, uh, of us knowing about it, I mean, it took 585 million years to form, oh, so don't it. get me wrong, but we've known it since 1969. Um, it's the only gemstone that has achieved sort of the status that, I, yeah. that it has in a short, such a short period of time. Now, with Tanzanite, we know it forms in one location on our planet, just at the foot, uh, footfall of Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, it has this beautiful, beautiful blue that's coloured by, by vanadium. Seriously, that's, that's exceptional. Absolutely. The more vanadium blue, the more desirable the Tanzanite is. Um, and yeah, they use a little bit of a heat treatment to this gemstone. It's only replicating what the sun can do and they've yeah. actually tried and tested that. Um, yeah, so encouraging those beautiful blues. Launched by Tiffany's and Co. and just an immediate overnight success, and I can see why. Mm. There's no other blue gemstone like Tanzanite. Uh, Rossa just said, none of you know, I've got any idea where this is going, do you? Well, I know we're at 49.99, that's already incredible. For that quality. Yeah, it, exactly, it's not, Tanz it's not Tanzanite, which is like pale and insipid. No. And a little bit grey. Or... Yeah, like barely blue. Yeah. It's not. It's tanzanite with, you know, I always use this terrible analogy, but if you can imagine making yourself a bottle, uh, a glass of squash. Yeah. You know, if you imagine the squashed cordial itself is the vanadium and you're pouring more and more and more in, the more vanadium, the deeper the blue. Oh, yeah. That's what we have here. Someone slipped with the squash bottle on this one. Totally agree. What? 27 carats for under 10 pounds. That's, wow. Again, when we first started getting Tanzanite in, that would have been like 70 pounds. Yeah. Well, it was chips initially, wasn't it? Well, we only had strands of chips initially. How many have we got, Ross? 
Sergi available. Pop this. Oh, no. a, pop this. Um, pop this amongst your pearls. How beautiful would that oh, be? Oh, lovely. They would look lovely. I love it. You know, well pack done. your charm on there. Pop your oh, butterfly on there. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah, lovely idea. Maybe put one of your butterflies, just put those together. That's a lovely idea. That right there, Alison, is why you're the amazing designer. <laughs> Yeah. That would look beautiful, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just? Just a few of your tanzanites in there. You don't even have to use the entire strand. I would be stocking up, though, when it's at 9 99 Well, not, yes. We all know that's not normal, don't we? We all know that when you can go onto places like First Dibs and see tanzanite rondelles for considerably more than yeah. that. Um, you know, all right, you can find some at triple figures, but even so, triple figures, considered amount of money. Um, amazing, good luck, well done. Make sure you are checking out your baskets. We had 30 and there's tons of you there. Um, I do have a bundle of pearls. When we say bundle, you should see how big this bundle is. So oh. firstly. Nice. With nice. the display box as well. Close out crazy today. Oh, I've got a ring in my you ears. See, when you said a triple of pearls, I thought that's it. Yeah, Done. That makes Beautiful. sense. Beautiful. Does make sense. Um, these are half drilled. Yeah. So absolutely perfect. You've got the pendant um, bales earlier. Yes. Make your own peg. So how about if I said then, Alison, <gasps> you also get a pochette. Pochette. Is that what it's called? As, well, I call it. It's a pochette. pochette. How about if I said you also get? Oh, look at that pretty. Strand of natural pearls. Beautiful. Look how much they pull the sort of purple tones out of that oh, strand. they certainly do. How about if I said we were going to have another one? <gasps> do you know, what's that TV show where they're like putting out the money? <laughs> then, oh, where they buy stuff? Where they buy stuff, yeah. How about if I said, I'm going to put another one on there. Oh! You get three strands of natural pearls. You get three beautiful natural purple drop pearls and your pochette. So we're at £399. Mm. Um, that's essentially £100 per item, which is absolutely incredible. You know, um, because we are talking natural pearls. These are, look, we can bring you pearls, cultured pearls, which have been bleached and dyed at an affordable yeah. price tag. Naturally coloured pearls are not usually affordable. No. This, I think I'm right in saying, was launched as part of our birthday celebrations, wasn't it? And we have the final few. Over 150 went on launch, 11 are left. Let's do one price crash. Yes, Alison. Can, can you multiply 38 by three and divide by four? Ooh. No, times three, times three. Divided by four. <gasps> oh, my gosh. 28.5. Now, what's that in inches, if that's centimetres? Oh, God, you're asking Hang on, I can do that bit. I can do that way. But while, while you're doing that, we're at £25 for natural pearls per component. £25 for the, full, uh, for, the, for the trio, the pair of earrings, the matching pendant. £25 for your beautiful natural coloured pearls. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, not that. Yeah. Get the class from earlier. Oh, yeah. Make a four-strand choker of pearls yeah. with one drop pearl from the centre Lovely. and a pair of drop earrings to match. That is one seriously, seriously Stop. high, high edge um, sweet. Yeah, absolutely. Just because Put a butterfly in there. Why not? At that kind of price point, you know, why not? Oh my goodness me, jewellery makers. That is an unbelievable deal. We've got 11 of them left though, so you do I need to be quite like. quick on this. And let's not forget your deal of the day, the beautiful pearl, yeah. uh, the beautiful butterfly. That would look amazing too. I think you can still get hold of that class. Um, well done that to those you that have got. That's got to be one of the best pearl deals I've ever seen. No, Genuinely. That, that's a high three figure, probably four figure absolutely. choker then. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> Um, oh, this strand has been, mm. again, I, I've been admiring this strand. These are, the colour of these greens are amazing. Mm. 
So, because there's different shades, different tones of green, aren't there? We know about imperial green, but you've also got things like your apple green, you've got your uh, kind of uh, sage green as well in there. This is apple leaning into the imperial colours. So, and it's all natural, there's no wow. enhancement whatsoever. Plus, you have, you know, if I quote Roland Schlussel, one of the rarest colours of all, um, red jadeite, lavender jadeite. He is actually saying they're the rarest colours of all um, in your type A grade. Um, because, well, in Burma, which is where this, this strand is from, this is Burmese jadeite, um, it, your lavenders require vanadium, and vanadium is a natural element that occurs very frequently in Burma. So um, even here at 999, an absolutely incredible deal. It's natural, it's type A, it's laboratory certified. We, we can't have many of these. No. 16, okay, I didn't think so. I mean, if you're a lover of lavender jade, look how strong that lavender colour is. Yes. That's pretty intense for Burmese lavender jade. You know, it's not to be compared with like your bursa, which is more of a purple, I suppose. Yeah. Lavender is a, is is a, is a far more subtle colour. Four nine nine. Immediately, collectors getting involved. We know the history. We know that the Burmese mine of jade. It's been um, well for hundreds of years. We've been celebrating this beautiful gemstone, um, and it has absolutely been and still is considered the primary location in the world. However, the mining has ceased, um, so no more jadeite coming from that location. So what we have on our screens is kind of old mined, if that makes sense. Um, and most retailers will increase the price given the circumstances, but we're not, we're not most people. Um, now, at 4 dollars that's absolutely amazing. Let's go even lower. I put this with the butterfly, you really bird. I think that'd be lovely with the butterflies. Make sure you are checking out there, £199 only. Again, if you do your research and you have a little look at the prices of type A jadeite elsewhere, please make sure you are actually comparing genuine jadeite, genuine type A grade, because they will put A grade, and it's a little bit of a twist on words. You've got to be so careful. Ask for the laboratory cert. 199 is an absolute steal, but it's not your price. We've got 16 available. 60 seconds is ticking away. We're going to go even lower. There will come a time, and, and, and it's, look, it's, it's coming. There will come a time when we can't bring you type A jadeite. Mm -hmm. And if we bring you jadeite at all, it's probably going to be your type B and type C. And that's fine. You know, the thing is, we said it yesterday. Dave and I were talking about it. We've become snobs, really, to, to jadeite. We've, we, we have. We, we're like, oh, no, type A. Connoisseurs. Connoisseurs. Yeah, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Um, but it's true. And that's good. Yeah. That is really good. That's not a negative. But moving forward, it's almost non-sustainable for us as a business. So get it whilst you have the opportunity. Anne-Marie and Cumbria are amazing. Make sure you're checking out your basket. I've got new customers. I've got collectors in London. Amazing. We are not stopping at 199 pounds it's like the perfect palette the perfect marriage of apple blossom green alongside the gentle lure of your mm. lavender jade i i love it uh burmese lavender jade I, is more of a bluey purple much more of a pastel like color. yeah yeah see i'm thinking with that with the butterfly yeah jade I, butterfly would look gorgeous oh, with, with the that. deal of the day yeah yeah amazing God, that's frankly ridiculous. It really 99. is. Ninety-nine. Yeah. If you if you think about it this way, look, I'm going to lay it out like so. If I split oh, look at those lavenders. green to one side, lavenders to yeah. the other, that's fifty pound a parcel, which is madness. Absolute madness. I've shown you loads of pictures before in the past, haven't I? On mm. Mason K, uh, Pillar and Stone. Christie's, Sotheby's, First Dibs, all those places where lavender jade or green jade of this same saturation, the same quality, type A grade, that hasn't been no way near double figures. Or, oh, oh, Ross, Ross, hang on. There are 24 available. We thought 16, but no, we've got 24. Look at the quality of that lavender. Mm. Seriously. Any of these should, could, be, could be that price tag individually. Well, I was thinking that, and you know when you were saying splitting them? Yeah. And I thought, just for the lavender, 99. 
on its own and you're well, getting all that green free we've that's a crazy price we, we, we genuinely have lost it alison because yeah. we should not be expecting jade of any variety type b or type c to be a double figure price tag no. it's one of the world's rarest gemstones in existence we want to see you there i've got how many 26 24 you had 24 had I can't believe we're doing this. We make our own jobs difficult by doing things like this. We can't perch. We can't get Jadeite right now from this location. Look, Dave's just come back. Dave, Jake, and a couple of other members of our buying team have just come back from China. They've met with some of the most influential individuals in the Jadeite market. And they were like, no, not so. why would I sell it to you? Because you, you'll, you know, you'll pay significantly less than what I can sell them it, it, it direct back into China. You know, I agree. Ross has just said if you had, what, just a couple in a pot of the lavender, it's going to be, it's going to, it's not going to be double figures. Just a few of them. Good luck. In 14 seconds, it's going lower. We had 24. Wendy's got hersey. Sussex, well done. I've got Karen and Paula and Karen and Anne-Marie and Maker in Cumbria. Um, let me count them. The lavenders. Yeah. One, two. Is it right? It's nine. Nine lav. Nine. Yeah. Lavenders so being one of the rarest colours. Eleven pounds each. El no. Eleven, eleven pounds. Well, they were. What? No, that can't be right. Nine. That's eight pounds seventy-seven per natural type A lavender jadeite that we never have, and all of those apple greens for free. Can, you, you know when I saw Mason and Kay in, in Tucson last year? Yeah. Do you think they had anything for eight pounds? No. Absolutely not. They'd have laughed me off the stand. Absolutely. 100% get away. Get away, you clearly don't know your jade. Yeah. 100%. They would have done. Um, and know, that's you, wholesale, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah it's wholesale. not retail. So do you think when we spoke to Roland Schlussel and he was like, look, here's the, it, it, type, type A jade is officially an investment stone, um, uh, particularly uh, sought after are the rare colours, the lavenders and the reds. You know, we've taken that slice of information from really like a guru, if you like, in the jade world and just... Just ignored it. Yeah. Just completely ignored it. Now, we are running out of time. What we're going to do, we'll bring the butterflies the other side of the break. Um, so you're going to be able to purchase everything else within this hour for one more minute. The butterflies will come up the other side. Look at all those in the basket. Oh, yeah, you, you, need one to check it out. you need to check them out. It's pointless having them lingering around in your baskets and not guaranteed to you until you make that confirmation. That's Every single deal. purchase, even when we've gone to something stupidly low like £79. What's the split payments on £79? £26.33. pence. It's crazy. Um, yeah, our call screen's on a go slow. So check out your basket. This auction ends in 30 seconds, as does every other item within this hour. So anything. Um, the butterfly pendant's coming up straight after the break. If you've got those pills, which I did see sold out. If you've got one, well, the tanzanite, the collector's five strands, the red jadeite, the omphacite jadeite, um, or any wow. of the sterling silver components, you've got 12 seconds. I've got five left of this strand. Don't go anywhere. Your beautiful pendants are coming up immediately after the break. Check out your baskets and we'll see you after this. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker.
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I love these. It, yes. I also, and I, I, I won't, I don't want to take too much away from the jadeite carving because I'm going to mm. be talking about butterflies then, but apparently if you see two butterflies together, they are symbolic of lovers. Well, they're usually a couple, aren't they? Yes. Oh. Two, two butterflies is like a couple, yeah, a couple. Just beautiful. That's why apparently in some places around the world they let out butterflies when people get married. But they don't live for very long, do they? No. Lots of meanings beautiful, behind the butterfly. Beautiful, but not very long. And, of course, they're one of the world's pollinators. Absolutely, definitely. I remember going back, oh, years. I'm, I'm talking probably 12, 15 years ago, and I remember the radio stations were encouraging us to get out into our gardens to count butterflies. Yes. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I had a big buddlier bush at the time, oh. and I used to get loads of butterflies. There wow. is something so beautiful yeah in their fragility in yeah how short their lifespan mm. is it's quite humbling i think and you know sort of we realize how fragile life can be mm. um you know how representative they are and honestly i went down a rabbit hole last night because i started researching <laughs> butterflies and i was like okay where do i where's this it's not going to end because you've got butterflies what they mean to us, yeah. you know, it's all about transformation and things like that. Um, but also afterlife. Yeah. It's symbolic of the afterlife. Lovers, marriage, uh, femininity. There's loads of meanings. And you can go into sort of what they mean in Hinduism, what they mean in Feng Shui. There's loads and loads and loads of different avenues. 
And they all tend to encompass life, obviously. So they talk about sort of uh, um, life and uh, uh, the circle of life, I suppose. And I'm probably not wording it as poetically as this article, but lots of meaning mm. behind the butterfly itself. Because, because a lot of insects, but butterflies are so beautiful, have this cycle of life. Yeah. And they go through the, the pupae and they go through the caterpillar phase. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I think that's beautiful. But you talking about the buddleias, yeah. um, and I can't remember who put it on. I think it was my friend Elspeth in Scotland. And she had a bush covered in butterflies and she managed to capture the moment they all took off. Oh, wow. And it was absolutely beautiful. But if you, if you look up butterflies taking off from, and, and you see this whole kaleidoscope, you sit, know where the name comes they from. They sit, don't they, for a while after yeah. they've come from, from the... What do you call it? Cocoon. Yeah. The, for, yes. So when they've transitioned and their wings are still quite well, they, crumpled they've got and wet. To, they've got to wait. Yeah, they've got, got to, to dry wait out. Dry out, and you watch that process. I watched it. Somebody obviously done it on on oh, on slow time. Yeah. Uh, um, time lapse. Yeah, and you just saw them gradually open. It's just absolutely Beautiful. stunning. Um, but also, can I just say? Yes, these are your butterflies. But if I walked into somewhere like Ashley Clark or in Monica Veneda mm. or Misoma, any of those places, and looked for a pendant like this, which they are very on trend with the kind of beading bezel, yes. a little bit Van Cleef and Arpels, where you've got the beaded bezeling um, all the way around, you're going to be talking about £90. Mm. And, that, and I asked Ross in the break, I was like, Roscoe, can you just have a look, get, go on the, the website for Ashley Clark? And straight away, I didn't pay attention to what they are a pendant of or if they're even a pendant of anything at all. Um, but straight away, I was like, oh, £95 for that. One little star feature, mm. £175. That, I mean, I love their designs. And I only ever mention these because I love them. But you see where I'm coming from in yeah. terms of the design? Very, very, very similar. Look, I mean, that lady looks so beautiful with the layering. It is absolutely stunning, and we've done the the um, paper clips. Paper clips. We have we've done lockets. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Done celestial, uh, sort of like that, like that compass design. Yeah, as well, haven't we? Um, now these are going to explode, I think, in terms of popularity. Oh, I'm obsessed gosh, yeah. with them, and I'm going to be getting some as well because I think they're absolutely gorgeous gifts. We've got chains as well, so hopefully you got the chains in the last hour. Um, if you haven't, we always bring you those on a regular basis. Now, just so, to give you a heads up for the benefit of those who have just tuned in, I've got 50 of the rose gold, 50 of the yellow gold, and 100 of the silver. Love them. Mm. You think, uh, and we were starting at fourteen ninety nine. Not closing. That's where we're starting. I thought they were already priced. Yes. Yeah. No, we're going even lower. <gasps> now, I don't think people are just going to get one or two. Let's start with the yellow. And Michael very kindly has displayed these beautifully. Well done, Michael. <laughs> um, on um, on a chain, which I think most of us will have within our stash. If you don't, then we can certainly bring them to you. But look how lovely that is. If that was Beautiful. in Astley Clark, this is my point. If this was in Astley Clark, you're not going to be talking about the price point anywhere near no. that we go to. How beautiful so that is. Stunning, isn't it? Hang on, that's bothering me. One second, I'm just going to pivot this round. Oh, because it's, the, yeah, yeah. No, it's the other way. There. Hey. Got it. <laughs> Sorry, if I'm going to show it, it needs to be symmetrical. Look at how beautiful this piece is. Yeah, you've got your little celestial oh, motifs if you were to go on Astley Clark. You've got little gemstone setting, and they're all three figures and then some. With the butterfly, but that beaded bezel. Mm. But this has got gemstones on, hasn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Stunning. You've got a little, uh, where, the, where the little antennae yeah. is. Yeah. Um, you have two beautiful uh, gems there, bringing you amazing yes. amounts of colourless luster. Stunning, aren't Now, they? dial quick, because there is only 50 of them available. The Look bezel. at the investment of sterling silver. Again, it's that beaded beaded bezel, mm. not bezel, sorry, that beaded Thanks. bale um, that I think is really giving me Ashley Clark, Van Cleef and Arpels vibes. Love the symbolism. I like the fact it's not too big, mm -hmm. so that you could absolutely, you know, you might know someone that's gone through a period of transition. You might know 
somebody that has you know, loves summer, loves butterflies, yeah. whatever it is, um, I think you know it, it calls to us in a unique way. They are topaz that are set within, and it is all precious metal, wow. gold plated, nine two five sterling silver. Now we're starting at fourteen ninety nine, but we are not stopping there. Wow. I think they could be a really beautiful pendant. I'll hold it up to the neckline in a second, and it would also look absolutely amazing on the wrist line too, or earrings. Oh, nice, yeah. You've got a very generous bail yeah. there, so you probably could get it on. You get it on a nice chain. You could probably, yeah, it, yeah. It's nice and curved and yeah. pronounced in that curve. We're not stopping there, though, Alison. <sighs> I'm joining you on this one. I'm kicking myself now because I meant to get up and get my phone. Um, <laughs> I love this. I think they're absolutely beautiful gifts. Yeah, big topaz. I, do you know? And I think my girls would absolutely love this too. Nine pounds and ninety-nine what? pence only to get hold of this absolutely beautiful, uh, beautiful pendant. Oh, that's nice, Michael. You put it on a nice long chain. I like that. Look how beautiful that is. That's amazing. I love it. I absolutely yeah. love this. Now, nine ninety-nine. Where else do you think we're going to find? Genuine topaz encrusted into yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver and over a gram of it. Where else do you think you're going to see this for a tenner? Oh my gosh. I don't think you're going to see it anywhere near a tenner. The work involved, if it was just the plain mm. disc, the gold disc, okay, fair enough. But the work that's gone into two tube setting plus all the setting, I presume they're topaz all the way on the bale as well. That's the precious, uh, that, that, that's the beading. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's the beading. Gosh, it looks that like, got, yeah, it, looks, it does. It, it looks like the gemstone set. <sighs> Guys, um, you, know where else, the back. you know where else we're not going to see this beautiful pendant at 9 99 Wow. Right here. We're not even stopping at 9.99. Oh my God. Um, good luck though. Janet, Linda in Hertfordshire, Linda in Hampshire, Ayrshire, Veronica, wow. Genoefa, Cheryl, Ruth. Um, amazing. You're not going to see this beautiful necklace anywhere near what's on your screens, which is already astonishingly low. This is why I want to join you on this opportunity. I mean, how beautiful is that as a gift? Beautiful. And the quality of the gold plating as well. You know, yeah. sometimes you can look at gold plating and it looks a little bit too brassy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit too brassy and, I'll yeah. say it, cheap. Whereas this... I mean, you can see... It, it, it looks like it's solid 18 karat gold. It does, doesn't it? Yes! Um, oh my goodness me, we only have 50 and I've got multi-buyers getting involved. Do you think in Christmas? Are you thinking oh. just because? Well, at that price, it's a just because price, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. It's a secret Santa price. Absolutely. Maybe you know someone that's going, I don't know, off to university or college or, I don't know, it's like a transitional. That's yeah. what the butterfly is all about, isn't it? It's transitional. transitional. Um, and that can mean lots of different things. Yeah. Wow. How pretty. It's lovely, isn't it? I love this. Again, let me go back to, you pop onto Ashley Clark, see if you find anything, so, anything for 6 99 6 99 Maybe a bag. You might get one of their I was going to say that. Paper you could, bags. You could almost have a Gift bag charm for that. Exactly. A phone charm. You know, make a pair of earrings. These, these are precious. Mm. It's precious 925 sterling silver, furthermore, with 18 karat gold and genuine topaz, not cubic sconia. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I think you might get the wrap, you might get the gift wrapping service maybe yeah. for six ninety nine on Ashley Clark. We only had fifty of them. Linda's got two. Janet's got two. Wiltshire's got two. Northamptonshire, hello to you. Liv uh, London, well done. Elaine and Veronica and Cheryl, well done. I've got June and Dawn. Uh, Berkshire, hello to you. Christine and new customers. I will be joining you on this opportunity. One hundred percent. I think yeah, it's absolutely know. gorgeous. You could easily put this in amongst something like we did Kumahimo yesterday. Yeah. We had some lovely. Um, in the 12 o'clock hour. You could do like a Kumahimo braid and feed it on there. Nice. It doesn't have to be a chain, does it? Um, well done. So there was 50 of those. Ooh. Oh, how many have we got left of them, Ross? Okay, we're, down, we're rapidly approaching single figures. Let's dive into the rose gold because these are flying. In fact, uh, can, I, can I just borrow that yeah. one of them? There you go. Because I reckon... That was an unintentional. I can't even take the credit <gasps> for that. So um, here we go. The bale would fit on the gemstone. So if you've got the um, one of the kits coming up in this hour, yeah, that bale would, would feed onto those gemstones and that would look amazing. <sighs> look I'm sorry. at that. 
Seriously. Oh, is that the rose? Isn't That's it? the rose Beautiful. gold colour. Again with your topaz. It, we're not talking costume jewellery here. We're talking about genuine precious metal. Precious metal on precious metal with topaz. You know where we're going. No surprises here, lovely jewellery makers. You've got that very Van Cleef and Arpels beaded uh, bail. And then you have your lovely little butterfly on. I love the simplicity of it. I just think it's so beautiful. You know where we are going. We're not stopping anywhere near 52 pounds and 99 pence. Although we definitely could. And even if we halved it, I think that would be absolutely amazing. Oh, look at that. Imagine layering them. Oh, they'd be great layered. How about that? Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Uh, that that is that that you look at most of the large um yeah. design houses mm -hmm. they are all about the layering definitely that with an with a paper chain you're you're well into the fashion there absolutely Way we're at six pounds and 99 pence only for your rose gold plated 925 sterling silver encrusted with beautiful topaz um, we only had 50 of them available. Ruth, Wiltshire, well done, both getting two. Uh, Linda getting two. Thomas and Julie, well done. We're all getting four. Valerie, multi-buying. Keep on dialing through, folks. I'm going to move on just because I've got, I've got the silver. Now, this one we know is it's the biggest quantity. It's the last of the butterfly pendants. I'd be getting them in all three colours if there's mm. any available. Just oh, because, again, it's such a nice... Mix Yeah, mix them up together. I think this is beautiful. Um, and it's always the most popular precious metal colour of choice um, and you think about it silver goes with 18 karat gold goes with platinum yeah so um yeah it's going to complement all of those you know we're not stopping at 48.99 good luck to each and every single one of you whether you you know it's a just because gift perhaps yeah absolutely You're thinking of someone saw this pendant know you like butterflies know you like summertime whatever it is yeah. maybe someone was born in summer um maybe the butterfly represents sort of the journey that somebody's been on right yeah. now you're feeling a bit down, spread your wings. Love it. I lo oh, yeah, I spreading your it. wings I as love well. It. I just think that there's something so beautiful about a butterfly, the mm. fragility of them, you know, they're just so delicate. Yeah. The well, fact so they have... beautiful. Yeah, they really and are. And such a variety. Yeah, absolutely. I love them. Do you remember, like, um, there are obviously different species we don't mm. see now. Yeah. Back when I was a child, they used to use it, the Red Admiral. We used to get spotted one the other day, but we used to have loads of yeah. Red Admirals. Don't see them very often anymore now. We get little cornflower ones yes. up there. We get a little brown one, a little sort of tanny brown, which I'm not sure what it and is. The white ones. We get the cabbage whites. Yes. Um, and we get another one which has got like a green in it, which is beautiful. I love them. Mm. I think there's just something so. I don't know. And you get those giant ones. You know, if you've ever been to a butterfly house oh, oh, yeah. in a zoo and they're like the size of your hand. Yeah. They're huge. Good luck, everybody. There was a hundred. Wow. Five, five ninety nine. Five. I, yeah, I don't know what else to say I about that. Gone. That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> Five pounds and 99 pence. You need to be quick making sure you check out. It's absolutely stunning. Should I hold it up to the next yeah. one for you? Um, and again, if you are thinking gifts, silver is, you know, I would say probably the um, colour oh, I would recommend because everybody loves silver, don't they? I mean, look at how beautiful that is on the, neck, uh, on the neckline. Um, and it's flying out the door. Sorry, <laughs> pardon the pun. Um, they're so beautiful. A big investment in sterling silver and then your topaz encrusted butterfly. Yeah, yeah we We've got a butterfly farm near to us, actually. It oh, have you? The one in Stratford upon Avon, yeah. Uh, it's boiling when you go in there. And it's not just butterflies, though. They've got iguanas in there and oh, got yeah, yeah. different birds and yeah. things. I remember taking Willow once. Um, well, Tiggy's been, and she's, but she's a bit more of a brute, yeah. so she was all right. She was totally chill. Willow freaked out because oh, they come and land on they you. Do they do all yeah, land the on you. The giant ones. They're so tame. Yeah, she was not happy. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, bless yeah, her. she was not happy about it at all. She's going to be a fleur. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, she's not frightened of them, but I think the fact that they were massive yeah. at the time, she was terrified. And they're quick when they fly around. Yeah, yeah. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Now, funnily enough, actually, those oh. early birds, keep checking out, there's still quantity there. Um, will go absolutely beautifully with Alison your kit they and um, have all your Christmases come at once because I know. that jewellery is gemstone. stunning that necklace so is stunning yeah. so I, you're talking on. about 
Not just one colour, the colours yeah. of spinel. There's the colours of... And, and I said to you, remind me. So when I was driving down this morning, it was a very misty morning, because yeah. bear in mind, I leave home at 4am. Yeah. It was very misty, and the dawn was coming through. And you get this layer. I've, I love this. I've, I've got this photograph in my brain, which I've never been able to capture. And it's the layers going from the deepest darkest grey mm. through to the barely whisper silvers oh. with the darker shades and it's just a graduated shade sunrise of, and then behind that you've got the deep red going through to these pinks and oranges yeah. coming up behind it as the sun comes up through the mist um, and this i was driving down thinking that's my strand oh that's my strand because it is. You know, look at those silver tones in it. Uh, with, I with love the silver. Spinel's really unique as a gemstone because yeah. it doesn't have pleochroism. No. It forms in the same way that a diamond does. Um, it doesn't have pleochroism. It doesn't have trichroism. It doesn't have colour change. So you, don't, you don't get overtones and undertones. Spinel, the colour is the colour. Yeah. But it's, it's, they're a pure colour. So are. does that make sense? You don't get like a, um, a greyish presence it's it, it, you know purple is like a definite purple so it doesn't confuse yeah but here's a gemstone by the way that that is i mean was misunderstood for a lot a long period of time i don't like calling it the master of disguise because that's our own ignorance basically but spinel is astonishingly rare forms alongside your rubies your mm -hmm. sapphires um and you've got cobalt blue i know if you go on the gia website the Gemologi uh, Gemological Institute of America, and you put Spinel quality color factors. Um, there is a page on their website, and it talks about the rarest color being red mm. and cobalt blue. The fact that you have both of those colors in this strand I know. is stunning. And it's natural. There's no enhancement whatsoever. Look at that red. Plus, with this kit, you get um, jump rings. Yeah. How many? Because I'm seeing more than what it says on the um, You get three packs. Three packs, thank you. Yeah. So 15 three-millimeter jump rings. Now, yeah. they are like proverbial hens. Teeth. I know. I know. They're fabulous. And I've put them... I, so I've made this into a stretchy, and I've used them to separate groups yeah. of colours. And this one... Is, is less ombre than the other strand. The other strand's a total ombre strand. This was more mixed. So I've kind of picked out groups. So you've got groups of three yeah. and punctuated them. And I've used the, the um, jump rings almost like an exclamation mark, mm -hmm. you know, to say, stop, let, let's look at this, this group. Then let's move on to the other group. And I just think it looks beautiful. Yeah, I love the fact that you framed the blues. Yeah. Because like I say, when do we ever see blue spin out? I know. Um, even at 59.99, it's an absolutely unbelievable price tag. So again, yeah, go on the GIA. Anyone can. You don't have to have trained with them. Anyone could go on the GIA um, and look at colour factors of Spinel and they will say in black and white, red, cobalt blue are the rarest colours. Yeah. Um, and you have that within this amazing strand. Now, how yeah. many do we have available? 50 oh. of both of the kits. First price, well, yeah, well, that's the fact that you've got red and cobalt yeah, blue in here. Yeah, yeah. That, that sort of drives the price point down. Look at that. Person. First price crash. <gasps> yes. Let's not forget. What month is it? August. Uh oh. So that, that can't be on kits as well. <gasps> and it's 20%. It's not 10. It's, I know, because it's normally 10, isn't it? Yeah. For some reason, they've given August a, a bonus. Just go with it. Just go with it. So wait, wait a second. So that's £4 off. Yeah. Oh, what? When did that happen? Four pounds off nineteen ninety nine if you use August twenty. But there are only fifty kits. Oh wow! And we're going even lower, jewelry makers. I would pay ninety nine, uh, nineteen ninety nine. Sorry, for the cobalt blue that one yeah. single round. It's it's an astonishingly rare colour, and for that Jedi red that you can see mm. front and centre, astonishingly rare colour. Use August twenty when you check out your baskets, and you will get that twenty percent discount wow. as well. Um, you get also your lovely little three millimeter jump rings. You get three packs of those, so fifteen in total. Um, under twenty pounds for natural spinel. 
The, the, the Jedi Red, you've heard that terminology? Uh, yeah. yeah. Shouldn't be 1999. The Cobalt Blue shouldn't be 1999. And technically, it's not even 1999. It's £16, isn't it? Because yeah. you get 20% off. How about if we take that 20% and we take another 25% off? What? <laughs> now, with your 20% discount, take £3 off that price tag, so you're talking about £12. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. It's not a short strand either. It's a long strand. Yeah. So I've made a stretchy and a pair of earrings. Please don't sell. Maybe the pair of earrings for your £12. Um, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe a bit more. Yeah. Certainly not that bracelet. No, and absolutely no. And I wouldn't sell the blue and the red. I no, would keep, keep that those. for my own personal collection because they are the rarest colours of all. What's that? £50 yeah. pound bracelet minimum. Absolutely, it's a tennis-style bracelet. Yeah, yeah. With, with, with natural colours of spinel. The, the, just, just, just FYI, it's spinel that's in the Queen's, you know, there's, in the Imperial Crown, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Or the King's now. I need to stop saying that. Cause I keep no, it's a different it. crown. He has a different crown. Does he? Yeah, he chose his own. Oh. So the coronation crown for him was different from the one for the Queen, I think. Oh. I think that's right. I might be wrong. Look, if you go to spinel in black, which we've yeah. had that before, and I love black spinel, I really do. But it's more affordable. It's much more affordable than other colours. Still £110, though, for that bracelet. And that is is rosary-linked. Yeah. So you've got less spinel on that. Yeah, absolutely. So you've probably got double the spinel in the stretchy than you've got on there. And we're at £12. They're at 110 And yours wow. is more colours. That's an absolute giveaway deal. Um, yeah, I think... Yeah, I agree. If, if, if black spinel is £110 on Lily Rue, then... Something like this is probably going to be 250 if not mm. more. Well done. Andrea, Pauline, Pat, multi-buying, Anne, Tyne and Wear, Anne, Rachel, Nicole, Muriel getting three, Kathy getting two, uh, Elizabeth, Wendy, um, Ted, Maker in West Midlands, Ray, Anne, Patricia, Susan, Karen, Caroline, uh, Julie and Tracy. I, I mean, those are the names Andrew, I can yeah, say. Yeah, I was going to say they. You disappear you off the screen. You just see the top. Yeah. <laughs> You're just about peering over the desk, yeah. Uh, make sure you're checking out everybody. I've got one more spinel kit to bring you but they are limited such is the nature of the gemstone mm. spinel doesn't form in big vast sizes it's incredibly rare particularly when we're talking about your reds and your blues um how can i resist colored spinel at 14.99 uh, fill my boots ladies uh, loving it well actually it's 12. don't forget your code yeah if you've used uh, use your discount code <gasps> Wow. 12 pounds, August 20. I've got five of them left. Well done. Wow. Well done, well done, well done. Now, oh, do you want to bring that lovely necklace over, Alison? Because that's yep. beautiful and I feel like I uh, want to see it up close. <gasps> Look at that red at the top. Oh, yeah, this is gorgeous. Alison, this is high end jewellery. Mm. High end jewellery. So you've rosary linked to using. Yeah, oh, sorry. Just use um, the pairs and I've kept the ombre. And then at the bottom here, you have your spinel yeah. in that lovely, beautiful tassel. A little bit of chain mail there. I love this piece. Alison is absolutely amazing. Um, so oh, the strand. Yeah, it's a gorgeous oh, strand. This is, this is me in a strand, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Well, let's show you the jump rings and then we'll ogle the strand. So 60 seconds. What are you doing? What are we doing? So you get the jump rings. I haven't even got them out yet. You've got a gradient of jump rings in different sizes. And then you have this amazing strand, super long strand, which includes your honey oranges, your pinks, your purples, your mauves, your reds. I think the little ones are from the other kit. Are they? Yeah, you've got three three packs of the jump rings. Oh, sorry, that's my that's bad. That's okay. No, there no, I, th I think they were... My bad. One. Picked it up, picked up the two dishes. There we go. So now a longer strand, still with blues, still with cobalts, and you've also got the purples. All of this is natural. So you don't get secondary hues. You don't get overtones, undertones. You don't get pleochrosm, triochrosm. It's a pure colour. But these have got the most in intense Jedi red colours. This Look necklace, if you were to sell this necklace, it's going to be a considered purchase. Yeah. yeah. Something like this. I would think so, yeah. 
Um, I know you've got base metal jump rings in there, um, but a piece of jewellery like that, with the rarity of the gemstones, I think three figures and then some. Yeah, but you could easily substitute the, yeah, absolutely. the jump ring. Good luck. Remember your... Oh, it doesn't make any sense. So that's £12 again. Oh, my gosh. Use August strand. 20, so you can get two kits for £24. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, then I would do what I was going to do. I would I would keep it as a double strand because look at that. If you double perfectly matched. Yeah, it's mirror image. That, isn't it? that ombre is just, yeah, my, I've got to have an ombre. But but look how but well it's, matched that is. It's, well, let's hold it out. Yeah, perfect yeah. mirror image. If it's you just, just re-stranded it, the work is, well, the design is actually yeah. done for you. I'd punctuate in between like I did before. Yeah. Either with a jump ring or with a with a, a, a spacer bead. Mm -hmm. But it's just absolutely gorgeous, that strand. Perfect mirror image. Look, you've got that. Look at that. Yeah. So I'd have I'd I'd multi strand it. Yeah. I really would multi strand tassels it. Tassels as well. I'd be using yeah. these in tassels. We're at twelve pounds. <sighs> Do we have quantity of this kit then, Roscoe? 50 of each, you did say, yeah. Uh, 50 of each of these kits. Good luck, Lovely. everybody. Um, hiya to you, Millie. Alison, that necklace is stunning. Oh, Millie. thank you, Millie. Yeah. And, and there's nothing complicated about this. Absolutely nothing complicated about it. What are you going to demo, by the way? Well, I, I'm going to show you how to do the little bit of uh, chain mail in yeah. it. Um, because this is rosary linking. Yeah. And, and basically, you're just creating a wrapped loop on each of those little spinels. I pop them on um, featherweight head pins on a bit of chain. Now, I did run out of, of silver head pins, so they are on gold. I'm really sorry. I quite like that, though. I was going to say, I actually I quite like, like the it. gold. But the red at the top of there, and it cascades through again. It's, it's, it's an ombre, and yeah, I that's love gorgeous. it. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me just show everybody at home as well. If I lay it on the back of my mm. hand for a second. I like that you've used the reds at the top. Yeah. Well. Oh, oh, the reds Keeping were going. Those, either side those. of the, the, the chain mail. Yeah, that's amazing, Alison. I like the gold. I think that really yeah. works. Uh, so £12 using your August 20 discount code. Make sure you check out. These are absolutely flying out the door. You can get both kits for £24, that's which is crazy. absolutely amazing. Um, okay, Alison, so take it away. Right. Um, I'm going to apologise first because I forgot my really huge jump rings. OK. Um, so, so Michael sorted me out. So we've yep. got some bigger jump rings. They won't work as well to do. This is um, a Byzantine. This is a perfect um, size that you've got in the kit to mm -hmm. do this Byzantine. Because if you look how close packed that is, it's not going to come out. Now, when I do it with the bigger jump rings, you'll see what I mean, because it will fall out. OK. But that won't fall out of shape. That's it's, just Follow this beautiful. pattern and it'll yeah. work. Yeah. It's all down to what they call the aspect ratio, so which is the diameter of your jump ring and the inner, the, the, the gauge of your wire and the inner diameter of your jump ring. OK. So um, if it's a one mil gauge, and um, I think these were... What size are they? Five, aren't they, mil in a diameter? So that's a, a, a five aspect ratio. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to pop that to one side and I'm going to use the, the bigger um, jump rings for this. They're as big as I can get. So we've got two colours um, just to make it a bit easier for you to see. I'm really sorry I got so taken away with what we've been selling. I forgot to put my jump rings out. That's all right. Don't worry. I've got everything else out and then I forgot to I always to get forget something. The bag. There's always something you leave at home. So I don't know how you designers do it. Well, I have to pack the night before. Yeah. And I make myself little notes. And I, can, I remember saying to John, don't let me forget the big jump rings that are uh, upstairs means, on my desk. Yeah, he's never going to do it, is he? Every time no. I ask my husband to remind me of something, it never happens. It never happens. No. So I'm just going to whiz open. You need um, to do a complete one. I think, yeah, you need 12 or 14 jump rings. I'll count them as I go through to do a complete Byzantine. Um, just let me. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you want two closed ones. Seven, eight. Our jump rings are the best jump rings. They are so beautifully cut. Mm. The only problem I usually have with them is finding where the where the join is. Which is which is 
good. Oh, it's a fantastic yeah. problem to have. Um, but I have spent time going, where's where's the join? Where I yeah. want to open that jump ring. I need new glasses, to be fair. I do need new, new glasses. So I'm going to pop two closed jump rings onto another one. So I'm going to take two closed and pop them onto two um, other jump rings. I'm going to use my fingers because it'll be quicker for me to close them. There we go. So we've got two and two. We're going to pop another two jump rings on there. So we're just going to pop one and two. So you're starting off with two in two. You're starting off with three lots of jump rings. Let me open that out. There we go. So this is the start. Um, okay. You're two then, into two into two. Into two, yeah. So you're going to hold the bottom ones. Now, if you can see on this one, what I've done is I've got an extra piece of wire. So this is purely there when I'm starting. I'm going to take it off that one and I'm going to use it on this one to give me something to hang on to. Mm -hmm. Because like everything, whether it's sea beading, whether it's um, chain mail, whatever it is, when you start, it's fiddly. So I'm going to put it there like that so you can see it. So you can straight away see, compared to these, the, the diameter, you've got lots of, lots of space with these, whereas those are crammed together. So that's what, that's what the aspect ratio does for you. Is it, 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 it. These aren't really what I'd normally use to do Byzantine. Anyway, they're, they're bigger jump rings, so I can show you. So I'm going to hold the bottom jump rings, and then I'm going to let the top two fall open. So we've got two in the middle. We're then going to push up these two gold ones and open up those silver ones so we can now get to these that we've pushed up so think of a dog's sloppy ears you've dropped them down and then you're going to push them up through the middle so we're going to take some more silver ones that's that's a bad analogy because you're pushing the, the the ears i just always think when you flop them down i always think of my labrador's ears but of course you don't push them back up no. to his head so sounds awful <laughs> so well, that's a really bad analogy. That's a really, really bad analogy. <laughs> so, so I've added it in to those goals, and I'm going to hold that out. Two um, of the silver. So do you see where I've I've popped the, the the goals have flopped down. I've pushed them up through the middle of these silver ones, and then I've added in two more two more jump rings. So we're going to add on another two pairs of jump rings. Now, when I say... You know, like breaststroke. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Up through the middle and then back round. Perfect. There you go. Thank you. That's I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to nick that one. <laughs> now, the difference is, you see, I said that one holds its shape. This one won't because those, those will drop down. But it doesn't matter. If you just give it a little bit of a shake, you can grab it back up again. Okay. Right, so I'm going to add in two more lots. So I'll put um, another pair of silver. So two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. It is 14 jump rings to do one set of um, Byzantine. OK, so we've got that far. No, we don't. We're going to drop those over the side. It is 12. Do our breaststroke, swim our jump rings around, open up that silver, and then we're going to pick up one, two. Where are you? Come on. Come on. There we go. Right, so what I've done here is a slightly different weave. Okay. Have you been weaving, doing the wrong chain mail? I've done the right, yeah. Let me just undo those. We want to leave those two in the middle just to get... Right, let me hold this up. Can you see here there's the two in the middle there? Uh, can, we, can we go to... Can we zoom in a bit? There, you, there go. you go. You see those two going across the middle? Yeah. Well, I kind of skipped that step. Oh, OK. So I'll we'll put these down again. OK. Right. That's all right. That's all I've done. You skipped a step. I skipped a step. Let me take those. So backstroke. So 
So back. <laughs> <laughs> You're with the swimming, aren't you? Yeah. Let me just undo those two. So it is 14. Where are we? Oh, oh butterfly stroke. What? Uh, how anybody did that butterfly? I don't know. Do you know what happens whenever I've tried butterfly? I, I go lower and lower in the pool. Well, I, I, look like I, I'm I'm like, I look enough. like I'm drowning if I do the butterfly. Um, somebody help her. Um, that's all right. While you're doing that, yeah, yeah, let's show you another strand. Let, 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 let our, rather than us breathing down your neck, bless you, I'm about to bring you an amazing strand of spinel. I'll do um, that stroke. Oh, my goodness. Don't forget to use your August 20 code um, to get yourself a further 20% discount. Look at the quality of this. I love this strand. It's Can I lovely. just say... Oh, the blues in that one as well. Yeah, blues, Jedi red, it's all there. I would be tempted to team this alongside the purest white jade <gasps> I, I have ever seen. Oh, yes. Ever seen. I Just alternate love that. those. Yes. Just alternate them together. Or maybe with another gemstone that we're bringing you today, and that is Afghanite. Um, love it. Even here at £80.99. pence. For, you know, particularly these reds, the Jedi reds that you're seeing, and it's all totally and utterly natural. Look how unbelievable this strand is. Stunning. Should we do make a deal? Oh, yes, please. Shall we? Big carrot weight, long strand as well. Don't forget, use your 20% discount. That's why we put it at the bottom of the screen. He's good like that, is Ross. And you, Ross. Very good, he says. Reminds you. <laughs> Was it not Ross? Was it you, Adam? A joint oh. effort, fair enough. £12. Again. It's a oh massive my carrot weight on it this is. one. I'd be tempted to use this alongside your butterfly That's pendant. That's a longer that strand, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's 38 centimetres. Yeah, because I, I think yeah. that'll probably go through as well. Yeah, so if you've got any of the pendants as you yeah. really burn at the beginning of this hour. Um, yeah, yeah, because you've got the colours of like buddlier of flowers and things like <gasps> oh, that. Oh, nice. Look at me. Hanging on to the buddlier, like I know what I'm talking about. Um, amazing. OK, let's bring you the coins. Yeah, I know about flowers. I've got a clue. The purple. Yeah, purple and white. You can get white ones. Can you well, get, I can you get I white so. ones? I think so. There's a lot of them on the canals. Yeah. And they, they, they're they rapid growers, aren't they? Oh, gosh, yeah. They're invasive. Now, <laughs> let's bring you faceted coins. Oh, look at these colours. That's absolutely beautiful. With the faceted wow. coins, flatter, but you've still got the checkerboard faceting. Um, and again, you can see the beautiful clarity. Um, we're going to do something amazing. But remember, you've also got that 20% discount. I've got 40 available. Ross, producer Ross says they're going to disappear today, Al. Yeah. Um, oh, imagine oh. if on the back of this hour, you've well and truly stocked up your boomy spinel stash. What? So that's £8. You can get, look. I, I've said this so many times. You can get certain gems for eight quid. You can. You can get certain ones. Maybe yeah. a tumble stone or a quartzite, which is bleached and dyed. You don't get natural Burmese spinel. Out, no. This is Burmese spinel. Wow. Not for wow. eight quid. What a saving you're getting. And then you take, you know, if you, if you just took your 20% off each. Yeah. That's it. That's a free strand. Absolutely. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, totally natural. Wow. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. We love coins as well. I just think they, they lay really beautifully on the wrist line. Look, if I actually showed you and this. On a ring. Yeah, in a ring. Yeah, perfect. You could easily get, I think, with a few extra spacer beads, obviously, you can easily get two full stretchy bracelets out of this. Nice. I mean, how beautiful is that? Um, maybe you'd team it with some pearls or that right white jade eye or some sterling silver or a bit of chain mail that you're yeah. actually showing. Uh, make sure you're checking out. So we had 40 remaining, but they're flying out the door. Are you all good to go yep. now? Yeah, yeah. Back to you, our lovely Azataza. Short place. So you've done your first set. Let me move that one out of the way. Then you want three. So you've added that in to pull it through. Then you want another two rings. So each time you do the, 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 the breaststroke, um, in our Byzantine, you want three sets. So we're going to drop those two um, gold ones again, open up the silver ones, and then come up through the middle. Mm -hmm. And what happens is basically, oh, I'm going to go gold this time. So basically they alternate each way. So on one set there, your breaststroke is going east to west, and on the other one, it's going north to south. Okay. Um, you can put things in the middle. And this is very, very open, so it looks a little bit weird on this. But I'm going to pick the other one up in a minute. Come here. 
it's a lot harder to hold them in that open position when they're this loose. And that's purely because they're, they're, it's not really designed for doing this. So there you go. You can see, you can see you've got the Byzantine effect there. So when I say the, the other way, can you see these two goals are going from out to in and these are going top to bottom? Does that make sense? Can you yeah. see the different way? Yeah. And that's what they do. They alternate. You then add another two sets of doubles and then do your breaststroke step. So you then end up with, let me hold this one up, with that, with the proper one. So then you get the, the really tight effect. So it's a lot easier to do, it sounds stupid, with the small ones because they're a proper um, aspect ratio. So they'll sit nicely and they won't try and undo themselves. Yeah, OK. Um, so that, like you say, you can continue that if you've got more jump rings and have a complete bracelet of it. Um, you can oh, you make can... the earrings. Or you, I love it like that with yeah, the tassel. Yeah, beautiful. Really it draws the so attention. Well. Yeah, and those reds are just insane, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely amazing. Well, funny you mentioned red. Oh. Wait until you see this next strand. On uh, this, can I just uh, can I just make uh, ask a question, Ross? This is not spinel. It cannot be spinel. That on there. Are you kidding me? Ignore the graphics. This this is genuinely in my almost twelve years of being here. This is the best spinel I've ever seen. <gasps> now, today is the best time. It's been on air. Last time it came on air was in January. Yeah. Ninety sold in January, and I've got the remaining quantity. But in January, you didn't have the twenty percent discount. <gasps> but, oh, right. Jedi Red, cool description, isn't it? Really cool. Mm. Um, can we? Can I ask you, Ross, if you go to GIA, color quality factors, or um, and it will say on the GIA, it might even be on that PowerPoint. Um, so the Gemological Institute of America is who I've trained with, lots of our, our colleagues have trained with as well. Um, they are the biggest institution in the industry. And if you ask them, you know, if you don't want to take my word for it, if you ask them what are the rarest colours, they will say red. This is beyond red. This is Jedi red, which is, uh, look, I mean, look at that picture straight away. Mm. That red, pillar box red. Wow. Spinel is generally highly sought after by gem connoisseurs and well-formed spinel crystals are in high demand amongst collectors. Spinel comes in a variety of colours, but the most commercially important are red and pink. There you go. Yeah. Do you but, want to see the best strand I've ever seen yeah, in 12 years? On. In fact, <gasps> the, ne the next two are. It's up, one's faceted, one's not. It's up to you. Oh my. I've never seen red spinel like this at Jewelry Maker. Wow. That Look at incredible. that quality. Unbelievable. I would be already jumping for the phone lines. Let's let's go through the strand. I don't know how close Michael can get, but look at that strand. Look at that red. Mm. It is pillar box red. And it's all natural. Launched in Good January, thing. flew out the door in January, but then you didn't have your 20% discount code today. You do. Even if we stopped right here at 120, that's amazing for eight carats of Jedi Red Spinel. Oh. Um, you could just restrand it with your graduations immediately. Plus, you've got the pedigree of it being Burmese Spinel. Yeah. I mean, how amazing. Worthwhile you getting your certificate of authenticity. Um, yeah, I mean... Oh, what was that last one you've just seen there? Do uh, do you have Jedi Spinel? This was the most important question during the gem show in Hong Kong for us. Impressed by the consistent interest of our mainline customers, we decided to shed some light on this delightful gemstone. That's Ivy in New York. Do you have Jedi Red Spinel? Absolutely. Spinel. Remember, Roland Schlüssel, yeah. what did he say? When he, when all of his Jedi sells out, I'm going to have to diversify. I'm going to have to start se uh, um, selling gemstones like Spinel. That was the first one he yeah. said. Spinel and tourmalines. And wow. uh, this will be the one that's on his radar the most. 
Here's a photograph of Dave at the Mogok Valley, where we would have sourced this very strand. Yeah. There he is. He's spoken about this quest, hasn't he, on this journey? When he actually went, when he went to uh, uh, to the Mogok, they call it the Valley of uh, Valley of Rubies, which, by the way, Spinel forms alongside those said rubies. Now, even here at 120, that's absolutely incredible. But we are not stopping there. We're not stopping there. No, we could do though. Yeah. We absolutely could do the call. This is the, I, I don't I don't just say this willy nilly. This is genuinely the best strand of red spinel I've ever seen. Yeah. Let's get this under one hundred pounds. And not just buy a little bit. Sixty nine pounds <gasps> only. Wow. Sixty nine pounds only. Remember your twenty percent saving. Back in January when we first launched this, didn't have a 20% saving. Today you can use it because it's this month's birthstone. You know, what company do you know actually shouts about the discount code? Yes. You know, they'll put it on the top of their homepage, won't they? But they don't yeah. remind you at the no. checkout. Um, but that's basically what I always forget. I always, always forget. Um, so use your discount code. Judith Swansea, Fife, Lynn, new customers getting involved at £69. It's absolutely amazing. It's totally natural. No enhancement to this whatsoever. How about under £50? And when we were January beginning of this year, that is precisely where this launched. Ooh. So take 20% off that. It's a brand new low. So hang on, 10%, you're talking, a tenner, a tenner off, yeah, of course. Tenner off. So we're under 40. Today we're not even stopping there, though. Wow. We're not matching the launch price. We're going to take the final quantity even lower. With your discount code, it's already a brand new low. Yeah. The best, the finest Jedi red spinel I've bought to wear. I don't hesitate in saying wow. that. Look how pure and vibrant the colour is. Look how amazingly eye clean that clarity is. Look how intense the colour saturation. Here we go. You can look elsewhere. A 14 carat Jedi red spinel and diamond ring um, that is on first dibs now. Look at that red. Mm -hmm. I know it's over two grand. Right. Well, that's what we should expect of Jedi red mm. spinel, to be honest. But look at that saturation. And then if we go back to Adam's shot, can you see? Mm. Do you see the warmth of pink glowing through? That's the quality that we're looking for. Did you say we had 20 left? 50 left. Wow. We're already at a brand new low price tag with your 20% discount, but we are going even lower. Take advantage. There's never been a better opportunity for you to purchase this, this strand, this quality. At such an affordable price tag. Price already up there, order. I don't blame you. I would be doing the same, like Swansea. Yeah. So wait, um, another eight pounds off that price tag. <laughs> Jedi pounds. red spinel is not an eight. It is not a thirty-two pound gem. Four pound a carrot. Yeah, it's madness. That, that is, is crazy madness. for Jedi red spinel. And it, it, genuinely, you know, when you've got big prestigious jewelry houses saying like red, Jedi red spinel, mm. have you got any Jedi red spinel? That was, uh, uh, and, and I get it. You know, these are the gemstones. When you go to places like Hong yeah. Kong, Tucson, places like that, at the largest gem fairs, and you speak to people that you know with their collections and with their booth, and you actually say. Um, they're not going, oh, do you want to look at my diamonds? No. They're saying, do you want to look yeah. at my spinels? Do you want to look at my zavarites? Do you want to look at my, my zircons? That's what they're saying, those gemstones. Because they're rarer. Yeah, significantly yeah. rarer. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I'll show you the other strand I've got. Oh, hang on. Is it this one? What size? Yeah, this is beautiful. I love this strand. Oh, this would be really good. Oh, look at that. That's a restrand and go. Again, Mogok from the Valley of Rubies. Oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's the necklace for me. Mm. Yeah, I, I would literally just restrand that. Yeah. Well, and it's got a gentle ombre. Now, you've actually got a bigger carrot weight on this strand from that same location, the Mogok Valley. We're at £39.99. Is it just me that's thinking, hang on a second, they should, they, because they are two millimetres. Surely that's harder to cut. Yeah. Just yeah, a yeah. larger size. So, like your seed pills, for example, we should expect them to come at a higher price point. But look at how beautiful. I'm going to twist them around, actually, because... Nice. 
the full of, of oh. clarity, brilliance, amazing. It's a, it's a very elegant gemstone colour saturation, quite unlike any other out there. Natural from the Valley of Rubies. And we're at £24.99, pence, even though this is a bigger carat weight. That's the necklace to my butterfly pendant. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, wow. that's 24% off. So that's what, £2.50? Five, so that's under a ten, uh, uh, under 20 pound. Under £20. You what, sorry? You didn't think you'd ever see a red spinel? Yeah, absolutely. These are gems. It's like, it's like red beryl, isn't it? Yeah. You don't imagine ever actually seeing a red beryl. Red, or... red anything. Yeah. Because oh. red is the hardest colour to make. Yes. In, in, in anything. In yeah. the universe. Um, I'm obsessed with this next round. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it. This is Tanzanian, so it's not just Mogok that you get spinel. This is incredible. This isn't strand it? is beautiful. It's the one. For, it's the one for me. This. Can I show you one first, and I'm going to hide the rest <laughs> just for a minute. Just look at that, and that's just because I beelined for it. Can you see it there? Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, okay. Look at that red. It's all natural, but this strand is insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. I tell you what, it's very much of the moment. Yeah. Smooth rondelles are always my preference. Yeah. Oh, look how stunning that looks. Yeah, that's... How feminine. Yeah, I don't think it gets much better than this. No. Genuinely. Oh, that was something like... Oh, yes. Your faceted pure white type A jadeites. Imagine those together. Beautiful. Or with some of your, I don't know, Akoya pearls or yeah. South Sea pearls. How amazing would that be? I love this strand. Use your 20% discount, August 20, because it's this month's birthstone. Um, but yeah, insane level of quality in this beautiful strand. £120. Do you see why I was smitten with it, Roscoe? Yeah. Um, already way lower than it should have been. It's natural. There's no enhancement. It's not irradiated or anything like that. It is one for the collectors and the connoisseurs, and that's what the GIA said. Spinel is generally sought after by gem connoisseurs. Mm. Well-formed spinel crystals are in high demand amongst collectors. That's precisely what we're talking about on our screens right now. Ten carats of this i love smooth rondelles i think they're absolutely beautiful yeah it's the simplicity of it i think and it really just showcases there's nowhere to hide no now final spinel auction <gasps> so wait a second you're talking about 20 pounds off that price tag so this is already an 80 pound strand which is amazing um so you go to the absolute rock bottom and then remember you've got 20% on top of this. So we're taking it to rock bottom <laughs> and, and then, then, and, then using, it further. and then using that 20% discount. Yeah. They are some of the biggest single stones, I agree. And they're also some of the best. Yeah. You know, when we saw that piece that sold for 2,200 mm. or selling, I don't know, well, uh, for, on first dibs, it's that... You know, like raspberry, strawberry colour, that mm. deep saturation. That's what you're looking for in red spinel. What? 39 99 That's a bit of a jump. Plus, you've also got 20% on top of that. So another, what, £8? So taking this to £32 strand. How many oh do you have, Roscoe? God. I'll be honest, 40 I am asking for my own personal benefit, not going to lie. Um, and I would all uh, attach that to a slider bracelet or something yeah. like that. Just a length of chain. Well, if really you, simple. If you attach that to a slider bracelet, you're going to get um, a pair of earrings as well. Lovely. Beautiful. I love this strand. I think it's mm. absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'll put maybe just a few uh, a few extra spacer beads, turn it into a full bracelet. Yeah. Uh, go on to First Dibs. If you want to research Jedi Red Spinel, you can see the price is 1379 Um Set into silver, it's still 500 and what? 61 something like that wow uh 982 a single shiny red spinel stone lovely 168 pounds that's not bad is it um but you can see these are considered prices well done to every single one of you make sure you're checking out those baskets now wow. coming oh. up we are believe it or not in the height of summer <laughs> um and for me there is one symbol that 
summarizes the joys of summer and that is the beautiful butterfly you know we could lose hours just discussing mm -hmm. the symbolism behind the butterfly um, across many many different countries and cultures this is stunningly handcrafted so carved by a master carver not just on the front but also on the reverse whenever we've brought butterfly jadeites here at jewelry maker they have sold out for obvious reasons um, and I don't think it's going to be any different today as your deal of the day. Now, just after the break, we are launching this butterfly. But not just that, we've also got your floating flower donut. We've also got um, the white jadeite faceted strand that I've been showing That's you. Good. Yeah, there's some absolutely unbelievable deals. Now, the butterfly, though, I have 100 available and that is it. So please do make sure... Um, you're ready to check out your baskets. It's genuinely one of the most affordable jadeite deals I think I've brought to air. So join myself and Alison after this. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Welcome back, everybody. Oh, just, just take a moment, shall we, to appreciate the absolute artistry that has gone into this amazing carving. The skill, the curves, all done by hand. It's, you know what, you could get a diamond, a diamond rough, and basically, I've seen it happen, they, what, what they do is they pop it on like a, a spinning table, a little bit like what's on your screens right now, pop it in, uh, attach it to like a computer system. They map out the diamonds, they work out where the inclusions are, where the fractures, where the blemishes that they're, and the, uh, and the computer will decipher what's the best cut and do it for them. This is all done by hand in the same abrasive manner that was used hundreds of years ago. But not only have you got the carving on one side, you've got that beautiful intricacy on the reverse. Now, whether you're looking at that as one butterfly or maybe you are thinking about those butterfly lovers, an ancient story that exists in China, because there's two butterflies effectively in this carving. But I went down, I went down that rabbit hole yesterday, last night when I was actually preparing for today's show and I was like, what do, what, do, what, what do butterflies symbolize across many different cultures? And obviously the first one that we're gonna to go to is China because obviously these have been carved within China. Um, and of, uh, no surprises whatsoever, they are incredibly poignant and very, very symbolic. Um, so we'll go through some of that. But I could have gone across many different cultures. But in traditional Chinese culture, butterflies were often associated with love, romance and joy. They were seen as symbols of transformation as the metamorphosis of the caterpillar into the butterfly was viewed as a metaphor for personal growth and spiritual uh, transformation. Well, we've touched on that already. And I think here in the West, we have similar, association, uh, similar associations. Um, in some Chinese traditions, butterflies were also believed to carry the souls of the dead, serving as a messenger between the uh, earthly realm and the afterlife. This belief gave rise to the custom of releasing butterflies at funerals um, as a way of helping the departed soul on their journey. I mean, how beautiful is that? How amazing is that? Um, that connection between earthly realms and also the afterlife. In recent years, the symbolism of butterflies in Chinese culture has taken on new meanings as the insect has become a popular symbol of social and political change. The famous butterfly lover's story of China, uh, a Chinese folktale about two star-crossed lovers who are transformed into butterflies has been reinterpreted as a metaphor for the struggle of individual freedom and the pursuit of social justice. Um, if you've not heard of that story, it's definitely uh, one that it's worth watching. So it talks about kind of like a little bit like Juliet, uh, Romeo and Juliet, I suppose, uh, where they can't be together. So they are uh, uh, transformed into butterflies so that they can actually, um, yeah, become the lovers that they want to be. And uh, artistically as well, it is interpreted in China where you have the two butterflies. If ever you see two butterflies in Chinese uh, um, artistry, whether that's on a canvas, whether it's in a carving, then it is representative of love basically. So absolutely beautiful. I mean, what a pretty, pretty painting that might be. But reading on, Confucianism, again, Confucianism uh, speaks of jade, doesn't he? He talks about it actually having a moral integrity, I suppose. He talks about the music of life, etc. But Confucianism also, uh, or Confucius rather, actually talks about butterflies too. Um, but Confucianism emphasizes the importance of self-improvement and the cultivation of moral character through education, self-reflection and practice. The butterfly's transformation from a crawling caterpillar to a flying butterfly represents the potential of personal growth and transformation through learning and self-cultivation. I like that. You know, so you could be wearing your butterfly thinking, okay, so this is this is my reminder to sort of always try and progress, to better myself in some way, shape or form, be that educationally or whether that be morally, whichever it might be. 
Um, and here is that carving that I spoke about. Now, I found a butterfly at Christie's, went to auction, um, 18th to 19th century. So this is an old piece, granted. It is type A grade, same as yours. Hand carved, same as yours. Beautiful, same as yours. That went to auction and it was estimated between 4,000 and 6,000 US dollars. They had it on the nose pretty much. It actually sold for 5,625 pounds in 2018. When you make the comparisons, and I don't know if that's double carved, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, um, but yeah, when you compare the fact that I have said in the build up to your deal of the day, this is actually going to be one of the most affordable carvings that I've brought to air. Can you imagine here just having two lengths of chain coming either side and having your, your, your sort of your butterfly front and center? Can you imagine? And, and you might think, goodness me, Elle, it's jade. It's type A jade. I'm not going to be able to afford this. Can you imagine getting two? and being representative of those oh. uh, the butterfly lovers can you imagine because this is a size that will allow wearing them yeah. as earrings how beautiful that would be now there are a hundred of these available and i know what they're going to and i'm going to tell you these are going to sell out they're going to sell out so fast i could have gone and obviously time we have time restraints here on the uh, on the live show i could have spoken about butterflies in hinduism i could have spoke about butterflies in feng shui i could have spoke about butterflies in buddhism i could have gone to various different countries around the world there is meaning in a, a yeah reflection in every single one of those cultures religions countries wherever it is that you're talking about um, what's that? But butterflies culturally, British poetry, absolutely, absolutely. In hip hop, really? Okay. In hip hop, okay, amazing. But I'm not surprised by that because they are inspiring, aren't they? And because they show that growth, that transformation, that rebirth, you know, they are symbolic of femininity. They are uh, symbolisms are of connection to the afterlife. There's just so much meaning behind them. And I love all that. Whichever it is that you're interested in, whether you think, oh, just, I, I just like butterflies, I think they're really pretty, and that's fine yeah. too. Now, there are a hundred of these available. It is hand carved. Most, one of the most frequent requests, actually, in a tattoo is a butterfly. I'm not surprised by that at all. Butterflies, lotus flowers, um, birds, frequently requested butterfly, uh, sorry, tattoo is a butterfly. Now, the moment that we bring this, these graphics to air, it's hand carved, both front and reverse. I'm just gonna take it off that display for a second because I wanna show you the intricacy on both of those sides. Um, bear with, let me just get a white piece of paper. Look at this. The detailing that you're actually Gorgeous. getting. It's stunningly beautiful. It is stunning. Wait a minute. How about as a guru bead? Oh, it'd be gorgeous. That's just so beautiful. It'd be absolutely gorgeous. And I would definitely wear these as earrings. I think they'd be amazing earrings. I wish I had more, to be honest. We've got a hundred. It's hand carved. It is certified natural type A Burmese jadeite. Um, look at the petal, the detailing on the petal, the body of the butterfly itself. I flip it round once again. Um, you can see, yeah, again, this, these curves. Look, look mm. at the way the wings sort of reach out and then taper up towards the antenna. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. I think I would be, and I know where it's going to, so I do have that perk. So I'm going to ask you to trust us, trust the process here at Jewelry Maker. I've said it so many times before. If you love butterflies, if you love this carving and you collect your jade, dial nice and early. There's a hundred available. Imagine them in earrings. 18 carats of type A Burmese jadeite, doubly carved. So whether you perceive it as being the two butterflies from the Butterfly Lovers, that story that has been depicted, reinterpreted across many different movies in actual fact, or whether you're looking at as one single butterfly. If they're earrings to you, if they're a pendant, whichever it might be, it's all going to be beautiful. Good luck, because a hundred's not going to be enough. Ross, that price is amazing, by the way, for the deal of the day. Good luck, everybody. Don't wait. We rarely ever see butterflies. 
You know, jadeite are often, yeah, I'm not surprised. Immediately, Fife, South Yorkshire, Cumbria, Angela, Rupal, hello to you. Already dialing through. Trust the process. Believe jewellery maker will have the best possible deal. A third of the stock has already been confirmed. This, this deal of the day might be over. Um, might break records in actual fact. Now, the first price crash that everybody is getting involved, don't miss out. Because we see jadeite with very much an Eastern influence, and that's absolutely fine. That's their heritage. They yeah. carve the jadeite. But it's nice to actually see something that's very much global, yes. isn't it? The yeah. butterfly is uh, it is very much a global symbol. We're at £99.99, wow. and that's just us getting the wheels in motion. I love in the carving, because you talked the way the wings curve. Yeah. But it's it's unfurling. They're, yeah. like they, they're still when unfurling, they first, when they, aren't yeah. they? Just beautiful. Who did? Van Gogh used butterflies as a symbol of hope. Love it. It's a symbol of hope in a lot of things. Yeah. I found out the green butterfly um, is typically connected with fertility, love and health oh. as well. The, love is always places. in there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Always in there. Oh, here's, so Van, here's Van Gogh with his butterfly. Oh, wow. Never knew that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're starting at 99.99. Crazy. But we are not done there. It's this part for me. You know, the curve yeah. of those wings. When you compare it to Chrissy's and Ross, this is what I said to you, didn't I? I said, genuinely, I said, the carving oh, that we have today wow. to a deal of the day is so similar. In fact, it's better. I, I was because you've say, got, I that, that's quite flat, isn't it? I don't know. What's it? A plaque? Yeah, that, it might be big. I don't, I, I don't know. But yeah, it tells me it's one-sided possibly. But this is double. This is doubly sided. We're at 69 pounds and 99 pence. If you look at the bottom two um, wings where it meets the body mm -hmm. it's got a little heart oh yeah look it forms a little heart at the bottom isn't That's that beautiful. sweet so beautiful all yeah. that detailing at the beautiful. top look at the body the detailing on the body itself texture on the wings Ah, what a vision. I love this. Absolutely love it. I love the meaning behind the butterfly. And you can interpret it whichever way you wish. You're the jewellery designer. We're at £49.99 oh only. Um, absolutely. I mean, we are bringing you... that. When I said earlier on, this is one of the most affordable jadeite carvings that I've launched. One of the best deals that I think we've ever brought you in this amazing journey, this jade, jade fever that we've enjoyed over the past few years. You know, never in my wildest dreams, when I think back some, what, 20 odd years, 24 years, when I worked in that jewellers and there was one piece of jade mm. um, that was... I don't even know what it was. I don't even know. It was just like a weird plaque that was carved with something, flowers. No way near this level of intricacy. And it was two and a half grand 24 years ago. You have a doubly carved butterfly. Already 47 of these have confirmed. I'm not surprised because we're at 49 pounds and 99 pence. All the beliefs attached to the butterfly, yeah. the fragility, the delicacy, the beauty, the femininity, the, I don't know, the hope, the mm -hmm. life, the rebirth, the transformation, whichever it is that you're actually relating to. This is not your deal of the day oh. price. Crazy. I know. That's an incredible carving. And have you noticed how it's not... Because that one on, that you showed in the auction house looked... looked. It's, you know, more quite flattish. I'm going to say it's more of a moth. Yeah. But this and I like moths. They're, dust, like they're dusty butterflies, yeah. aren't they, moths? Yeah. That's what I always call them, dusty oh, butterflies. I like them. I love well, moths. But... They're beautiful too. But it, 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 it doesn't... That ours has different depths to the wings. Oh, it, 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 it's <laughs> elegant. Oh, very, it's very... And that's what a butterfly Much more elegant, be, yeah. If you know, they should be elegant. They're graceful. They are yeah. fragile, and uh, you know they're like the ballerinas of the insect world, aren't oh, they? Oh yeah. In, in my, it's in Madame my Butterfly, opinion. isn't it? With her, yeah, with her. are just amazing. Yeah. We are not stopping at forty nine ninety nine, which is completely bananas. Double carved 
beautiful type A grade Burmese jadeite butterfly. It's crying out to be a pair of earrings. At this price point, genuinely, and when I was suggesting earrings, you might be thinking, I can't afford that. That means I've got to get oh two. £34.99 pence only. Can you believe that? You just got type A jadeite. For £35. This is not a gemstone that we should be able to afford. We say it every time where you go and get the cash out of the hole in the wall. We don't purchase this gemstone for like, you know, disposable income. This is something that normally is the price of a very nice car. That's the reality, especially, especially when you have got this level of artistry. Well done, Alison, Rosalind, Angela, Jackie, Julie, Fife, you've got three, Norma and Susan and Nottinghamshire and Leslie and Charlotte. And Wendy, wow. well done, and Eileen and Nicola and Cumbria. You know, when we talk about an 18 carat type A, not B or C, natural, green jadeite hand carved not yeah. just like i said you get a diamond program it into a computer system they'll map it they'll cut it amazing job done modern technology this is artistry you know i wouldn't expect to buy an, uh, to buy an oil painting for what's on your no. screens right now um hello millie oh my gosh this is the best deal of jade on jade I, i've ever seen totally agree Totally, totally agree. It's lovely, isn't it? And I did go down that rabbit hole. And if you get a, a spare hour or two, go down the rabbit hole of that sort of what uh, butterflies uh, symbolise across the world eventually. Yeah, because there is everywhere. Uh, ladies, I won the Wall of Fame. Uh, so some of that winning has gone to, um, got, has I just fluttered. fluttered this direction. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, oh, well done, well Alison. Well done, Alison. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I think you need to, don't you? Look at the artistry. Now, the quantity that remains. Yeah. It's more than I thought. Wow. I would have expected this to have sold out by now. We have 125 in baskets. And they will sell out. But 125, we're at 34.99 for one of the world's rarest gemstones. Amazing. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well yeah. done, Alison. Yeah, amazing. Um, what a way to spend your waff. Alison, Millie, you said this is the best deal on Jade I've ever seen. It's about to get even better, though. No. Because that price on your screen was never what was on my star by sheet. Oh my God. It was always, it was always going lower than 34.99. Just remember, I always try and give you a hint. I always try and hint. So when I was saying that pair of earrings, I'm, t I'm suggesting that the, this is multi-buyable. If at the neckline, a sweet, how about if I said to you, lovely jewellery makers, you could make a suite for less than £100? I, I'd say you're, you're talking rubbish. Yeah, fair, fair, fair statement. You can get the butterfly necklace, which will all be unique. They'll all be yeah. individual, different species, I suppose, um, of butterflies. They'll all be one of a kind. Susie's got hers. I'm not surprised, Susie. They're amazing, aren't they? Lovely to see the butterflies. They sold out the first time we brought you a version. They will sell out today. The story of the butterfly lovers, because you've effectively got two butterflies, haven't you? The yeah. carving on the front and the carving on the, on the reverse as well. Uh, $29.99. It's one of the maddest deals I've ever seen, like you suggested, Millie. Unbelievable. Let me show you that quality oh of carving. God. Type A. Burmese jadeite with that beautiful, beautiful level of detail. I love this part, the scrolling. Mm. Do you see it like that? You almost see it in flight, can't you? The movement yes. of the actual, the fluttering of the yeah, wings. Yeah, the, the movement. Oh, just beautiful. The detailing in the body. We've got 12 of them left. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. Hello, Tracy getting two. Dorothy multi-buying, Kent multi-buying, Jane multi-buying, Margaret yeah. multi-buying, Margaret multi-buying, Fabi uh, Fabiola multi-buying, London multi-buying, Vanessa, um, amazing. Susie, um, guest designer. 
buying a Susie, you're getting three. Sharon multi buying, Susan Hertfordshire multi buying, Lynn multi buying, and guess what? It's sold out. Amazing. I knew you'd love it. I knew you would. It's absolutely beautiful. Congratulations, everyone. Your butterfly is on its way to you. Love it. And please do send your photographs into the Wall of Fame so that we can admire them here in the studio. Now, I still have two more Jadeite opportunities to bring you, including floating flower. Is that not the most imperial green you've ever seen? I know. And, and, and yeah, Ross has just said, Elle, what I like about this one is it looks like your traditional high goo. You know, a high goo is basically a donut shape, um, hole in the middle, it's the circle of heaven. If you think about life, you know, the circle, the, vort uh, the, vort uh, the iris of your eye, the vortex of a storm, you know, that circle of meaning, DNA, etc., is incredibly poignant and symbolic. Um, in ancient China, they used to place uh, these haigu symbol, symbols on the chest and waist of deceased loved ones because they believed that it would ha aid their transition to the heavens above. Very similar, actually, to the, some of the meanings of your butterfly. And they believed that it would keep you communicated. Don't forget, you know, um, Confucius spoke about this gemstone's integrity. Um, but here is one of the most um, symbolic, symbolic carvings. In fact, let's talk about that. Um, more of a disc than a donut, and a haigu can be, it can be engraved, it can be carved, it can be just plain, whichever it might be. So what is a haigu? Let me just explain, and rather than use my words, let's go to an article that explains it far better than I do. Uh, so once of the earliest evidences of human decoration is a stone circle with a circular ho hole pierced in the middle. In Neolithical uh, China, elites were buried with them. Um, they are now called pie discs when referring to them in the context of Chinese decorations and artifacts. Western cultures often describe them as donuts. Uh, these shapes are generally associated with the heavens or sky, eternity, everlasting life, the whole universe, continuous and harmony. Uh, pie discs look, sim uh, look simple but there is a deep meaning in it, expressing a lot of intelligence and blessing the wearer with wisdom. Ancient Chinese created pie discs as a bridge connected to the heaven. They spoke to gods through the hole in the middle. Pie discs represent the intelligence of the ancient Chinese. It is best to give the Chinese green jade pie disc pendant of intelligence to school-aged children, helping them in their schoolwork. So loving that. And that was quite new that I actually learned that as well. Um, yes, that's right. The pie disc can also be seen as representing the Ouroboros, the serpent of light which swallows its own tail, constantly creating itself um, in uh, the form of a circle. The Ouroboros symbolizes the eternal unity of all things, the cycle of life, death and rebirth. Uh, in this context, the center of the pie stone represents our energetic spine uh, and the energy which flows through the center of our bodies. Yet uh, is, sorry, there is yet our further connection to be made with our own spiraling DNA, the building blocks of life. So it's that circular motif once again. And if you think bringing it back to closer to home here across the Gemporia Partnership, you know, there's uh, Glenn Lehrer, who mm -hmm. and his, and his uh, Taurus, Taurus ring was very much inspired by similar, actually, that circle motif. Traditionally, people would use the pie stone to ward off evil spirits or to protect their homes, their family members, or even their livestock. Both the Incas and the Mayans are known to have employed them too. So it wasn't just ancient China. Nope. Um, more recently, um, there has been Hollywood has obviously got behind um, the story of Jade and the pie disc. You can see her in that photograph actually wearing a high goo herself. Um, talks about, uh, um, I've never watched this film, but I perhaps need to. Um, and they and Mason and Kay actually supplied that pendant. Um, through much of the film, Peony is wearing a traditional green jadeite disc pendant. She was given the pendant by her grandmother to bring her luck. For hundreds of years, jade, also known as the stone of heaven, has been revered in Chinese culture. It is a treasured stone said to bring luck and protection. So absolutely beautiful. But you can see it's very simple. It's a very, very, very simple shape. Now, 
the jade disc itself is one of the oldest shapes and symbols. Neolithical time discs were used uh, in burials and laid on the deceased. It's believed that these early discs represent heaven. It is also a symbol of the celestial life and the hole in the center representing a gateway to internal life. The circle has long been associated with the renewal of life and eternity in many cultures. Green jade discs are still a traditional gift. Um, it is still commonly believed that jade protects you from evil and illness and will bring you luck and wealth. So the disc is kind of like the bangle is, is yeah. the ultimate, effectively. Um, uh, but if you are thinking about gifting um, a high goo or a disc to one of your nearest and dearest, then you can expect to have to dig pretty deep ordinarily. You can pop along to First Dibs, if you like, and pick up one of their gauchois or jade donor pendants um, that's going to cost you best part of £10,000. It features a diamond, but it's only teeny weeny. It's not the diamond, it's not the gold that carries the bulk of that valuation. It is the jade. Or maybe you could pop to Mason and Kay. Oh no, it's another, another first dibs here. Um, granted, it's big. You're talking 100 carats, um, but you're still talking uh, £3,365 for something which is effectively on a lark's head. But like Ross has just said, I love the simplicity of that. It's mm. all about the jade, isn't it? It's not overly complicated. It's about that beautiful gemstone. Now, I've got two donuts to bring you. Very different in their design. You've got your classic traditional curved high goo, and then you've got a high goo within a high goo, and then that corded bead with, and I'm going to say it again, that's the floating flower one that we're looking at right now. Is that not the most imperial green jadeite that you've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker? Because it is, it is for me, most definitely. Now, there's 50 of each of these. That's it. Amazing that I'm saying that quantity. Now, I'm going to start with this, did you say? The traditional, let me just take it off. The traditional cord. Now, oh my goodness me, have you seen the quality? Oh my goodness me. I, like you, Ross, I love how traditional this is. Because you've got the high goo within a high goo, effectively. And then on cord, notice that one on first dibs for £3,300. It wasn't gold, it was an 18 karat gold. Literally a cord. Lark said not. Um, often the case. This is incredible. Now, the variety... Uh, did you hear that then? Mm. That's going to be amazing. Confucius, Confucius spoke about the music of Jade, saying it sings when oh. struck. Um, another point that's very exciting about this opportunity, you're not just getting any old Jade, if you can even use that terminology. This is floating flower. So when you have little patches, rectitude, that's it. Um, should we read it? Jade is the fairest of stones. It is endowed with five virtues. Charity is typified by its luster, bright yet warm. Rectitude by its translucency, revealing the color and markings within. You think about the floating flower, this is perfect for rectitude. Um, revealing the colours and markings within. Wisdom by the purity and the penetrating quality of its notes when the stone is struck. Uh, courage in that it may be broken, but it cannot be bent. Equity in that it has sharp angles, yet endures none. Amazing. Positively poetic. And that is the definition of jade and its believed attributes um, back in the uh, second century. Confucius. Confucius's words. Now, I love this piece, just literally attaching it to some macrame onto a chain, whichever you wish. It is the most traditional high goose circle of heaven, jade of heaven, um, with your floating flower that we've ever launched. There's 50 of them in existence. Can you see the lavender colour? Um, remember, yeah, remember, you've got a beautiful, beautiful lavender colour, and then you've got your floating flowers just here. Um, Make sure you are checking them out because even if, even if, even if um, we were to stop here at £11,976, that's an unbelievable deal. So it's when you get these beautiful pools of green. First collector, Susie, I'm not surprised. You have rivers of lavender running through this. You've got deep pools of beautiful, beautiful green. Every single jadeite will be unique, obviously, but they'll all be uh, certified of this same grade. We go through that process, the laboratory uh, certification, before we bring them to air. Um, but no, you are getting floating flower. Look at the quality 
of that green jadeite bead on its own straight away immediately collectors getting involved and even if we were to start at four nine uh, sorry stop at 499 that's unbelievable for jadeite 24 years ago, there was some really weird, not floating flower, not translucent, not carved to this level of uh, um, precision um, that was at the jewellers that I worked at back, back in Wales 24 years ago, and it was two and a half thousand pounds. Now we're talking about something that is significantly rarer in the floating flower, significantly more valuable in the fact that you have got the translucency. And straight away, we're at double figures. 99 pounds and 99 pence. Hang on. <laughs> I want to show you something. Mm. Wow. This is, this is a jade torch. Oh. This is Dave's jade torch that he actually left here after yesterday's show. Look at that floating flower. Can you see? If it lights up, you should be able to see, hang on, it's hard to manoeuvre. See my finger behind it? It's like tracing paper. We could actually read something through this. Now, we are not stopping here. A jade torch, they use a strong light source like this to see how good the translucency is. Look at that. The fact that we're at 99.99. Pulling it right the way back. I'm about, I don't know, 20 centimeters away from this absolutely beautiful carving. And you can still see that wonderful imperial, the rivers of imperial, the beautiful visions of lavender. Nobody is paying 99 pounds and 99 Amazing. pence. You're one of 50 people in the world that can say that they own this amazing, uh, this amazing... What? What are you doing, Ross? This would have been a triple figure piece for me. I was happy at double figures. Mm. Unbelievable jadeite deal. So look at that green. $49.99 is not even a price point that we would expect for that round. When we consider yeah. Dave with mates rates, spoke to one of his friends um, in the jadeite world. I can't remember. I've gone blank now what, what his name was. Stanley, that's it. Thank you. Uh, that's, that has the access to the finest jades in the world. And he offered him half a carrot in a little cabochon for £4,000. Wow. £4,000. I'm not saying this is imperial green, but it's pretty close. Yeah. It is pretty close. Maker in Kent, Elizabeth, Linda, Marion, Jane. Hello to you. Middlesex, Susie, Julie. Uh, fun me, Carol, Cheryl. Stop it now. You're being silly now. Ross, you are being silly now. Can we just put this into... You've been given... Oh. Have you been given authority for this? Okay. Look at the size. It's absolutely massive. What's... 95 carats of floating flower jadeite wow. with your imperial green. If ever you're buying... Seriously, though, if you're ever buying and you want to sell it on mm -hmm. um, moving forward, I wouldn't do it right now. Wait a few, you know, if, you, if you're thinking about heirlooms, legacies for the future, and you imagine this piece on first dibs in a few decades, I don't know. It's not going to be anywhere near double figures. No. It's not going to be in triple figures. It's certainly not going to be under £50. No, definitely not. That's good luck crazy. everyone because this is i can't believe we're doing this i was happy more than happy mm. at 99.99 i was over the moon ecstatic natural jadeite floating flower you can see the lavender can't you i'm not yeah. talking purple it's a delicate a whisper we always say that a whisper of lavender you also see those strong intense floating flower greens in a second that it's happening i can't believe this ross it's far lower than I was expecting it to go. 95 carats. I love the fact that this is traditional. We could easily have surrounded it by 18 carat gold. We could have easily wrapped it with the most amazing diamonds. But that's actually not how jade is war uh, worn in ancient China, especially something as meaningful as the Haigu symbol itself. You know, if, if you went along to, um, if you went along to Pillar and Stone, you'll find Haigus there. You're not going to find them at 39 99 no. goodness me he would think we're 
positively crackers doing what we're doing right now. Um, but yeah, this is a traditional... Remember, Confucius actually spoke about its humility, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Spoke about how this is a gemstone. You know, it's quite humble in its appearance, but incredibly powerful in its meaning. Um, Chinese people love jade not only because of its aesthetic beauty, but also because of what it represents regarding social value. Um, in the Book of Rights, Confucius said that there are 11 virtues represented in jade, benevolence, justice, propriety, truth, credibility, music, loyalty, heaven, earth, uh, morality, and intelligence. Um, the wise have likened jade to virtue. For them, its polish and brilliancy represents the whole of purity. Its perfect compactness and extreme hardness represents the sureness of intelligence. Its angles, which do not cut, although they seem sharp, represent justice. The pure and prolonged sound which it gives forth when one strikes it represents music apps i mean that's poetry right there we're at 39.99 julie in somerset sandra in surrey these deals remember I, I, and i I've, i loved yesterday learning about the fact that the jade that we are seeing right now is from the parcel that steve bernard dave and jake purchased on their moga uh, on their uh trip to burma Wow. About five years ago, three, five, uh, three to five incredible. years ago. So that is what we're seeing right now. We've had to wait. We've had to wait that length of time for them to go through the cutting house, through the artistry. Um, and that's what Bernard said to Steve. This is not something that's going to be a quick earner. Um, you might make money. You might not. Um, good luck. Make sure you're checking out. I've got 10 remaining opportunities. Wendy, Kent getting two. Jane getting two. Julie getting two. Jenny getting five, amazing. Uh, Sandra, fabulous. Bernadette, don't let that put you off. You can still dial through. We're going to close this auction in 48 seconds, if it hasn't sold out before that. Um, I love the fact this is the classic tr traditional. When you think about the high goo, it's this, isn't it? it, it absolutely. You get the high goo, which is beautifully carved. You can get yeah. the high goo, which has got like the artistry and the floral and the, the gold wrapped around it and maybe a gemstone in the centre. Um, but actually, it is Lark's Head, not on a cord. That's what yeah. Mason and Kay is all about. They don't, you know, when they show their, uh, their, their, their well, the one that they did for the, the movie um, was, okay, it had a gold, uh, a gold bale, but it was super simple. It wasn't overly complicated. It's sold out. Okay, amazing. Now, remember, one more auction. Oh, I've left it over there. I've got it. that beautiful oh, strand of type A white jade. I, I love this strand. It's pure. Thank you, Michael. Pure white and will go perfectly with every single mm. one of the opportunities that we've brought you thus far with your jade -ite butterfly, with your high goo. Um, with some of the cuts that I've still got to bring you as well. Look at that against the skin. Coming up in one more auction. One more auction's time. But not yet. Amazing, isn't it? It is pure white. Now. Oh, I'm going to do my best to show you something here. Hang on. Because... Oh my goodness, have you seen the floating flower on this? It's massive. Everyone unique to you, but look at that. It's not beautiful. This oh. is the kind of gemstone that I would put the diamond in the center. And this is the kind of piece that you could absolutely visualize in Sotheby's and Christie's. Look at the quality, that fine translucency. Go on. You know, you see, a it, I know it's called floating flower, but to me, it looks like a dragon's claw just trying to pull. Yeah. Can you see it? Uh, it's, uh, like, I've got you. It's just beautiful. Look so at your, ethereal. Look at your diamond through the middle. Yeah. Just setting one stone. Oh, that looks incredible. Now, the wow. first price crash 
This is a hundred carats in a traditional haigu. A, a traditional haigu has usually has, not always, but those tapered edges. If we just consider for a second when we go back to first dibs and they had that gauchoir jade uh, jade donut, um, it's just a simple amount of sterling silver. Uh, sorry, not sterling silver. Eighteen carat gold, one tiny diamond um, fed onto a chain. It's not the gold or the diamonds that are making up that price point. It is all about the type A jade. I um, and remember using a professional jade torch we must return this to Dave I hope he's in the building today but um, so this was gifted to Dave and he left it here yesterday but just to show you when we're grading jade eye it's about the color obviously but it's also about the translucency that is equally as important if I just draw it back um, oops, other way. Um, you can see that floating flower, that natural color. There is no enhancement to this whatsoever. You can see how it lights up perfectly wow. highlighting if this was a coarse crystal then you wouldn't have that translucency you wouldn't be seeing the you know that glow because it would quite literally be blocked um good luck everybody make sure you check out your baskets there are only 50 of these available it's an enormous floating flower at haigu 100 carats and our first price crash is immediately under 50 pounds you, if you're not, a, you, the, I would frame yeah. this. This yeah. is the kind of thing. Remember, Incas and Mayans use it to protect their livestock and their family. You know, you could just pop it in a box frame and have it on the wall somewhere special. If yeah. you're not a jewelry wearer, which I imagine you are if you're watching Jewelry Maker, but that in itself, this is artistry. Mm. We talk about jewelry. Uh, we talk. We talk about jadeite not just in as a, as a physical adornment. We talk about it as decoration. You know, that's why they carve it into these amazing um, uh, ornaments, etc. We're going even lower than 49.99 jane's got two fabulous well done susie hello susie maker in five hazel amazing uh, new customer janice linda anne in cardiff patricia in middlesex susan in essex it's one of the biggest um high goos again lark's head not for me job done i'd probably do a bit of macrame so it's an over the head necklace super simple yeah leather cord for me yeah oh lovely on, but leather, not on cord. leather cord amazing good luck because that clock is almost up we only had 50 available <gasps> oh my gosh look at confusion washes across my face mm. here how are we doing 100 carats of type a jade it is because it's that parcel isn't it so let me for those of you that haven't heard this story just quickly um and we've shown photographs of Dave Troth, who's very familiar to many of you, but Dave Troth, Steve Bennett, Jake Thompson um, went to the Mogok Valley, not just for the rubies. They didn't just go there for the rubies and the spinels. They went there for, and they got the opportunity to go directly to the jadeite mines. Wow. And they went halves on a, um, I like it, oh, we split it. Bernard and Steve bought a parcel of jadeite. And we're not talking about, oh, you tell you what, it's a tenner each. We're talking millions of pounds, obviously, to go halves on. Uh, uh. And, it, and they said, look, we can do it, we can split it, but this is not going to be a quick return. It's going to take about four to five years to actually start seeing any of that return. It might not be profitable. We might break even. That's the very least that can happen. This is from that parcel that they purchased those four or five years ago and maybe that is why and I am saying maybe I am being quite cautious um, why that is so low because this when we first started bringing when we first started bringing jade out they were not 40 pounds not 100 not, not for 100 carats of this quality so if you got this and you got the disc pendant that we've just played and you got the butterfly 110 pounds for all three you would pay oh more than 110 God. pounds for this one here at jewelry maker outside of these four walls well never mind that i've only got 10 of them left well done doris you've got yours Jeannie, susan has just got two alan warren's just got two suja caroline well done kent's got two um we're going to put a six, 60 second clock on your screen 
Yeah, for the airtime and what we're bringing you, it's far too low. So we need to move on. Um, make sure you check out. If you've got a phone in your hand and you've pressed your option one, then um, you should be okay. If it's in your in your baskets, I can't guarantee it. I, I generally can't. Um, yeah, when deals are this low, we can't stay on them too long um, because obviously broadcasting fees, very expensive, etc. So you are talking about giveaway deals here, folks. Sharon, good luck. Christine, good luck. Susan, good luck. California, good luck. Uh, Hampshire, good luck. Leslie, good luck. Elizabeth, good luck. Lorna, good luck. Linda, good luck. Jane, good luck. Maker, good luck. Susan, good luck. There's loads of you there. Loads of you there. And I've got the final three. If it's in your baskets, it probably... I mean, I know I'm on a delay, but... If it's in your baskets, we cannot guarantee your success. Wishlist is your friend in events and shows like this. Amazing translucency, a 100 carat high goo. I know it's not, in, for me, I love this with it, but high goos, they just feel. Very tough. I can physically, I feel Jade Eye. Mm. And that might sound so no. strange. It kind of gives me like a tingling in the end of my fingers. It, it, it I feel it. Certain gemstones have been proven, haven't they? They have been, um, yeah, yeah, as wet, wet, wet one said. Um, <laughs> um, I do, yeah, you feel the presence of this gemstone, which I absolutely love. Do what? Well done, everyone. Congratulations to you all. Now, I'm going to move that because I don't think it looks like a jade torch, so I'm just going to move it out the way. Um, now... The white is available on pre-order, that faceted strand that I have been showing, but I want to show you these two strands of high goos. Um, now, they have, this is amazing. So you've got carved jadeite, physically as hard as steel, still carved by hand, and still polished by wet bamboo. Um, but in these strands, now, not only have you got the intricacy of the high goo, so that kind of circular donut shape, um, with a whopping great big hole through the centre, <laughs> effectively, say it as it is. You've also got a potential drill hole going in the opposite direction, which you can use or not. It's entirely up to you. There is one issue. There's limited quantity on both of these strands. So the first strand that I'm going to bring is the 12 mils. And then we'll step into the 10 millimetres. All the meanings behind the high goo, perhaps the high goo for the hand, the wrist, the finger, the earrings, whichever it might be. Bracelet. Bracelet. Um, the same meanings, you know, just because they're that little bit smaller doesn't necessarily mean that they haven't got that relevance, that significance. You can use head pins either side to create like an illusion set. You can treat them with your tube setting, your bezel setting as individual solitaires. I bought a pair of earrings and they've got one ruby and they were launched on, on Gemporia next door. And they've got this shape and they've got one teeny weeny weeny itty bitty ruby in the center. And I absolutely love them. Mm, they'd be so effective. Because you could put a, a tube setting in the middle of it. Tube setting amazing. or around? Yeah. Around that would fit. You now, talk, sorry. Go on. You talked about Glenlear's Taurus ring. Yeah. You could make this into a version, a Absolutely. jade version of a Taurus ring. Now, there is only one, but there are less 20. Is there exactly 20? 20 of each of these strands. Beautiful mottling to this. Can you see the patterning mm. on the surface of the jade eye? Even here at £400, and I'm not going to stand here and tell you that £400 is not a considered amount of money. Of course it is. Um, but even here, that will be an absolutely unbelievable deal. Look at that one there where you've got a river of your darker greens running through. Cool, isn't it? So cool. 20 were available. First price crash, we're at £149. Um, and you've got your split payment, goodness me. So Carol in Durham, Maker in Hertfordshire, Lynn in Yorkshire, new customer on the phone lines. 20 of these are available. I don't know in the new parcels if we've actually got any further high goose strands coming up. Um, I don't know. I would imagine this is far more difficult to actually achieve because you want to have that uniformity of the high gear, yeah. but you also want them to, uh, um, and you've got to achieve the drill hole. Yeah, this is a big ask, I suppose. At 149, we are going to take this under 100 pounds. 
a third of the stock has already gone, almost half. We're bringing the 10 mils on the back. Good luck, everyone. Seven, oh, 79 pounds. Wow. I mean, they could be. You could put just a lot, like, you know, the flat head pins. Stud earrings. Just, just securing one head oh, pin no. through the center. Or obviously it's drops, because we had the different, we have shepherd hooks on a regular basis. How beautiful would that be? It's oh. one of the few strands of high goose that we actually have. You know, we did the head pins where we had a gemstone at the, in the head Yeah, pin. lovely idea. They'd look great. Yeah, that. they'd be fabulous. Be quick, though, everybody. Uh, that kind of price point, they're not going to hang around. Maybe one of your 12 mils, one of your 10 mils um, to create a really beautiful graduation. The same meanings that we were sp speaking about with your uh, high goo pendants. You know, it's all about those integrities, the uh, um, humility, the uh, virtues that Confucius ha uh, meant, mentioned, the music. I love it. You know, it's got all of those meanings behind them, just in a smaller size. And lots of people do actually prefer the more delicate size. Hertfordshire, Carol, London, Lorna, Lynn, well done. Make sure you are checking out your basket. Your split payment is an absolutely crazy. What is it, on three-way? £26.33. pence. What have we done to the split bay thing? Is it... It's very slow. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, £26. Very good. I reckon you should have round about 25 on there. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. We're going to step into the 10 millimetres. Um, yeah. That, there's only about five of those uh, um, high goose strands left. Um, straight into the 10 mils. I like this size. I just think it really works. Again, if you do things like wire wrapping, bead bezeling, mm. gallery wire, all of those things, it's going to it's gonna, you know, work perfectly with those mediums as well as your standard, standard beading and knotting. Um, and you can create illusion set. If you don't like the cord visual through the centre, um, yeah, you could you could turn these into little connectors. That'd yes. be quite nice. So you can get oh, flat head pins. Like so that. one head pin in one direction, one head pin in the other direction, and leave that space in the centre empty, um, and just do little loops, turn them into nice little connectors. I think that'd be beautiful. Now I've got twenty available. Oh yeah, imagine doing that. You turning them all into connectors and then creating a nice long line necklace. <gasps> oh, you know, like it. Alhambra inspired. Yeah, yeah. Um, now twenty of them left. We're up one four nine ten millimeters. All totally natural type A Burmese jadeite. Uh, to get high goose in the strand, there's a reason why you don't see them that often here at Jewelry Maker. They take a lot of time to do. They're very difficult to do. As you can imagine, much like your archer rings and your bangles, um, there's losses, aren't there? Because, you know, cutting any gemstone with a hole in the center is going to cause a risk of it fracturing and breaking. We're going to go straight down to it. Good luck. Okay, yeah, because that was that was seventy nine. So I guess you've got to do sixty nine on this, haven't you? Well, you haven't got to. Sixty nine pounds only. Twenty available. Keith's there. Janice, fund me, Hertfordshire. Hello to you, Lynn. You've got yours. Congratulations. Um, again, there's a delay on my call screen, but absolutely you can still do it call that free phone telephone number um if you're off your uk landline 0800 644 655 or join us on the app or the website super fast there's never any queues there muriel amazing make sure you check out though because we have literally eight live chances remaining it'll be first come first serve can't say any fairer than that and if you do miss out then of course you can uh, always wish list items our call center will call you back so if you miss out say add it to my wish list please and if for whatever reason something falls back into stock, then our call centre team will give you a call. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, I've still got that beautiful strand of pure white type A jadeite. Now, I'm wow. going to make you wait one more auction to get hold of this. One more. Look at that. It's the crispest white <gasps> that I've ever seen. Oh, when did she appear? She's brand new, but there's, oh my goodness me. Have you seen her though? Right, Alison, I would get your iPad ready. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> She's ready. I'm here. 
It's so new that the details haven't been up. Oh. <gasps> Best carving I've seen. <gasps> Come on. Genuinely, I've never... Uh, best carving I've seen. Stop teasing us. Sorry, I know I'm teasing you, but genuinely, <laughs> this is... There's, there are 30, though. You have to be so quick. Dial now. Type A grade. The moment you see it, you're going to agree with every word I've just said. It's got... You know when elephants are decorated and mm. they've got the little seat on the back? Mm -hmm. That's the bale. Oh, clever. But what, you'll agree with me. Even the feet perfectly together. Look. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at his little face. Should I show you all the way around? It's the best carving I've seen. Oh, She's stunning, isn't she? Wow. Oh, look at the little happy tail, the little swishy tail. Oh, yeah. That's detail, isn't it? I love her. Sorry, sorry, lovely. <laughs> it's not my best side. Oh my goodness. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. 60 second clock on our screens. So no one can be cross. Everybody gets the same chance. I love the little swishy happy tail. Uh, do you agree with me? That's the I best carving the we've done. Yeah, I love the ears. Oh That's my goodness. I, let's, I could put bets on the fa how fast this is going to sell out. Everybody loves elephants. Yeah. What's better than an elephant? An elephant in jadeite. Well, other than a real elephant, obviously. But, you know, a carved jadeite elephant. How amazing. All the meanings behind the elephant. We had the butterfly. That sold out. You know, where do we go next? Elephants, one of the most popular species in existence. All those connections to family bonds, strength and re uh, res resilience. All those different meanings. We talked about it before. In fact, I'll do it quickly now while that clock is ticking. Elephants represent strength and good fortune. They also symbolize health and happiness and are thought to promote spiritual well-being in our daily lives. Elephants are strong and nurturing. They're loyal to their family and are determined and protective. Elephants remind us to always be true to ourselves and keep those we love close to our hearts. They also teach us that a little strength and determination, we can overcome any challenges that arise in life. I love her. I'm saying her. I don't know why her. She looks like a her. Do you know what, Ross? I haven't seen the core screens yet, but I reckon if we had 200 of these, they'd sell out. Oh, gosh, yeah. And I don't know what Ross has taken them to, but look where we're starting. I know. She's beautiful. I love the, the texturing on, yeah. on the trunk. The be, genuinely, I think brilliant. one of the best carvings we've done. Mm, it's gorgeous. The fact, look, look at her little feet. Wait. She's got little toes. Look at her perfectly positioned little feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's got little toes. Oh, oh gosh. I, this is so new. I, this is the first time I'm seeing it with you. I don't know what you're taking this to, Ross. What are you taking it to? Burmese, type A, Jade. He says, you'll see in a sec. They've sold out. I knew they would. 61 seconds. I wish we had more of those. I'm still updating. If we had 200, they'd have still sold out. I knew they'd sell out quick. Wish list, Alison. I'm going to. We'll relay back to the team that you want more of your elephants. I think they're stunning, aren't they? <sighs> Don't want to part with her. She's absolutely beautiful. I'm so sorry that you've, uh, if you've missed out, wish list, wish list, wish list. Now, for the white jadeite, one more auction. I know I'm teasing you with it because we've just found another little auction that would go so perfectly alongside these pure whites. Let me just move that out of the way. Um, unbelievable. You like it? Shows mm. how crisp and white the quality, and this is all natural, no bleaching, no dyeing. So this is coming up at auction's time. I knew it, Ross. So out of, if, if I ask, the best person to ask about what we have in our vault because I don't know. I don't see the... I don't get to walk around the vault very often. And I don't see the computer system on a daily basis. I see what Ross sends me. So if I was to say to Wayne or Ross, that, Ross, how much red jade have we got in our vault? He said, oh, I'll have a look for you now. How many lines? So what we mean by that is, you know, different skew numbers. So you might have a 6 mil, an 8 mil, a 10 mil, or whatever it is. How many of those have we got? Never mind the quantity, just... How many separate lines have we got of red jadeite? 
strands. This is one of three. The other one that we have, there is one in, one in stock. And there's another one we played yesterday, which is less than 10. This is off the scale. Firstly, it's a long strand. It's also teamed with Guatemalan Olmec. Have you got it? I've got it. It's amazing. Did you buy this strand? Oh, yeah, absolutely I did. I love the shape of it. I love the, the, the mixing it with the Guatemalan. I haven't had time yet, but it's going to be a long line necklace. I just think it's gorgeous. Just not it. Yeah. Put your elephant at the bottom or your butterfly, whichever yeah, yeah. it is, your high goo, whichever you wish. Now, Thanks for you'd, that. Mix the, you'd mix this with, oh, sorry, yeah. Mix it with <laughs> the white that's coming up. Oh, that colour, yeah. now I know we've said this so many times, but it's so important. And I know we sometimes get told off by people for repeating the same things, but it's so important because not everybody has your knowledge. What is the difference between, um, between uh, rarity of colours? Now, we know the colour wheel. We've seen it on Mason and Kay, haven't we? Um, and basically, jadeite is rare. Whatever colour it is, whatever quality, effectively, it is rare. Very, very uh, uh, particular geological conditions will actually form this gemstone. Without getting too gemmy, it's the movement of tectonic plates and it plummeting down beneath the ocean's crust. So that would have happened millions of years ago. Now, these boulders that have occurred um, can, over a period of time, you can have some which go to a lavender colour, you can get some which have a green, imperial green, blacks, whichever it might be, white. Um, but the skin, and we always talk about the apple, don't we? Yeah. The skin of the boulder, if, and it's not every boulder that does this, if it oxidises, will turn red. But if you do bite that apple and you see the flesh and you imagine the flesh of the apple is the jadeite, Please know that the skin is a comparison to what that red jadeite would be. It's wafer thin, wafer thin. That's why if you see red jadeite, it tends to be a proportion, a percentage of the bead, the carving, the bangle, whatever it might be. They're not entire strands like this. Here we go. Perfect description. And not every boulder will oxidise. Not every boulder. There are 11 of these left. I agree. Ross has just said, I think this is one of the nicest strands we've ever had. I, do you know what, Ross? I can imagine... I mean, I love this as well. This is the kind of piece that I can imagine a gentleman wearing. Mm. You know, just re-stranding, wearing as such. I, mean, I love it like that. With your old Mac Jade as well, so the, from the Lost City, uh, the Lost Treasure of Guatemala... That is deep, rich, ripe cherry tomato red. Yeah. It's all natural. It's not dyed. It's not a proportion of each bead that's red. They are completely saturated. And this is the rarest colour of all. That's what Roland Schlussel was saying. Reds and lavenders, rarest colour of all your jadeites. And he sees in the future them overtaking the valuations of your imperial greens. Where are we starting? Why are we starting at £1,495? Normally, what we do is we'll kind of set, start at a higher price point and sometimes, yeah, they're, they're steep. They're, they're, you know, they are considered. But that's the reality of red jadeite. Jadeite is expensive. You know, so, for example, you can go along to back in 2014, when the Burmese mine was still operational, which it's not now, so fast forward some almost 10 years, um, a red jadeite bangle, it's not, it's more white than red, isn't it? I mean, they're both beautiful and very rare colours, but look what it sold for. T almost 10 years ago, 25,000 US dollars. Well, yeah. Almost 10 years ago. And, it, and it's a proportion, yeah. And, and it's very orangey. Yeah, it's not really Very orangey red. yellow. Still lovely, don't yeah, get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. But 10 years ago, just near about 25 grand. Now the mine has closed. What do you think it's going to be? So that's why we start at a higher price point. We're starting at 1,495 and we are not stopping there. I've only got 11 though. With the rare sought after Olmec blue, the lost treasure of Guatemala. That's a story into it, uh, on its own, isn't it? Mm, it is. £499. Wow. Pounds. 
still not done. Seven left. This is one of three strands that we have, and probably one of less than 15 we have in the entire vault, if my math is correct. I've got how many? 11 of these. We only had a couple of the other, of the other line and one of the other. So it, it, across the entire red jade like parcel, we've probably got about 15 strands as we speak. And these are about to sell out today. Five, Hertfordshire, well done to you. Hazel, well done to you. Maria and Julie and Kent and Janice and London, new customers getting involved. This is so, this is irreplaceable. Remember, if you don't want to take my word for it, go to Roland Schlussel, who's like the guru, if you like, in the Jadeite world. He has, uh, um, he's actually played part in many articles talking about the rarity of Jadeite. And he actually said, he's written and documented that he believes colors like red, like your lavender will overtake the price point of your uh, of your imperial green because that's been stockpiled for millions of years there's loads of imperial green they're not running out of that what they can't get hold of is this 299 pounds only just restrand it to say that you own the rarest color of all your jadeite um, is quite something lorna janice julie hertfordshire hazel samantha marie and kent congratulations to you the final three oh eight hundred six triple four six double five is the free phone telephone number uh, to call i can read that quote the price of type a jadeite is right now at an all-time high particularly difficult for us uh, is the sourcing of the skin this is the fancy color of jade the lavenders and the reds these prize colors are so rare because this is the skin of the boulder as it oxidizes this is why you never get solid red never you never get solid red sculptures or jewelry I'm looking at solid red um, and the skin is so thin comparatively to the bowl uh, and the boulders aren't coming out uh, in the current market pillar and stone two years ago said those exact words mark in cheshire good luck donna in swansea good luck maker samantha good luck um i think this is going to be an on-screen sellout and the perfect addition to lead you towards um your pure white jadeite bowl uh strand it is breathless and it uh, it would look amazing alongside this one right now so congratulations make sure you do check out those baskets 74 pounds and 75 pence on your split payment fabulous isn't it amazing i, I love it absolutely amazing i'll leave the last one with you ah perfect ross you read my mind mm -hmm. now i'm gonna keep this white piece of paper because look if we hold this up so let's, let's do a few comparisons. If I hold it next to my top, blue and white, would you agree? Far whiter. Um, the wall behind me, far whiter. Um, let's see. I know. Whiter that pearl. Far whiter. Okay. And bear in mind this has been within the ground been within the ground for millions of years where it could be off-white maybe I don't know it's taking on other minerals that are present within the um, within the ground but it hasn't been tarnished by any other impurity it still stunning still has this level of purity so you know when I held that piece of paper against my top mm -hmm. And this was pure bright white. Yeah, yeah. When I showed this piece of paper against the pearl or the, wa uh, or the wall, this was pure white. Now, I hold a natural pure white, unbleached, type A jadeite strand. And I tell you, this is whiter. Mm. Do you agree? I totally agree. I adore this strand. It has been teasing me on the tea bar since the very get-go this morning. Um, look, this is whiter than the paper. I know. It's crazy. It's that pure. Now, again, you don't have to take my words for it. You don't have to take Roland Schlussel's word for it. You can go to someone. I mean, when, when I did my accreditation, when I studied for the, with the GIA, 
Uh, Steve Bennett, our founder, gave me a book uh, by, written by Richard W. Wise. He said, read it and then read it again. This becomes your Bible in the jewellery world and in the gemstone world. And Richard Wise, who wrote Secrets of the Gems Trade, said, in modern connoisseurship, a jadeite jade cabochon of pure, pure white hue with a fine texture and a moderate translucency would be the finest of its type. Historically, imperial white, as it's referred to in the jadeite world, was only ever allowed to be worn by... Um, the emperor's royalty, effectively, because it was considered the best, the best of all. The creme de la creme, absolutely. They used to carve pillows out of this amazing gemstone. Incredible. The fact I am comparing a gemstone that has formed within the ground over millions of years, that, that boggles my brain, that does. This has been within the ground over millions of years. And yet I'm showing it against the crispest, whitest piece of paper, and this is whiter. The strand is whiter than the piece of paper. It's whiter than the white graphics. Absolutely. And it's a genuine natural gemstone. How many do we have, Ross? 70 available. This strand has been completely teasing me. We rarely ever see jadeite faceted. That's because of the value of the gemstone. They don't want to cut the carrot away, to a, away effectively. Um, yeah, and we've said, remember our suppliers have actually said to us no more faceted because it is so expensive and, you know, they don't want to waste it. You might think, oh, it's only just a couple of angles, a proportion, a tiny percentage of the gemstone. Yeah, but you do that over a 38 centimetre strand mm -hmm. multiple times. That's quite a considerable amount, isn't it? it That's a considerable considerable drop in carrot weight, which is what they deal in. Pure white. If Richard Wise says in modern connoisseurship, a jadeite jade of pure white hue with a fine texture and moderate translucency would be the finest of its type. That is exactly what I am holding. Exactly what I am holding right now. And I'm just going to borrow Dave's torch once again. There you go. <laughs> It doesn't look like a torch, does it? Um, here we go. Funny contraption. But look at this. Look at that. Pure. It's incredible. Look how they light up. Wow. Uninterrupted. Flawless colour. We rarely ever see faster jade. We even, what's the word? More rarely, doesn't make sense. But you know where I'm coming from. Scarcely see white faceted. Imperial white, no less. There are 70 available. That's it. The graphics are live. We've got collectors who are already said, look, I know, I trust the process. I know Jewelry Maker is going to bring the most amazing deals. This is the perfect strand for me to go alongside that elephant or maybe your butterfly. I think this would be absolutely beautiful with the butterfly. And at 4 dollars that's an amazing deal for that quality. Wan Hao Sao, back in 1388, said on examining jades, one should regard those white in colour as the best. So even back then, they were talking about white being the rarest. It would, can you imagine teaming white with your reds? Yeah. Because who, depending on who you speak to, whether it's Wang Hao Sao, whether it's uh, Richard W. Wise, whether it's Roland Schlussel, either way, they'll all have their opinions, won't they? I Absolutely. think we can all agree the red is the rarest because of the oxidisation, which doesn't always occur. Um, but can you imagine teaming that red alongside the pure white imperial, uh, imperial strand that I have here? Not imperial green, they use imperial also to describe the finest white. Next price crash, there are... Well, were 70 available. You've got split payments available as well. Again, it's whiter than my clothes. It's whiter than the piece of paper. It's whiter than the graphics. And it's all totally and utterly natural, certified, natural imperial white Burmese jadeite. Wayne, I don't know if you know this, but Wayne is on holiday at the moment. He's, uh, I don't know where he's gone. Where's he gone? Greece. Yeah. Has he gone to Zanti? Okay, yeah, lovely. Amazing. 
Ah, oh, that's nice, very romantic there. Uh, going to the same place that he went with his uh, now wife on their first uh, on their first mm. holiday together. How romantic! There's a side of him we don't know. Anyway, <laughs> but what that does mean that does mean that. We're a bit naughty, ain't going to be watching Jury Makers on holiday. And if he is, I'd ask questions. Okay? Wayne said, do this, rock bottom. You've seen how amazing that butterfly deal was and the two donuts and the elephant. And he's matched it. Oh, my goodness me, that is well, so low. For that purity of white. We've just done a little bit of research, seeing if we can find any more white uh, six mils with the faceting. Couldn't find faceted, but we could find smooth. So a smooth stand of, a strand of pure white, jadeite, 40 carats. 40 carat, 40. Okay, and a 19 centimeter strand. You're gonna match the price of that one without the facets. Over double the carat weight and double the length. Okay. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, bear with, and available on your split payments. Bear with me a second. Because this is so white, I need to show it on a blackboard. But imagine this. As your piece of jewellery. Imagine this. And I'd probably use something like a black silk. I think to dot in between just to give that, create that, that punctuation. Look at how beautiful. Is this not a piece of jewelry that you could see on first dibs, Christie's, Sotheby's right now or in the future? And do you think we'd be seeing a double, a, a double figure price tag for it? Definitely not. We are going to match though. Uh, we've done a bit of research, found some six millimeter rounds, non-faceted in a 19 centimeter strand that we've brought to air before. Um, so half the carat weight, half the length, no facets, we are going to match that price point. I've got 70 of these available. If you've got the butterfly, it's a must. Or the elephant. Oh my goodness me. It's pure white. Have you ever seen me go, oh, let's compare how pure white this natural gemstone is against a white crisp no. bleached piece of paper. Have you ever seen me do that before? No. How about if I just stay there, Adam, one sec, do this. Say... Look at how pure white the colour is next to our vibrant, crisp white graphics. It's whiter. And on my clothes, on the painting, on the wall, it's natural, not bleached and dyed. We had 70, Hazel, Fife, Rupal, London, Janice, Nottinghamshire's Multiport, Julie and Teresa and Elaine, and Leslie, Amazing, Cumbria, Muriel, Hazel, Angus, Elaine and Samantha and Marlene and Julie and Kent and Jane and Linda. Massive, massive congratulations to you. Would you use it with the red jade I mean, I, I mean, I think we could create like a... Red and white looks amazing, doesn't it? Maybe even some bicones in there. Red, white and black. What do you think to wow. that? Wow. That is, I'll have that kit, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Um, it's coming, uh, some of those items we might, might be able to bring you in this hour. Make sure you're checking out on this one. Um, so we had 70 available. Huge, it's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. That butterfly with white um, imperial type A white jadeite. Good luck, everyone. We had 70 split payments on something like this. Again, if one house sow back in 1388 said on examining jades, one should regard those white in color as the best. And then that was repeated once again with Richard W. Wise and furthermore has been repeated by countless different sort of gem uh, publications, authors um, and authorities really around the world. Helen, Samantha, Hazel, Cumbria, Muriel, Leslie, Elaine, Teresa, Julie, Nottinghamshire, lots of multi-buyers on this, Stirlingshire, Mark, Audrey, Hazel, Angus, Samantha, Marlene. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Now I still have got some more jade to bring you. Um, I'm going to be making my way over to our lovely Alice because we've also got a showcase of Afghanite. Now, if you've never heard of Afghanite, it is oh, an unbelievable blue colour. I think you're going to absolutely love it. 
Um, make sure you check out your baskets and don't go anywhere because Alison, your masterclass kit's pretty oh, spectacular gosh, as well, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. One of my all-time favourites. You've got the beautiful malachite. So join us after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker.
Well, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Ah, and I'm back with our <laughs> lovely Azza Tazza. Do you know, I'll never tire of looking at these jadeite carvings. They are oh, absolutely incredible. Works of art. They are generally they are, works yeah. of art. And I would love to be a fly on the wall in one of their <gasps> studios watching. If I if I could go, that's on my wish list. If yeah. I could go anywhere, I would love to go and see a master. The level Carver. of artistry yeah. is just on a different scale, isn't it? You know, it's incredible. Because you know, there's there's you can be an artist in lots of different mm -hmm. things, can't you? You can be an artist with paper. You can be an artist with clay. You can be an artist yep. with uh, um, I don't know flowers, whatever it is. Yeah. But to carve a gemstone, I think is. Because you can correct clay, can't you? You can collect if you're painting mm -hmm. on a canvas, but this is, you know, you, it has to be right. Um, this next piece is probably, I mean, the artistry is just unbelievable. So not only have you got, and Alison's saying you think it's a peony flower. I, I can I see think why. Peony. We had a peony or, or something very similar, which had like lots and lots and lots of different layers. Mm. And what, I had peonies in my wedding bouquet, um, and my favorite flower. And when they, it's uh, initially they're in this tote ball, type, aren't type, they? Type yeah. ball, aren't they? And then they just kind of gradually unfold. It does beautiful, very short window there yeah. of bloom. So if it is a peony, amazing. But also, can I just show? Let oh, me just grab. Uh, let me just get. Have I left my tweezers over there? Where have they gone? I'm sure I brought them over there. They are. Um, here we go. I want to give you a heads up because this is coming up. Not only have you got that hand carved. Let's go with peony flower. You've also got the bale carved within. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Coming up. We've never done anything of that size with its own bale, uh -uh. have we? I mean, um, amazing. Gorgeous. That's a lotus flower there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. What, what, what was that, sorry, Ross? Coming up, but not yet. First, I want to bring you a strand <gasps> of seven and a half millimeter lavender jadeites. Get your white piece again. Get the white piece of paper. Beautiful. And if I just lay it down on the piece of paper again, that's the that, you know that's where we, we you know we look at diamonds against a white background. We look at all your colored gemstones against a white background. Your pearls, for example, and jadeite is the same. So. Um, now, with when it comes to your Burmese jadeite, you're not looking for purple. It's not the same. It's not the same as bur uh, bursa. Um, it's a lot softer in its colour. Look at this saturation. Oh my goodness me, that's absolutely unbelievable. Um, and it's again certified completely and utterly natural. I know I keep wittering on about it, but Rona Schlussel did say he believes that the rare colours, the reds and the lavenders, will overtake the price point of. We were imperial greens moving forward. Imagine for a second if we didn't take that slice of knowledge and utilize it. Yeah. So say, oh, actually, yeah, I was told that. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, that guy, Roland, Roland, he told me that lavender jade mm -hmm. was going to overtake the price of imperial jade, but didn't, didn't really believe him. And then fast forward and it happens. Yeah. Which it's not unrealistic what he's suggesting. Let's be honest, nope. this is the rarest color. I just quickly, we're at £499. Let me just say, other than the beauty and the fact that lavender is rarely seen, can I just explain gemologically why? So we know that Burmese jade has been historically the prime location mm -hmm. around the world for jadeite. We know that mine, that location is now closed um, and that's it. Nothing's coming from the ground. We know that certain colours are rarer than others. Let me just explain why lavender is so rare, though. Um, Lavender jade, or for the jade to turn to a lavender colour, requires very specific gemological conditions. It needs an element to be present that doesn't naturally occur in Burma, and that is vanadium. Yeah. If jadeite was to form in Tanzania, then that wouldn't be a problem because, you know, Lots Tanzanite vanadium. needs vanadium as well. That wouldn't be a problem. But in Burma, vanadium is not a common element. And it's vanadium that turns your jadeite to this. That is one of the most, the rarest mm. colours. Just because imperial green historically has been told to us as the most valuable doesn't mean it's the case. It's a bit like diamonds, isn't it? Exactly. That's, that's it's marketing. Marketing. Yeah. 
<laughs> £499 for one of the most lavender, sorry to state the obvious, but one of the most lavender jadeite strands that mm. I've seen. Normally it's like just a, you know, it's hint. a pale colour, yeah. a hint. Whereas this is definitely lavender, kind of wisteria like. Yeah, yeah. At 4 99 we are not stopping there. In fact, we're going to better than half that price tag. If Roland Schlussel is right and this overtakes <gasps> the Imperial Greens at one wow. at one hundred and seventy nine pounds, I tell you what, you got a fantastic deal. And mm. moving forward, uh, he he said, "I can't. This hasn't been stockpiled over the centuries. You know, this is what he wants to get hold of. This is, you know, what is he is desperately difficult to get hold of, hold of the rarer colours, the reds and the lavenders. So historically." Mm -hmm. They'd get rid of the outer skin uh -huh. and go straight down for the green. Uh, yeah, that's what they're looking for. Or the whites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, they were all they were all celebrated, absolutely. But normally, there's so little of it that was mm. available in the lavender that you know it would it, it it wouldn't. Yeah, it was never stockpiled because there wasn't enough of it, effectively. Yeah. But as collectors now, we oh, yeah. look for it. Uh, stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody. Congratulations to you wow. all. Now, one of my favourites. I love these strands. Me too. Um, the introduction of the bicone to Jade Eye, possibly ever. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? I don't think many. Pay I don't think many people will actually have Jade Eye in uh, Type A Jade Eye in, uh, in in a bicone. Now, um, straight off the back of that last opportunity i'm going to tell you this is going to one of the low to what a brand new low okay with your faceted pure whites how amazing mm. um i remember us discussing a bicone um with dave and he was like oh what what's it a oh, what and he's like okay so they'll cut it into round and then they're going to cut probably about 40 percent of the carrot weight away from that gemstone to create this beautiful shape amazing he goes our suppliers won't do it it's too expensive to do that we twisted their arm and the end result is absolutely beautiful. We have found black jadeite, type A, natural, no enhancement, in a bicone, one other place. Um, and it's Dolce & Gabbana. And it doesn't say if it's jadeite, it doesn't say if it's type A, which tells me it's mm. probably not. Yeah. Um, probably nephrite, to be honest. Um, 46 black jade beads. I don't, I'd, I'd, I'd be in, tr what is it then? Is it jadeite? Nephrite, is it dye, type A, type B? Either way, but it's what, how much? £3,000. Um, and the teeny weeny, itty weeny. Um, you are getting genuine jade out, the rarest of all. You are getting type A grade, totally and utterly natural. And you are getting that beautiful piano black. Um, amazing quality. Now, again, much like your red jade out, we don't have a huge amount of black jade out within our vault. Um, that's because it forms much, much smaller, kind of that kind of size, palm of your hand kind of size, um, and takes three times longer than any other color of jadeite. Um, and it can't be sped up. It can't be dyed. It, Mother Nature is the only way. As promised, we're going to do a brand new low close out deal for you all. We promise a few more jadeite closeouts and then we'll get to your Afghanite. First time ever being bundled, by the way. Wow. 69.99. Please know that this is no reflection of the true value or worth. And this is not normal. No. It's not normal for, for jadeite, type A jadeite to be anywhere near double figures. Last night, and I end up, I don't know why I do it because I end up getting really cross. <laughs> I don't know why I do it, but I was looking at jade elsewhere and I was like, okay, let's have a look at jade shapes different shapes around there and do you know probably 95 percent of what i looked at was not jade not jade eye yeah right they just use the terminology it's like a resin it's jade a colored or... jade, no would you know it's plastic or glass oh, or something like that yeah. or an acrylic it's infuriating um and yet they'll get away with it and there's yeah. gonna be people who are saying that they own jade and they don't it's not jade it's going to be something i'm not saying that i'm not tarnishing all with the same brush but genuinely so many uh, um, establishments do it mm. um, whereas yours are laboratory certified and that's something that Susie always says you know I buy from jewelry maker because I know it is jade yeah. I know it is nephrite I know they are laboratory certified and tested they, you know, they've got the provenance, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely um, now we are one auction away from the beautiful peony carving mm. but first I'm going to bring you some 13 Lovely. millimeter rounds yeah, they're amazing I like the idea of this with those faceted whites. I don't know <gasps> nice, nice. 
You could put it with any, you could put it with the any lavender, you could put it with the black, the, butterflies. the white. Oh, I'd put it with the black and the white. Yeah, nice. If you're oh, looking for that. size, yeah. then this is definitely the strand for you. Ah, oh, look, Funny. beautiful. The reason why 13 mil is rare is because the slices that uh, Jade Eye originally starts in normally measure this. So, and they have to cut something away to make the actual size Let's itself. Obviously, I'm holding on to two just here. Um, I'd knot that where it, is, where it as is, I suppose. I'd put mm -hmm. it alongside with some of your smaller stones, maybe your, as you said, the pure white or maybe the black. I think that would be incredible. How about lead, having your 13 millimeter type A Burmese jadeites leading down towards your beautiful peony blossom flower? I mean, look at where we're starting nice. from. 375 pounds only. You have that beautiful translucency as well. If you get up close, you can see that. Amazing translucency in the world of jade eye. It's not your four C's like you would do with your diamonds. Um, in the world of jade eye, it's color, it's translucency, as in how much of the light can actually influence the heart of the stone, um, and also the texture. Is it fine or is it coarse? Well, let me just tell you, the coarse texture would look mottled, yeah, and look very opaque, and you wouldn't have the translucency that I see. We're at 129 pounds only. Oh my, pardon. We're not done. We're not stopping there. How many have we got on there, Al? Shall we count it? Wait. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, sixteen. Wow. Sixteen thirteen millimeter rounds. <gasps> Seventy-four pounds and ninety-nine pence only. A split payment of just twenty-four ninety-nine today. Do we have quantity of these? 40 available. Look, I mean, this one here is almost pure white, firstly. I know it says green, but this one for me looks white. But look at that amazing translucency. Mm. You can almost see the cord running through the center. Um, and you know that you are buying and from a trustworthy uh, um, establishment that laboratory certifies every single gemstone that comes within our um, establishment. And believe me, we've come up, we see red flags. Oh, yeah. We've, we've rebuttaled and yeah. kicked back orders saying that's not what you say it is. Um, and then we get a refund effectively. Um, so yeah, it does happen, unfortunately. But that's what we do. We laboratory certify to make sure that you are getting the true authentic gemstone. £74.99 pence only for 250 carats. We only had how many did you say? 40. 40 available. Uh, Susan in Essex, Helen, well done. London and Surrey and Jay. Make sure you are checking out those baskets. Beautiful, beautiful translucent. Absolutely. Thing. And each one of those would make a beautiful pendant. Absolutely, on their own, yeah. Yeah. Totally agree. It is time. <gasps> I love this. Me too. First time I saw it was this Sorry. morning, and it's absolutely incredible. The level of detailing on this is amazing. So, and I know lots of you know this, but bear with me. Um, if you are new to the jadeite world, this forms in vast boulders. This a boulder, and they normally sort of crack it in half to see what colours are within. Are you getting yourself ready? Yeah. Ah. Uh, crack it in half to see what colours are within. They don't know. That's the thing, when you buy a boulder, they don't know what the translucency is going to be. They don't know what the colour is going to be. Um, anyway, what was inside was premium grade. And then they place it into the hands of a highly skilled artist that has probably worked with jade eye, been a master carver for decades. And it's something they pass on from generation mm -hmm. to generation. But imagine you've been given this boulder... And you've got to look at it and go, okay, that's going to be that, that's going to be that. They'll cut it into slices initially, and this is what I'm thinking. Now, if I want to make a link in sterling silver or in gold, that's fine, because I can open them. Yeah, close them, them and solder them, that's not a problem. But to actually do this out of one solid stone, I'm going to show you upside down first. See where I'm coming from? That's To amazing. do that! I know. So, in a, in a, I, can't, I can't cut it and then glue it back together. Nope, nope it's uh, one piece. It's one piece of type A jadeite carved together, yeah. and that's a flower too. And it's got to be sturdy because that's a considerable weight that's going to hang off it. Yeah. It's, you've, it's, it's just amazing. You've got, to be, you've got to make sure that has got to be... Absolutely spot on, that carving. Yeah, you don't want it to be fragile. No. Or, you know, um, um, and, and sort of... Brilliant. Yeah. 
and break effectively. But can, consider for a second just how many of these are lost during that carving process. Oh, gosh. That maybe yeah. ended up being that, that pendant, you know, just the yeah. flower, which is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. But to have this link, and I know I'm focusing on probably the smallest, the smallest detail, to actually have that attached, a link of a chain effectively, yeah. but not a be of a precious metal, be of type A Burmese jadeite. That doesn't, I, I, and this is only my humble opinion, but that doesn't just double the, 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 the interest. It, I don't know, <laughs> times 100 yeah. to be able to create something of this detail. We've only had, uh, as far as I know, one other thing where we've had a link, but it was just a link on the hand. Yeah. But it was literally just a link, not a carved flower mm -mm. link with another carved we've flower. Seen, we've seen a whole chain of jade art. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not here. No, 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 no. But with the Buddha at the bottom yeah. that was sold at auction for, I can't remember, astronomical amounts of money. Price Six or of seven a, figures. Yeah, price of a nice house. Very, yeah. very nice house. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you have that level of skill. It, it just literally boggles my brain that this has been carved out of one amazing boulder. Now, first time I've seen it today, and Alison. It is. It's live. It was, it was launched. It was launched when? Last Wednesday. Okay. So we're all seeing this for the first time today. How many of these are left? 14. Ah, somebody's shopping alongside us here. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all, Alison. It's amazing. And for this yeah. skill, this level of artistry in type A jade of that quality, you have those beautiful curves and folds of the peony flower, the bloom. Stunning. Lots of meaning. And you, I know you were researching yeah. this because you think, you, you were saying that's a peony flower, it's got to be. It, Absolutely. Whether you interpret it as a peony, a rose, whichever it is, all flowers have got meanings behind them. Yeah, it's the layers. Oh, and there's the butterflies. I know. You tell me that doesn't look like that. I'd have to put the butterfly with this. Well, way. I was thinking that. You could put the butterfly higher up on the necklace. Oh, uh, yeah, have that sort of mid decolletage and then this at the bottom. Uh, anywhere else on this planet, absolutely 999 is a steal. We've seen... We've seen uh, um, flowers for thousands of pounds. Hiya, Jill. The peony carving is stunning. The style of carving blows my mind. Yeah. Crazy, uh, crazy, amazing, just wow. I agree. I it agree, does, yeah. my, mine too, Jill. I just, I can't fathom or entertain, you know, even clay. I can, mm. I can break clay and then mold it back together, can't I? Yeah. But to do that with a gemstone that's physically as hard as steel. Yeah. You can't. You can't break once, it and then stick it back together. Once that's broken. It's broken. It's broken. And if it was broken, you wouldn't have, remember, that, that sound. Yeah. You wouldn't have that music that no. Confucius spoke about. How many are left? Sit-oh. 299 pounds. Alison. Stunning. <clears throat> Mariam. <laughs> Helen. Valerie. Yorkshire, you're all in exactly the right place. You've succeeded or you're in the process. Wow. 245 carats in a beautiful, beautiful hand-carved peony blossom. But not only that, you have that wonderful bale, that carved bale, that link with another flower on the top of it. It just, I can't get my head around it. It's just so incredible. The level of artistry. Absolutely, absolutely Completely. The depth of the carving, the 3D of the carving, yeah. the whole the, the whole style of it. I mean, it is... I mean, I saw that picture and it was like, oh, my gosh, it just blew me away. Yeah. Um, did you know the Chinese word for a peony means most beautiful? I believe that. I agree. Most I think it beautiful. is the most beautiful flower. And it is also considered the king of flowers oh. in China. Oh, I it's it. uh, stunning, stunning. I agree. I totally agree with everything you've yeah. just said. It is the most beautiful flower. Not your price. We're going mm. even lower. Every single one of you pays this final low. It was launched with Dave on Wednesday last week. We have the final remaining quantity. It flew out the door. The artistry <gasps> is off the Thank chart. 
Yeah, at £199, well done to every single one of you. Hazel and Anne, County Antrim and Maker and Maria. Um, there was only, how did you say 22? Sorry, I know. No, 16. <laughs> You've told me that about four times there, Ross, sorry. Uh, Claire, Christine in Shropshire, Cumbria, well done. It just blows my mind. Totally. We, we've shown you, and I can't remember which PowerPoint, doesn't really matter what presentation, but where there's two linked necklaces, aren't there? There's one in green and one in yellow jade And they... I yeah. I can't remember what they retailed at, what they were auctioned at, but again, it's like that's a whole chain that's been carved out of, of natural Burmese jadeite. You have that in the bale itself. May in Surrey, amazing. Uh, Christine, I know there's a queue on the phone lines. Our call centre will get to, I promise you of that. Mural in London, if you check out your baskets, I can guarantee you success. There was only 16 available, not 116, just 16. So, oh, here it is. Oh, that's just it. blows my mind. And they're like, what is it, one hundred and fifty to two hundred and thirty thousand dollars? It is a house, and you can understand it, can't you? Wow. Um, I've only got the six of them left. Good luck. Well done. Thank you for the patience on the phone lines. We have been busy. Um, there is a little bit of a queue. If you've pressed your option one, I think we can guarantee you one at the moment. Um, at the moment, we've got your Afghanite coming up as well. If you've not heard of Afghanite, um, then it's beautiful blue. It's an absolutely beautiful blue gemstone. Um, just three of these left. Congratulations. Wow. Do stay where you are. The artistry is just mind-blowing. Just feed it onto a cord or a chain, whichever you wish. Absolutely gorgeous. I was going to say, you've got actually quite a generous aperture there that you, you can do? slide what it onto. Hold... Oh, you could put it directly onto a cord or a chain. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You've got more than enough space. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm holding it probably in the least. Yeah. Oh, I love Loads. that. Loads. I know, it's amazing. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, well done, everybody. Now it's time for a gemstone <gasps> wow. that we launched. We launched. This year, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I'd never even heard of it before. And that's the joy of Mother Nature. We've got over 4,000 different gemstones, minerals on this planet. We're not going to know every single one of them, are we? No. Nope. Um, but Afghanite's certainly one of the most distinctive. So let's do a little introduction. I'm also going to tell you of this showcase, which we have so little of it because it is so rare. Um, we're going to bundle it for the first time today. <gasps> so, yeah, if you saw Afghanite or you are a collector and you want to own Afghanite today, we're bundling it. So what is this amazing blue gemstone? And that's one thing. As soon as you th say Afghanite, you'll go, oh, blue. That's the first thing that you'll think of because it's yeah. one of the most vibrant and distinctive blues that you can, uh, um, you can, you, that you'll see. So Afghanite is, without doubt, the single rarest natural blue gemstone on the planet. Big statement. Wow. Not an easy task with the company it keeps. That of Cobalt Spinel saw that today mm -hmm. as well, didn't we? Um, and what's that? Huane, is that right? I thought I haven't even heard of it. see what I mean. Never even heard of that. Uh, very few collectors will have ever seen a gem Afghanite. Far fewer will have witnessed the cobalt spinel. Um, each season um, that the few meagre stones are recovered from the mountains and they are snapped up for, uh, far before gem show season. These are the stones that are sold at source, the most coveted natural gems on the planet. So this is the thing. Afghanite doesn't even reach the gem shows. Yeah. It's sold prior to, well, sold at location. So wow. a miner will discover it. They know exactly who to call, be sold to a uh, private collection through the phone. Um, just the prize mineral specimens sell for thousands. Very few even cut this gemstone. So, look, you can find it elsewhere. A specimen of Afghanite, 3,200. Yeah. A specimen of Afghanite, 2,500. Another specimen, 2,000. And look at the measurements. I was just going to say that. They are small. They're like this sort of size. Yeah, tiny. And that's the host rock, not, not you, the actual stone on top. Which you can do nothing with. No, it, it, it's, a it's a decorative collection. collection. Well, before us, Alison, we've got the Gem yeah. Museum, haven't we? So yeah. we've got loads of amazing gemstones in the Gem Museum that we see before us. Um, but the reality is, <coughs> those specimens can go in a place like that, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Um, you can't make with it as jewellery maker. No, no, no. But 
Look at those prices. Four figures for the specimens. Look at the blue. Mm. Um, wait until you see the strands. Now, in since the launch this year of this gemstone, and it was only launched this year, 13 years into Jewelry Maker being established, um, we've never bundled it before. We have the rounds, the most popular colour, and we're going to be bringing you some of your um, other shapes. Now, starting with... Come on. Okay, I think I've got the right one. What's the length on the strand? Because I've got two. I have to hold these out. Sorry, Ross. Shortest? Yeah, <laughs> cool. Thank you. Starting with the largest, but the shortest strand. Okay. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Gorgeous, it is. It? Like, like we said earlier on, those specimens that we were just seeing, um, they're talking about those proportions are talking about the host rock. This is Afghanite, the blue gemstone. Few are really ever faceted. Mm. Named after the country Afghanistan, uh, where it was first discovered in a lapis lazuli mine in 1968. So a very also fair discovery. recent, yeah. This rare and complex aluminosilicate forms blue crystals ranging from light blue aquamarine uh, shades to saturated sapphire blue hues. The scarcity of gem quality Afghanite makes it a true collector's stone. Yes. And it is all about that beautiful, beautiful blues. Now, these, if you want to call it specimens, like mm -hmm. we did earlier on seeing for about £3,000, are significantly... Well, we've got 19 carats. And look at the measurements, 19, uh, 9 millimetres. When, if we go back one page on the specimens that we saw in their rough... There you go. Look, 3.9 to 3.5... 3.4 times 3.1, uh, 9.1 to 7 by 4. So we're talking, most of those are smaller than the length of the strand. Yeah. That and we're looking at right now. And also, that's for the whole host rock specimen yeah. size, not the actual size. Yeah. So if you look at the whole sesame, uh, it's just, sesame, just probably a granite or something. Then like you've that. got the tiny ones on top. So if that one that's three point nine by three point three, mm -hmm. that that's makes that little stone on top tiny. Yeah. Wow. Whereas this whole strand yeah. is all afghanite. It's amazing. We're going to do this in one price crash. One of the rarest, well, the rarest of all blues. There we go. That article actually said it. I, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm an expert on this gemstone. I'm very new to it as well. I learned, I just, I, I, I'd never even heard of it before um, up until the beginning of this year. Afghanite named after the country of its discovery. Afghanite forms sapphire blue crystals. It can produce attractive gemstones, but gem rough is almost unobtainable and good crystals are rare. Well, that's pre precisely, you know, what, look at what they're showing. Yeah. yeah. That's a gem crystal. You can see that beautiful rich what we would describe again of the cobalt blue mm. and that's what i see in this strand well done everybody wow. massive congratulations to each and every single one of you um i'm gonna jump to these are the smaller stones but it's a longer love strand it. look at this love it that's gorgeous textbook afghanite like I say, I'm no expert on this. I'm very much learning about this beautiful blue gemstone um, alongside you. It's not a gemstone that even reach the gem, reaches the gem fairs. Oh, I didn't know that. So it can actually fluoresce. Oh. oh it's... Bright and colourful multi-wave Afghanite specimens. Oh, amazing. So it can fluoresce. Wow. How incredible is that? This amazing. strand is beautiful. I hope we got quantity of this one. 30 oh. available, they're four to five millimetres. Again, I'm, uh, you know, you make jewellery, you yeah. get the most, if you, to be, oh, saying, to be saying that we work with gemstones like Afghanite, and that statement, which aren't my words, the ones we just read off that website. So look, they said it's the rarest of all blues. So let's just consider that, rarer than tanzanite. Yeah. Rarer than spinel, uh, sapphires. Rarer wow. than spe uh, spinels. Rarer than your grand Wow, yeah. That's what they're saying. Yeah. 
It's absolutely beautiful. It's stunning blue, isn't it? We've got quantity. We're going to do it in one price crash. You've got enough, it depends on the size of your wrist, I guess, to do a full Afghanite bracelet. Totally and utterly natural. Again, you know, gem quality Afghanite oh, is rare wow. and really ever faceted. You've got them in these beautiful, uh, beautiful rounds. £79 only. The most vibrant cobalt blue that we could possibly, uh, possibly wish to own. And they were saying, I was listening to the radio on the way in, and, and they were saying on the radio again, blue in any, anywhere yeah. is the most popular colour. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, cars, jewellery, gemstones, paint, clothing. clothing, blue is the most popular. Yeah. And this is, this is, and I think this is a very, very unisex blue. It's a lovely blue, it's isn't gorgeous, it? It's gorgeous, I like the fact it? that you've got the different shades yeah. as well. It's quite oceanic, so you've got like a really vibrant, blues just here you know more azure and mm. uh, you've got your almost lapis lazuli blue so i'm not i'm not surprised that this is a gemstone that was discovered alongside mm. lapis lazuli well done helen catherine claire paula elaine um we're doing close out deals for you lovely jewelry makers and for the first time ever we're bundling afghanite <gasps> wow um, to my knowledge it's only ever been on air once yeah so this is the second time of it ever being on air Amazing. Amazing. Well done. Um, back in June. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. I, I would have thought it was longer than that. But it's so amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's um, And prior fabulous. to that, never seen it before. No. Never, no. never seen it before. One for the collectors and the connoisseurs. Um, lots of you with it in your basket. That is your price point. We cannot go any lower. If you remember, we've just shown you specimens for £3,000. Mm. And they're significantly smaller um, overall um, if you compare to the parcel that you're getting, amazing parcel that you're getting on this strand. Here we go. Go to Gem Hunters Corporation, the American company incorporated in Hawaii, USA. <laughs> Afghanite, sorry, I had to read that under tag there. Um, <laughs> Afghanite mineral specimen, $2,400. Wow. Yeah. Afghanite mineral specimen, $900. They don't, don't give you any size. No, uh, no. <laughs> I, I, that's going to turn up and it's going to be itty bitty. It's going to be like yeah, itty itty bitty, 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 a tiny. sugar cube. Yeah, probably. Well, in fact, the one on the right looks like a sugar cube, yeah. doesn't it? Um, £79 only. And also, what are you buying it for? The host rock? Or are you buying it for yeah, the Yeah, exactly. The and look at the colours of that blue. And yeah. look at the colours in the strand. Yeah, amazing. Wow. Uh, well done, collectors. Make sure you stay where you are on those phone lines. Okay, we're going to dive straight into the most beautiful bundle. First time ever bundling Afghanite. Well, it's only the second time it's been on air. And these are your um, wow. irregular shapes. So going right the way back, Roscoe, Afghanite, um, we said it's rarely ever cut, didn't we, in that article? Um... Here we go. Afghanite, without doubt, the single rarest nat natural blue gemstone on the planet. Uh, not an easy task with the company it keeps, that of Cobalt Spinel. Yeah. I mean, we've spoken about that this morning. Very few collectors will have ever seen a gem Afghanite, far fewer than have witnessed the Cobalt Spinel. Each season, um, that, that the few meagre stones are recovered from the mountains. They are snapped up far before the gem show season. These are the stones that are sold at source, the most coveted natural gems on the planet. Just the prized mineral specimens sell for thousands. Very few even cut this gem. Yeah. I love that. And we go, oh, let's bundle it. It's going to bundle it. With the most expensive cut, isn't it? The, the yeah, Marquise. Marquise. <gasps> We've never bundled this before. It is the first time. You don't have to decide here, folks. You get both. So you get your Marquise Afghanite and you get your square Afghanite. Top drilled as well. Really pretty. Very nice. Even here, Roscoe, that's £150 per strand, isn't it? £150. Did we see £150 on any of those uh, no. comparisons just for the specimens? On launch, £50, £50, which is absolute, complete and utter madness. Yeah. Those specimens are like 70, 80% host rock. Yeah. And they're thousands of pounds. These aren't host rock. These are genuine Afghanite. Are you ready? For your first time ever bundling this beautiful collector's stone. Nine 
No way. For the both? For the both, that's what, 35 pounds each. 35, goodness me. Wow. Purely because it's in a bundle. We've got how many in terms of quantity? 20, you'll need to be quick. Love these shapes. We don't see the shapes that often. No. I mean, they're just crying out to be Afghanite earrings. It's oh, a natural well, blue. Batched. I'd, I'd see I'd put the marquise in a ring yeah lovely so you could admire that it big one would be it. an amazing ring look at that color I it's, know. It, it's unlike any other gemstone that you can see uh, that you can imagine Muriel London Lancashire Jill Julie Karen Mary Sharon amazing make sure you're checking out your baskets folks first time ever doing a bundle on your beautiful Afghanite one of the rarest wow. minerals um, on our planet well that article said earlier on the rarest of all natural blues um, a big statement when you're actually mm. making comparisons to the likes of your cobalt spinels. Um, absolutely well done. Again, congratulations to you all. We've got coming up the most beautiful masterclass. Um, it's all about the malachite, lots of lovely sterling silver, and of course, inspiration with our gorgeous Alison. Also, your creations in the wonderful Wall of Fame. Are we ready? We're ready. Right, don't go anywhere, folks, because join us after this. <laughs> Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. 
Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Where did it go? Oh, I like that. I know, some love. We just find <laughs> your fame <laughs> pieces. Model. We get a sneaky peek. We do. Oh, it's been Hello. a lovely morning, isn't How it? How come it's gone 12 already? I know, I don't know where time goes. I, I was only here five minutes ago. I got here. I know, it does. It, it goes so quickly, mm. doesn't it? Now, okay, your masterclass, your beautiful kits are coming up, which if we just have a little sneaky peek, that wire work piece is absolutely it's, insane. It's a... It's a <coughs> Sorry, it's a classic Allison, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a tarry piece. So beautiful. Oh, it's Can like I a vintage think? piece of jewellery. Yeah, turn it on its side a bit. Oh, my goodness. Allison, that's absolutely amazing. Now, um, with amazing Malachite coming mm. your way. So, folks, not too long to wait for those kits. But first, your fabulous creation. Starting us off, number 293. Um, is Molly. Hello, Molly. That's absolutely this. beautiful. Um, my entry Molly. is a mixture of agates with square and round gold-plated spaces, all from Jewelry Maker, of course. Um, I've just recently realised the value of uh, value of plated findings. I've always oh. opted for silver, but the quality of Jewelry Maker plated find findings is excellent. And since plating is the choice of the market leaders, uh, what's not to love? Thanks, Jewelry Maker, for another great product. Uh, well, exactly. It's all, yeah. And yeah. a lot of the big jewellery houses are using plated. So. Absolutely. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's all it's all budget and affordability. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, 294 is from Florence. I love that name, oh, Florence. Florence. Beautiful. Oh, again, oh. lovely. Very pretty, Florence. Hi. I bought these large Botswana agate stones about 12 years ago and made this necklace. It's been one of my favourites. But for a long time, I thought Botswana stones only came in shades of grey. I now know different. There you go. Yes, you can get different uh, shades in Botswana. Hope you've agate. been indulging lately because we had the peach as well, Launch didn't the we? Peach, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was stunning. Uh, number 295 is from Erica. Hello to you, Erica. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that turquoise in there. Um, Erica says, my entry this week is a mixture of agates with square and round gold plated spaces, all from Jewelry Maker, of course. I've recently uh, realised... Hang on. No, I'm reading the wrong message. Sorry. I was reading the top one for some reason. 295. <laughs> Sorry, Erica. Let me start again. Uh, hi, my entry to this week is turquoise, hessonite, garnet, topaz, blacksmith, and sterling silver. All components are from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everybody. For some reason, Erica, I was reading Molly's again. So <laughs> sorry about that, lovely. Um, good luck, Erica. Number 296 is from Sandra. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, nice bit of seed beading. Nice bit of photography as well. Yeah. Um, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry to the WAF. It's made with beautiful peacock angelite super duo seed beads and sterling silver findings all purchased from Jewelry Maker. I was inspired by Mark Smith to use super duos for the first time. Good luck to all and to you, Sandra. That's absolutely oh. amazing. Over Thank to Thank you. you. Uh, I've got 297. This is Denise. Oh, I love those. Look at those little... I remember those fairies. Um, please find and close this week's wall of, uh, wall of fame entry. Two bracelets made with gemstones and fairies brought from JM some time ago. Good luck to all in the WAF um, and, of course, me. Hope you like them. I wear them all the time. Love to all from JM. They're lovely. They'd go, they'd go really well with those uh, spinel strands yeah, earlier, wouldn't really they? Yeah, pretty, yeah. Love those. I remember those fairies. Um, next is 298, and this is Francis. Oh, look at that. Hello, everyone. This necklace is made with yellow and blue tiger's eye rounds, a large golden shell pearl and natural white pearl, gold-plated eyelet pins uh, and a, mag uh, a magnetic round clasp. Wishing you all very well. Lovely. That's lovely, Frances. Very pretty. Nice bit of embroidery there as yeah. well. Is that you as well? Um, and then last but not least, that's 299. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Uh, and this is Susan. Hi, everyone. Here's my Wall of Fame entry. Freshwater cultured pearls and black agate, uh, which cross over on the front. I love it. 
all from JM. The magnetic clasp is from my stash. Keep, keep safe, everyone, and take care. That's beautiful. So high-end classy, that. isn't Very it? Very Chanel. Yeah, love that. I, do you know what? And I'm loving we're getting more wafts again. Yes. Please send your wafts in. Look at Alison earlier. She bought a load of jadeite with her with her waff she did, yes. with her winnings. Yes. Amazing so, the butterfly. Yeah. Yeah, that's very, very true. Um, yeah, definitely get your entries in. We've done it every week since we started I know. broadcasting. So how amazing is that? Yeah. I miss it. Since I miss day entering. one, the first week of jewellery maker we've done the WAF, yeah. It, we worked out effectively how much money uh, has been gifted, and it's over a hundred thousand pounds. Yeah, wow. Pretty amazing, well, it isn't will it? Be. Thirteen years. Thirteen yeah. times fifty-two. Okay, and a, so 150 pounds each week. So 656. 101,000 wow. we're up to Amazing. now. Well done, jury maker. Yeah, well done. So definitely get your entries in. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? And if you're not in it, you won't win it. I know people who've won it a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You have to enter. Oh. And it's free. It is free. The only stipulation is basically that they are jury maker products. Yeah. The only stipulation. Alison, these sh talk us through your jewellery because these are stunningly beautiful, well, each and every single piece. The cab, the cab pieces, the earring pieces were so easy because you get the bezel, they fit beautifully, they're very easy to do. Um, we'll take you through that briefly. So the earrings were brilliant. I added the malachite from the strand on the third one yeah. for the earrings, but you could you could put drops on, you could put whatever you like on there. Um, they're fantastic. They're the thread through, which I love the thread through earrings. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, I took one look at this this um, uh, four four hole double double loop setting in the bracelet one. I took one look at that and I was like, no, that's going to be a bracelet. And I, and I indulged myself with some wire work with oh. it. I was going to do, I thought, shall I do just a double strand of malachite? You could just do a double strand of malachite, fasten it off, and it would look beautiful. But I looked at it and I thought, no, that needs to be. It's a celebration, that yeah. bracelet is. My goodness me, beautiful, beautiful intricacy. Um, so which are you going to demonstrate? Uh, well, of course, the... The bracelet. The yes, I thought bracelet. you were you were saying that. Now, we're actually going to start with that kit. Now, there's a hundred of each of these kits. <gasps> wow. Um, and if you do want to get the entire collection, we've put them all on pre-order. If I show you the board as well. So these are, it's like kit one, kit two, kit yeah. three. Not actually in those numbers. Um, but if you want to, um, if, if you want to shop ahead on these, we are going to price them in a way that you can, yeah, you can do that. Now, starting with the beautiful malachite, which includes, um, all right, the cabochon just there. I thought so. You did say earlier on, didn't you, that they were, they, they need to be actually physically set. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if I show you on a piece of paper, you have the mount itself, so um, which is perfectly calibrated to fit within that yeah. beautiful Malachi oval stone. I mean, that in itself, look how gorgeous that Absolutely. is. Absolutely. I mean, you could use that with anything. Yeah. 100 yeah. percent one of the biggest cabochons of malachi i've seen Stunning. in a long time um so loving that you can see you've got the double row as well then you've got a super <sighs> long strand of malachite rounds they're absolutely amazing this. with a graduation so six to five yep. uh um or five to six millimeters um with all those peacocks i remember the layers the paradise and shades of green that we spoke about with yeah. malachi the fact that it is that outlandish eccentric i love that uh, Malachite, highly distinctive with its variegated banding and rich emerald green colours. That colour comes from copper deposits where malachite is often found. In fact, malachite itself was once used as a source of copper via process of smelting. Often malachite is found with azurite, a brilliant blue gemstone that also forms in copper-rich areas. Concentrically banded malachite, uh, known as peacock's eye, is especially sought after and is far, uh, sorry, is rarer than linearly banded gemstones. Uh, malachite is a soft gemstone with a high Hardness on the most scale of 3.5 to 4. Malachite is found all over the world, including USA, Arizona, Brazil, Australia, Mexico, um, and the Congo. But again, if I just flick forward one, 
This is what I like. Adorned with the allure of mystery, Malachite is a hypnotizing stone. Mm. Like a mesmerizing beauty, it puts you under its spell the moment you lay eyes on it. In the world of stones, Malachite is the outlandish eccentric, the stone you see once but will remember. So significant uh, is its appearance. Possibly the earliest ore of copper, having been mined um, in ancient Egypt from as early as 3000 BC. And still Incredible. to this day, yeah. fast forward so many years here is a gemstone which is firmly in the limelight oh yeah van cleef piaget dior dolce and gabbana i mean i could go on couldn't i yeah yeah all working with this beautiful beautiful gemstone um now should we introduce your graphics there's a hundred of each of these kits the graphics are live that's that's a stunning it's a stunning kit with the sterling silver i think that's a great price 149 pounds yeah absolutely yeah your 925 silver yeah. oval bezel that is solid precious metal yeah yeah absolutely so if you wanted to you could solder it with that if you yeah wanted yeah to. yeah absolutely um, yeah plus so that's silver plus you get the calibrated malachite mount Sorry, yeah. gemstone to go in the mount. Yeah. And you've got a full strand of 130 carats of beautiful malachite with that graduation. That's a great price. I straight think it's away. a fabulous price. And lots of the malachite that we've brought in mm. showcases recently have been 19 centimetre strands. Yeah. This is... Mm, have you got the specifications? Yeah, 38 centimetres. Mm. 38, that's a long strand it's, it's of a long, malachite. And it goes a long way. So I made the bracelet where I've put it, dotted it all around. I added it to the earrings and then I made a full, that's a full all the way round stretch of malachite. So one single bead at Harrods, Piaget. Piaget. 2,000 pounds. Wow. That's one, probably about six mil. Mm. In the size, a little, little itty bitty diamond on there and 18 carat rose gold, yeah. but yeah. Celebrating the Malachite in one single mm. six millimetre bead. Van Cleef and Arpels, how about this? Classic vintage Alhambra gold Malachite pendant, £2,990. And that's a slither. Yeah. And it will be a very fine, it'll be like a veneer in the gold. Yeah. It won't slither. be a thick one. You could go to somewhere like oh, yeah. uh, Web, uh, Stephen Webster. I love this bracelet. I love the clasp. That's lovely. £270. Yeah. And, and that's a full round bracelet. It's the not bad. That's the not bad, to be fair. Considering the size of the Malachite and the size of that class, that's mm. not bad, I don't think. No. Still, still 270 quid, don't get me wrong, yeah. but it's not that bad when we've seen some for thousands. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You've got Wolf and Badger, haven't you? Which use Malachite alongside gemstones like your uh, Baroque pearls. Nice. You've got, we've shown Astley Clark, which have really simple slices of Malachite. And they're, you know, around this price that's on your screens right now. We are not stopping here. Oh, if you got that butterfly earlier on, you're really big. Yes, with the malachite would look yeah, lovely. Yeah, the silver butterfly to go alongside this capture on this. Mm. I think the, the faceted white jadeite would look nice with the malachite as well. Yeah, that would be beautiful. It's my favorite, it's what genuinely one of my top three favorite gemstones, mm. malachite. I absolutely love it. Is it yours too, Ross? It's in your top 10. I love it. I think it's absolutely stunning. And it's it forms in stalactites and stalagmites. They mm -hmm. literally, this, this copper-rich solution, just over thousands upon thousands of years, sort of drips down and forms these kind of like circles of a tree. Yeah. Um, and that's how you see those peacock's eye effectively. So this is sto uh, showing, this photograph is showing stalag... Mites. Mites, thank you. I always do the stalactites, stalactites. Attic, attic. Um, attic. Yes. Um, so, yeah, beautiful. And if you were to slice one of those in half, you'll see the peacock's yeah. eye, effectively. But very, very rare. And one of the most distinctive, remember that outlandish eccentric that once seen, never forgotten. Um, beautiful, beautiful patterns. Alison, for all that silver, for the cabochon, mm -hmm. for the full 38 centimetre strand of Malachi, 49.99 is unbelievable, isn't it? When did we lose £100? Um, <laughs> just... Well, out. we were talking about just that. Fell out <laughs> That's a cracking price. I know. For malachite, natural malachite. You look at the stretchy, you know, 
you you've got your you've got your money back for the kit and some. But Ross has crunched some numbers. Okay, Mr. Crunch here. Come on then, number cruncher. <gasps> a minute clock. We've got a hundred. We're going to do a big saving for you, everyone. Okay, um, okay. Amazing. The love affair wow. of Malachite truly, truly it. continues. I just think it's one of the most distinctive gemstones. Once you see it, you'll never forget it. And it's genuinely special. Well. It is special and it's rare. You know, mm -hmm. this is a gemstone which is not only massively, massively uh, um, relevant in the jewellery world, it's jewellery and interior design oh, yeah. as well. Um, you know, wallpaper, tiles. Yeah carved tables worktops i mean we're talking oh, if it's a genuine malachite well it, it, we're it, talking no it'll be a composite, composite yeah, oh, absolutely it, you know? even the faux imitated malachite yeah. pieces are astronomically expensive well, can we flick through those i was gonna say they've done handbags and handbags and Dolce oh, did that. that's acrylic by the way it's yeah. not actually malachite it's not actually malachite but it's inspired by this mm. beautiful gemstone yes Hypnotic, it always, mm. yeah, Dolce & Gabbana once again, that's not actually Malachite. Dolce & Gabbana using Malachite inspired shoes. Lola Rose using Malachite in their timepieces. That's about 200 odd pound, I think, that wristwatch. By the way, it's not bad. In stately homes, at 34 pounds and 99 pence only. Wow. Amazing, absolutely amazing. It's a full 38 centimeter strand. Pillars, yes, absolutely. You've got uh, the famous Malachite pillars and the Malachite room. Um, again, you can see that. it there influencing sort of your soft furnishings and things mm -hmm. like that within your home. Love that. It's quite eclectic, isn't it? It's very, yeah. Lovely. Bowls Bowl. out of slices yeah. uh, of, of Malachite as well. Um, you have tiles, I think, which look amazing in a bathroom. Oh, very, I love it. Uh, yeah, very dramatic. I want a bath in that room. <gasps> oh, I'd love a Malachite bath. Oh, yeah. Or a rose quartz bath. I've seen a... Or, or a Labrador. In, I mean, any in, gemstone. In that room, yeah, a gemstone one. Look, soft furnishings in your fabrics will look yeah. absolutely fabulous as well. Curtains. You can see why this gemstone is so... so And very difficult to get hold of, because you've got to imagine we're competing with all of those yeah. big uh, brands to source the gemstone at a most affordable price tag. Well done. We had 100, but they're absolutely flying out the door. That is sterling silver. Um, all you need to do is sort of secure your malachite cabochon within um and also um yeah you get you get the 38 centimeter strand now um i'm gonna move into um the malachite earrings did you say okay So you get one malachite, one spinel. Yeah, but look at the size of the spinel. Oh, it's cool. I like that. So they're kind of Asymmetric. like... Asymmetric. Yeah. And these are threader earrings. Yeah. Can I borrow your earrings? Because yeah, yeah. that's actually the best way to show these, I think, already made up. So this is just putting together this most amazing luxury puzzle, isn't it? Um, so let's bring it over. Sorry, Adam. I was bringing <laughs> it over to the components. That's why. Um, here we go. Look at that. Look how beautiful they are. They've got a nice um, turned back on them as well. Yeah, I like the contrast. So one's yeah. black spinel, one's malachite, which is all the rage Amazing. at the moment, these kind of uh, uh, non-matching earrings. Um, so you get this, uh, the sterling silver threaders, you get the sterling silver bezels, um, which are 14 by 13 millimetres, is it right? Uh, textured round bezel uh, pendant mountings with malachite and also a black spinel cabochon. So you get two alternating cabochons. I've just, I've just realised it's probably taken... I was like, it's a round. How can it be 14 by 13, but you've got the, the little loop on the top? Yeah. Yeah, that measurement. £39.99 wow. only. That's for all that sterling silver in the bezel cup and the threader earrings and those two gemstone cabochons. I mean... Personally, yeah. I'd take those as two pendants and, yeah. add, and add use the two of the, two, two of the um, rounds from the um, threaders and, and make those. But they, they, they look beautiful. I agree. I would use the threaders separately, yeah. personally, and I would use those as pendants. As, as individual pendants. Yeah. I like the fact that yeah. they're not matching mine, but yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I think that, yeah, it's quite on trend to do that, but 
I like, yeah, I agree. These are pendants for me. Yeah. Maybe a charm or something like that. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, we've got 100. Wow. How wow. about sterling silver components, both your bezel cup and your threader earrings and the two beautiful gemstones? How about under £100? Sorry. <laughs> so we're going up. <laughs> I'll be under first. £20. That's what I meant under to say. Under £20? Yeah, I said it. I panicked then because I thought I'd said it too low. Under £20. Have you seen that one in the recording? It's got the mm -hmm. uh, peacock. peacock's eye. Yeah. Perfect peacock's eye. There. I you pay you. 20 pounds for that zone on its own. Oh, easy. Under 20 pounds, I've said it, said it out loud, giving you all a little bit of a heads up. We've got 100 of these available. That's, look, thread earrings, mm. two of your, pe your, your pendant bezels. Yeah. So I'm going to count those as two separate components. So that's three components, two are gemstones. So you've got five components. And they do come separately, so that your... your yeah. um, the, yeah, they, they're a tight fit, so they might not come back out. Okay. Um, your cabochons come separately to your to your um, bezel. Yeah, you probably need your, your pliers. If you want to put them in and take them out, yeah. pop in um, uh, floss. Oh, that's a good idea. You pop yeah, some floss, floss underneath yeah. to, to, to pull them back out. And lift it out with a bit of blue tie yeah. or something like that. We had 100 all around the world getting involved, under £20. They're all sterling silver, we're not talking base metal. That gets you two. Are you going for the multi? Are you, if you oh, want we go for matching. The That's a good idea, actually, yeah. If you want the matching. And yeah. The... Especially at that price. If you yeah. want, if you think, no, I want them both to be malachite or I want them both to be black spinel, then get two of them at that price. Um, they are sterling silver bezels, they are sterling silver yeah. threaders, and they are genuine gemstones in your black spinel. Sorry, your black, uh, yeah. Spinel and also your Malachite. Linda, multi buying. Laura, multi buying. Muriel, Candy, Holland, Michelle, Kathy, multi buying. Virginia, multi buying. Anne, Wiltshire, Lynn, multi buying. Um, one single Malachite pendant on Masoma. A sliver, a slice. Sliver, yes. These are depth. And you're talking about £98. Wow. These have got depth. one of these. Yeah, I'm just going to. Great depth to them as well. There was a hundred, but they're flying. If there's a queue on the phone lines, please do bear with our call centre. As long as you've pressed your option one, you'll be fine. Um, our call centre will absolutely get to you. Um, a gemstone of the moment, but teaming that alongside oh, the beautiful black spinel. I love, love that contrast. If you are one of the many multi-buying, then yeah, if you want to use it for your, your malachite with your malachite, your spinel with your spinel, you can do that. And don't forget, you are having those threaders as well. Um, we've been bringing those on their own yeah. for about £10, haven't we, as early birds? We have, and I reckon they're about uh, eight or nine mil deep. What, the cabochon? The cabochon. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. And it's the, a voluptuous cabochon. Nicely curved. And if you're not confident in making your own, mm. which a lot of people aren't, these are a great way. And also, time-wise, yeah. material-wise, to actually make your own bezels will cost an awful lot more than these. Ah! Oh. oh, have you fluffed it, Ross? Oh, it's got spinel in! <gasps> Ross. Who is that? Cathy? Was that Cathy? Good spot! Well done, Cathy! Right, we need to close. He's fluffed up, and yeah, They've all upped their order, look! <laughs> 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 no, Ross, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. So they're 16 pounds. We all make mistakes. 16 pounds. We all. Shh, shh, we all fluff up from time to time. Yeah, but if they all sell out, nobody will notice. No, that's true. How many did we have? I had 100. Yeah, but they're buying twos and threes. Of each. course. <laughs> Kathy pointed out something very, very important. That's the. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Virginia, who's bought three, is saving another twelve. Pounds. Basically, yeah. So, what's this working out at then? Sixteen pounds. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you should just hear Ross telling himself off in the gallery now. Because like that. 
You're right. You, are so, you do sound a bit like Butley. Fasten, fasten, grassen, grassen. Amazing. We're just closing this auction. Stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody. Wow. You can still do it. Yes, wasn't meant to be £16, but it is. If you use that, you use that discount code. Amazing. Um, oh, sorry. It's <laughs> okay. Um, now, these are both Spinel. Both Spinel. 20%. 20%. Uh, I love these, but they're not just spinels. Oh, I just these clicked. Oh, did, that. oh, that one won't come out then. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I picked it up and it clicked into yeah. place. They're these, really, they're a really nice fit. Ah, oh, these are fabulous. And you've got the links Fab. underneath or the yeah. loops underneath waiting for you to suspend whatever you wish. Have we got a hundred? I love them. And they have the threader earrings. So you get two of your sterling silver bezel cups. Um, with the threader earrings. But you see, you could make those into the middle of a, of a bracelet. Yeah, that could with be the a three strands well, in the middle. It could be a connector, couldn't it? Yeah. A multi-row connector. Or it could be, Oops. yeah. If you, got the pearl, if you got the pearl kit earlier with yeah, the lovely. three strands of pearls. Beautiful. We've, what are you doing? One crash. Is I'm not going to... Listen, I've made, I, I, I'm not going to raise the price on the back of what we uh, have... Just realised. <laughs> oh my god! But technically, there is more pounds. silver in these as well, Ross, yeah. because you've got more jump rings. <laughs> He's on a roll. Leave him be. He's like, go on, you can have it. It's been an amazing day. It's been fabulous. fabulous. Use stuff. your August 20 to get your additional 20% discount. Make sure you check it out. We've got 100 of these as well. They're going to be fabulous earrings. I mm. would use them with pearls as well. I think they'd be they'd amazing. They'd look great with pearls, pearls. those would. Yeah, I'll give you a stock update as and when we go. Um, but, Alison, so which of these amazing okay. pieces are you going to demo your bracelet? Well, I'm going to demo the bracelet. Mm -hmm. May I please borrow your cabochon? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Because only had one. Don't listen to Adam. I say mm -hmm. yes. So, <laughs> so I'll, I'll take you through. So this is a, this is a pusher. Yes. Um, so it's got a nice flat surface. So you're going to pop your cabochon in. Now, um, they're all a very good fit. Oh no! I've just I've just put that in. <laughs> properly. And now you, you can't get it out. See? Okay. Sorry. Um, and what you do so. Where you've got, because of the depth of these, they're brilliant. So what you want to do is you're <coughs> pushing, and I'm not going to do this one because I don't want to um, waste <coughs> Excuse me. So you're pushing on the, on the silver yeah. at the top, and you're pushing that bit over. So the idea is it fits the gemstone, and then if, if, this, is, if this is the top, can we go, do you want to go a bit further out, maybe? Sorry. Because <laughs> this is if this is your the top of your um, bezel, you're yeah. tipping the top over. So you've got your 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 um, cabochon there, and you're tipping that top over. You're pushing that top in. You're not pushing from the side the whole thing. You're pushing the tip over and in. Okay. So and because it's sterling silver, what will happen is it will because you're pushing it. You know how you can stretch it by hammering it. Well, you can do the reverse. If you think of a collect maker, you can do the reverse and you can compact it. Okay. And that's what you're doing. So you're compacting it around the top. So what happens is, you see where this is, you, you can see a gap with this one. If you look at any of the others, if I hold that up, sorry, if I hold that up to there, you see how you've got a gap around the stone here yeah. and you haven't there because it's been pushed over. You've pushed it in. Yeah. And that holds it in. If you're unsure of your skills when you're learning just just pop a bit of glue in the bottom yeah just a piece. Well, why not it's a bit of peace it will, of mind it will also mean if you if you knock it or whatever it holds it in place mm -hmm. then if you've got a burnisher either so i've used i've used both i've got a metal burnisher and an agate one and what this does is when you've been pushing it in you, you know it's not going to be perfect all the way around you're gonna have a little a little mark maybe or whatever so you take your burnisher and you rub it That's and also an agate one, isn't it? this yeah. is an agate one okay mm -hmm. and it generally doesn't so if if i happen to, to to rub it over there it's not going to damage the stone okay so you just rub this round the edge and it just brings that edge back up where you've pushed it over yeah Okay, so that's setting your your gemstone. That goes for all all of them, the earrings or the or the um, cabochon. 
So next we want to make these little pieces. Now this could be a pendant on its own. Um, you know, you could make yeah, exactly. that, you could pop that. I, I thought about doing it that way, but I really wanted to do it that way round. Um, and I, it's very me. I just love it. I have worked it out. You can do this. We sell, um, I don't know whether Russell's managed to find any, um, but if you've got, we, we sell sterling silver one mil. So this is one mil um, sterling and 0.4. If you've got a meter, you will be able to make this and I'll give you the sizes now. So that's, I've made that piece with a meter of sterling silver one mil and less than the five meters of 0.4 that you normally get. So he's, he's popping it on the screen for you. Um, so, so that would do it completely in sterling. Obviously, if you wanted to do it with plates, then you could do. Um, so the, there's two large scrolls, two of those form the outer bit. Um, those are 14 centimeters each. You've got two of the little hearts in the middle. That's those two. You've got two of the hearts in the middle made with that piece. That's nine centimetres, so you want two times nine. And these are straight lengths you're talking these about? These are straight right? lengths. Yeah. These are straight lengths or, you know, slightly curved. Um, and then you need four of the little um, sea scrolls, little curls. Um, yeah, and they that. are, oh, sorry. Um, they're six centimetres each. So you add that all together and you're using 98 centimeters of your 100 centimeters okay. okay so you can make it out of that and then i haven't actually measured but it's probably a couple of meters at the top of your 0. 0.4 okay. so if you've got a five meter reel of the 0. 0.4 well, we've, just, we've just put a meter of your sterling silver 15, in your one mil 15.99 yeah that, wow that's that. good yeah so so you're going to need what two meters to make this bracelet yeah okay no, no, one meter. One meter. One meter of the because I oh, literally yes, you've ninety-eight it. centimeters. Yes, 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 yes. So, yes. so I've it all comes to ninety-eight centimeters. I measured it all. I, it was by accident. Love it. I would have trimmed it, but I actually hit ninety-eight centimeters. I'm like, oh That's yes, amazing. You can make you can this make that with the kit. Yeah. Additional fifteen ninety-nine. Bit of point four wire. Bit and a bit of point wow. four wire. So, right. So, scrolls. Um. Where's my round nose pliers gone? There. Okay. So making your scroll. So you want four of these, two for each side. Um, I need to give you that back. Sorry. It's part right. of the kit. With a round nose pliers, you're going to take a loop around one of your longest ones. When you get to nearly connected, see, I'm going to move my stance. When I started, I'm holding it here. Now I'm holding it here. Wherever you hold acts as a break for your curve. Mm -hmm. So by holding it here, that just curved around there. You watch where it curves now. So it's now curving all the way along. Okay, so I'm gonna now shorten that because I want to curve this bit in tighter. Okay, curve that around. We've got our first part of our scroll. Don't worry because you'll tidy them up. Once you've done one, you then use that as a template. So I've done that bit. Now, I had a lot of people when I started doing scrolls like these. It's difficult to turn it. If you notice, that was curved that way because it come off the reel. So yeah. it was curving that way naturally. If you then try and curve it the, the opposite way without really warming this and, and even with your fingers and convincing it it's curving that way anyway, it will go very steppy. Yeah. But the other way to do it is to do it in the same direction. So we're going to pop our other curl in. We've gone to nearly the end and we're going to finish that off. And we're going to do more or less the same. Okay, that's slightly different. However, what we do then is we take both ends and we twist and we're now in the right ballpark. So I can now complete the curves of these and I'm going to measure it against the other one so you can get them into perfect sizing. Yeah. Um, they're not quite there yet. Also, you want to flatten. If, you, if, you, if, you, if I hold it like that, you can see this is a bit 3D. So get your flat nose pliers and you just want to take that down a little bit. If you want to, instead of putting the loop with your sterling silver, you could ball the end. So cut your lengths and then you can just turn that into a ball if you want, rather than having the, the loop. I prefer 
I want a loop or a ball rather than a bare piece of wire because that can form a scratch or catch on things more so. Okay, so we've now got our start of our design. You can see now that's the outline. The heart, we're going to... They look like swans. They do, don't they? So where did I put, I've put my ruler away, so I'm going to guess this, but measure it. So that's nine centimetres. You need to be bending it at four and a half centimetres. I would measure it. I mean, that's not actually far off, but I would measure it. Um, or do one, bend one, and then use that to make the other one, mm -hmm. and then go back and, and curve it so you don't have to measure them all per se. So we're going to take that back. Again, hold it quite close till you do the middle, then come to the end and make that loop. Same again. Hold it till you do the middle, then come back and take that loop right so again you're going to scroll that down that then fits you want to make sure they're pretty much the same size that's a little bit bigger so i'm just going to open that up and scroll it down a bit you can tighten up see how that's loose so you can tighten them up pop your pliers in and then you can pull that in to whichever direction you want so you can reposition them um, if you need to make it tighter let me pull that one a bit tighter it doesn't matter for this because it's it's going to be a slightly different one but then again position it to make sure it's more or less the right fit so that's then going to go into there okay and then we want the the curly c's which are the same way as we've done the big one they're only tight little curls. So we want to make a tight little curl on that side. It's amazing how much wire, you know, this is a meter. Um, you can go through doing these scrolls. Let's make that tiny little curl there. And again, bring them in until they're about the same size. So once you've got all your components, then you can start putting it together. So we've got our components there. Get your point 0.4 wire. Um, I'm, I'm going to work a bit from the reel, but you can cut it off. Um, again, if you're on point 0.4, kick it off. So I'm going to start in the middle. And I'm going to start on one side. Now, because I want to take this across to, to there, and I want to put the gemstone on, and then I'll go from there to there. So I'm going to leave a tail of about four or five centimetres. Okay, uh, inches, sorry, big centimetres. So we're going to start there and I'm going to wrap twice. So I've got that there. That gives me two wraps around that, that central piece. Pop in your heart. Mm. You can slide it around wherever at the moment. Then you're going to go twice around both. You don't want to be too tight because then this gap will close because now we're going to go four times, three, four times around just that single one again. So squish it up to keep it neat. Then twice again. So you want three of these. One, two, three, four. So you want three of the, the double loops. That's going to have to go down a little bit. Squidge that further down. One, two. Then do your four. Whoops. Three. If you leave the top open until you've finished, when we get to the other one, you can see it makes it so much easier than having to feed it through. So we've now got our three sections. So for the next one, I'm going to add in my little curly C, the top bit. So I'm going to go twice round the big scroll and the curly C, and then four times around. And because we're going in a different direction, I'm pushing it down as I go, just round that central scroll, scroll again. One, two, three, four. There we go. And trim. When you're trimming it, so because you've got, got it close to this one, keep that wire close to it. You want it to effectively sit, the, the, the cut, part way along that side. You don't want it to stick out on either direction. So trim it off because you don't want to feel it. Okay, so we've now done 
that little bit there. The C you can position, I want to pull him down a bit. There we go. Now you go back to the other side, we're gonna pop on one of our smallest malachite. Come on, in you come. And then we're going to fasten the malachite to the curly C, one, two. I've done two wraps, okay? Take your wire underneath and then it can come over to join these two bits together. One, whoops, around we go. Two, three. Then you're going to pull it between. Imagine, imagine you've got a wedge to keep a door open. Mm. Basically it works by, by you know, the, the angle gets further and further into, into the gap between, yeah. which stops it coming. So, so you're using that effectively between these two scroll bits, you're gonna pull that 0.4 wire tight in and then it actually gets caught between, between the two pieces of the wire and stays there. And then you can trim. And again, making sure you've got nothing um, above, but you can squidge it down with the flat nose pliers. So that's half of it done. If you want, um, before you put that one in, so still attach, attach the other half, but before you add any of the malachite on, which you can leave till later, you can then curve it. it, it it's up to you. You can curve it before or after. Um, you can do it flat, you know, and I'm just going to use... You want a mandrel? I didn't fetch mine because the dog ate it. Hey. <laughs> We're back to the early conversation. Um, you didn't uh, actually swallow it, though, did you? No, 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 no. Chewed it. But, but my ma mine looks completely... OK, it's no mangled. longer makes nice... The wooden one, shapes. not the metal one. Right, the wooden okay. one. <laughs> the travelling one. Oh, it just looks like a giant stick to them, doesn't it? That's mm. Yeah, she's a... a Terrible chewer. So then you do exactly the same on the other side. So you then have it uh, fastened both sides. You're going to attach the two at the bottom down here. Um, and then all of these four points need connecting. Now I've left that one to do. So when you have finished and you cut off and you end up with little bits of wire like this, you then take this and you think, well, that's perfect for just going in there. Don't throw them away, especially if you, if you, we're back to, we're back to recycling, aren't we? If, especially if you're using the sterling silver, just pop it through, wrap three times. I tend to do three times with, with the um, 0.4, pull it tight between and trim. And again, tuck that wire, come here underneath pull it tight now you can find that I do that with my pliers sometimes it, it snicks off but you get a little bit left sticking up so you've got to go back and make sure that sticking up piece is not there okay so once that's all that's now nice and contained and secure so I'm just going to take I'm going to take this away from here if that's all right mm -hmm. so I then now I did actually use um on this, I've actually used some um, 0 0.8 to make these loops, but you can do wrapped loops with 0 0.4. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's just that I'd done them before I, I thought of the whole sterling thing <laughs> and measured. So these are slightly bigger. These are some of the slightly bigger ones which I've connected to form there, which gives it a lot of articulation, which is fabulous. And then at the each end, I've added two to connect because I want to keep it as stable as possible. If you just put one, then this is going to sort of waggle around. So you need those two from each point. So I've put two of the gemstones and then caught them into one, which I've then attached a clasp. So I made the clasp and the jump rings. Everything's just come out of it. But you can attach a clasp of your preference. That clasp looks perfect to use, use with it, which you've got there. And then, and then that's your, that's it's your piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. Abs do you know, again, it just, that could be a choker as well, couldn't it? You could make that into a choker. Yeah, repeat these panels. So in you, what you do, yeah. if you're going to do a choker, it's go like that and you can connect those panels together around and it would look incredible as yeah. a choker. Amazing. Yeah. Loving that. Alison, thank you. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing kits today. Oh, incredible. Amazing deal of the day. Amazing early birds. It's been yeah. absolutely amazing, hasn't it? Amazing start. 
to finish. Yeah. Carvings. Fabulous. Well, I'll tell you what, as you've mentioned this clasp, a little silver deal for it you. It would be if perfect. If you want to make it? that choker necklace yeah. or the <gasps> bracelet, whichever you wish, then this would be perfect. Yeah. Um has it's got that box. wonderful checkerboard. Um yeah, it's a box, it's a box clasp. Oh, yeah. So incredibly secure. Can you see that you mentioned the door wedge? Can you see yeah. how there's a little wedge in there? Yeah. So incredibly strong. We're gonna do it in one price crash just because time is racing by. Um, all that sterling silver. Yeah, beautiful to go alongside the technique that Alison's just demoed. And this clasp has the safety little bar on it. Yeah. So when yeah, you yeah, when so you it pull loops. it out, yeah, it it, it catches. Yeah, so, you've so got it'll never turn. accidentally. No, you've got to turn it then forty five degrees, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. So and then take what... it out. Can you see that? I love that safety feature. So you have to literally lift it up then to take it off. Does that yeah. make sense? Like so. Slide it. Um, amazing. Incredibly strong. We're at 9.99. Finale little cheeky silver deal Ooh. on the back of Alison's Masterclass. Fabulous. How many have we got of those then, Roscoe? Is there many available? Just over a hundred. Um, you love a, I love a box class. A, they I look love nice, but they're yeah. also very, very, very secure, aren't they? They're very secure. I love a box class. If I'm doing anything with pearls, I love a box class yeah, with the pearls. Yeah, makes sense. Or anything high box end box. It always looks so much more high end. Yeah, I think. Totally agree. Wow, what an amazing morning uh, stroke it's afternoon amazing. it has been. Yeah, um, it's flown by. I've loved every single minute of it. If you have just uh, tuned in, then take a little look back on the website, all the w's at jewelrymaker.com, because we brought you some amazing brand new premier jade carvings. The oh. elephant, the butterflies, the high goos, the strands. I mean, it's been unbelievable. If you are a collector and you're looking for Afghanite, we brought you a bottle yes. for the very first time unbelievable kits and jewelry bird like i said it's been completely and utterly jam-packed um i've loved seeing you it's been oh, a long see? time when you're back i'm back with you on monday the 14th yay so you see our as it does yeah on monday. do you know what you've got can you think off the top of your head i've got some leather Ooh. some leather bracelets with sterling silver fastenings which are amazing wow i'll be back with you bright and early on monday as well yeah. with alison have a lovely afternoon